Yo, what up? I'm having a bomb. Um. Okay. Okay, I should probably recap, huh? Um. Well, I was gonna stream yesterday, but CFX was down, so I just f kind of fucked around. Well, I guess I should ask: Do you guys have any questions? That's probably easier to start. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Psst. Hello, Kenny. Hello. Hello. That's Kenny. He's being a cat. Sit, Oliver. Sit. Yes, I know the cat's in here. Yes, I know. I know. I know. But you gotta deal with it. Yes, I know. I know you live with him. You gotta get used to him. You've known him for like six years, Ollie. I don't know how you're not used to him. Oh. Can't even appear in a lot. It's because my door's not on. I got a power screw it in. Oh. Well, good thing I'm in Saint Denis. What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? Okay, any questions? Because that's easier for me than doing a full recap. Because I don't even know where to begin with a full recap. What important talks did we miss? I don't think you really missed any important talks. Truthfully. Who did you talk to? Uh, bro. I just kind of did a. I just kind of logged in over the weekend. Oh, I mean, I guess Thorn was important. Did you play a new character last night? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I, I, I figured that question was going to come up. <laughs> I I accidentally joined a gang on my other character. <laughs> okay, so I made a character. Okay, so I made a character. I wanted to make a one life character that did moonshine. Okay. Or like a multi-life character that did moonshine yesterday and uh I logged in and I was doing like a New York accent and his name's Rocky but I keep telling everybody my name is Jeremiah Silverspoon <laughs> and I just go person to person and I was asking them do you got any spare change and then they'd give me like 20 bucks Then they'd give me like 20 to 30 dollars, man. And I go to the bank, I put money away, I walk out, and some guy, he goes, You want to do me a favor and put your hands up? And he didn't have a gun out, but he had a mask on? 
So I pulled my gun on him and held him up. <laughs> and then his, his buddy started shooting. And so I hit this guy in the head with a gun. I get shot down. <laughs> and he takes me away. He's like, man, you got some balls. I like you. <laughs> So I joined a green gang on this guy. <laughs> this this guy was a member of green gang, so I'm now with green gang on Jeremiah Silverspoon. And I started a war with the little gang. Between green gang and little gang, I started a war. How does that happen? I don't know. The funniest thing is... I kept looking for people. I wanted to steal 200 sugar off somebody. I'm stealing Yo-Yo's question. What were you doing? Uh, you actually, it, it's actually so fucking funny. So, I, they're probably so suspicious of me, but I'm actually such a fucking bozo. I'll show you guys what I was doing. You see the manor? You see the house next to the manor? Right there? Me and Brooks had a box. And we were trying to get up on the building with the box. And we we couldn't get up on the building. So we started walking the box back to the office. And as I started walking the box back this way, I saw Carlo come around the corner hauling ass and he went right into the Dicenzo Manor. But I didn't know if it was Carlo or not. I thought it was Dom. And Ruth has an ID Dom as a Dicenzo. So I was like, fuck. So, I said, Brooks, I'll be right back. Just keep an eye on the front gate. And I ran over, and I waited for him to come out, and I thought it was Dom, but it was Carlos. I was like, hey, slow it down. <laughs> Zoom. Check and dip one, and then I'm gonna go downstairs. Strawberry headed to Rose to help clear dust in Blackwater. Oh, what's the note? Okay. I do have a telegram. I'm so excited. So, Stone told Ruth, Stone told Ruth that he believed Moretti, Amadeo Moretti, and his his little group has been using the second manor in, in St. Denis, but nobody from law can confirm it. So I left a note in that manor with, t with Ruth's telegram saying my name was Charlie and I wanted to move in. Is there anybody that uses this place? Because I never see them. Especially because I've kept an eye on it throughout this weekend and haven't seen anybody using it. So it was like my last, my last strategy. And I talked like an absolute moron in the thing. So they hopefully wouldn't connect it to me. I figured 
It might be too obvious, but it's worth a try. All right, keep asking questions. I'm, I'm gonna go take a piss super quickly. And I'm gonna grab a drink. Here, B. Keep asking questions. All right, uh, uh, I'm back. Um, uh, who will stream wild RP first, Meech or Mantis? Probably Meech. Was the Leo plan rescheduled for today off stream? Well, it was rescheduled for. Yesterday, or it was rescheduled for Sunday, and then it didn't happen. Um, what was the Thorn talk about? Norse mythology. Does Ruth actually not know what Leo has planned? Uh, I mean, Ruth, Ruth figures it's. Ruth figures it is most likely either a double date or some sort of combination of people going but doesn't 100% know it how was the big Elgin bass talk oh yeah that was a good talk I forgot about that talk Um, I mean, they just kind of talked as they normally do. It was a good big Elgibass conversation. Escape my... Details? I, it, it was literally your typical Jabass big L combo. I don't know what you Focus want from way, me. Poke his way. Yeah, they, they literally just talk shit at each other, pretty much. It is! I forgot to show you guys that, actually. Manly cigarettes. Paid advertisement. Tired... <laughs> Tired of looking like a sissy with the pipes and cigars? Try manly cigarettes. All the added benefits of tobacco smoke, but more manly. 
loaded with gunpowder, male sweat and chili. You'll feel so manly you'll want to ignite them with your gun. Please don't do that. Contact Drew Peters at M2 MT042 or stop by the Bastille for more information. And then right under that. Notice! Sheriff Marty Malone would like to remind you, the citizens, that they should not, if they encounter rowdy locals, common practice is to notify. <sighs> you want to new? I have a Jabass related question. Here we go. Oh shit! Mods can pin messages. What are his thoughts currently? Do you want to be any uh, more broad? What do you mean about? I mean, I'm just, that's a very broad question. I can't answer that. You want pedals? Yes, yeah, under my thing. Don't worry, I got you. No fucking way. No fucking way these bozos actually fell for this. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? No fucking way. All right, well, that was confirmation enough. <laughs> Fuck, I gave him my telegram, I can't. <laughs> That's so nice of her. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you sending it or do you want me to send it to the To, to, no, you are. I'm, I'm, I'm sending, uh, the stuff to, to Pedal. Alright. For her to reach out to you and plan that out. <laughs> that sounds so aggressive! Are you saying something, Naomi? Yeah, they're, the known, they're the known, they're yeah, the manliest tobacco yeah. product Before known to man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can see me. Okay, I'm making sure I don't sound so, so aggressive! <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's nice to see you. How you in? Ah, I'm good. Good to see you too as well. How's uh, things in the Bastille going? Good. Good. Personal life's a little fucking stressful, but you know, work is great. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Okay. I'm actually about to go head over there now, but I will see you soon. You stop by if you, uh, I know you're an amazing cook, but you know, if you don't feel like cooking, you need something to eat, you stop by, okay? Oh, yeah, say this. Anytime. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. <laughs> Would you like for me to send a dearest? Confirmation. Okay. <laughs> this, is they the, confirm this is the dumbest thing I think PM. I've ever wrote uh, as a telegram. For Thanksgiving dinner. Woo! You sure it has the greeting? Because I know you don't like to do those. No, I will. Don't worry. All right.
You know, I installed the new war zone, by the way. Me and Owen were playing DMZ. You haven't answered my question? You, you, you need to be more specific, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. You're saying what are his thoughts uh, about specifically? Well, you said what are his thoughts generally after the Josie talk? What? 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 That doesn't really. That doesn't really specify about what, about the actual talk. Thoughts on solitary? He wants out of solitary. During solitary. <laughs> um. Okay. During solitary. Uh, I mean, he just. What is his thoughts on steak? Best eaten with a hand. What, uh. The during solitary, uh. His thoughts are pretty much just. Wanting to get out? I don't, I don't know how to answer that for you. Yeah. I, really, I really don't. Uh, like, I thought you would ask about a specific topic, Mio Yo. Not like just in general. I, if, if we're gonna talk, if we're gonna talk in general, he, he's just upset. I guess. I, I don't know what to tell you. He's just upset. Did you guys have a plan for getting out of solitary? Nope. Out of the emote, really bad. Um, I mean, as far as wild RP content, I don't, we have recaps in the Discord. Um, there's also, there's also a highlighted, uh, there's also a highlighted, uh, there's also highlights on the channel, and there's also a highlighted recap of Jabassa's story. I, I, we don't really have too much of a recap for Ruth. Like, in the sense that we don't have a highlight for Ruth. Like, uh, kind of like our Jabass highlight sticks did. We gotta leap down. plan aside I've already said that for the most part I keep like uh, I've already said that it's been pushed aside in character are you talking about like it oh my god Are you talking about, uh, are you talking about, like, behind and to as, like, okay, are you, are you asking about being pushed aside totally? Like, he won't do it at all, or just pushed aside like, uh, it's being put off? In what context? Oh. Who 
the fuck? Uh, nah, just in the clothing store. Hello, Ken. Hello. Yes, you're here. You can hit the dog all you want. Yes, you can hit the dog. Alright, sounds good, Viper. Floor. Tower seven away from the next level hype train. Wow. Okay. It is dead. Yeah, I have the most, like, American name for this new character. And, uh, I was really tempted to play him with an EU accent. <laughs> His name is Rocky Jackson. And I was really tempted to, to play him with an EU accent. Yeah, have a good night, Mio-Yo. Telegram. Two seven one. Plenty of the ten bomb. Let me telegram Mr. Starks. KG four four nine. To Valentine we go. Uh, uh, 
she's gone, she's gone. Tower 12 away for the next level that I am training. Oh, there's a wagon. Huh. I'm going to change it whenever town I get to. I was thinking about keeping it just because I'm going to Thanksgiving dinner in character, technically. Oh, beans with the 5 bits. John B. Cat chest. Like three, four subs away from the next level of hype train. Fuck is that? I ain't taking chances with Bell Gang around. Fuck that shit. I'm keeping my gun out. What is this game about? Eating, okay. On the way to Valentine. Chicken. I got no clue, but if it's like the first one is, Bebe, uh, Warzone is pretty much like Battle Royale compared to Modern Warfare 1, which is like team based shit. If that makes any sense. Hello. Oh, 
Can I help you? I believe I have some belongings here that I'm supposed to come pick up. I'm not sure if they're still here. Yeah, what's your name? The name is Kai. Okay. Give me two minutes. Take a tumble where you go. You keep reminding me. No, I don't. Sorry, I'm having to go through the paperwork. What what were you arrested for? I was not arrested. I have a uh, telegram from a uh, deputy Cleo telling me that some belongings was recovered from me from someone would you like to see the telegram no i i believe you uh hmm. all right I'll, I'll go look through one more time uh if I can't find anything, I'd suggest telegramming her back and asking when you could grab it from her. Okay? Mm, understood. Right. What's the uh, weapon etched with? Uh, it did not have any etching. Okay. It just said, I have a crate full of stuff here that I was supposed to pick up. There was no details. Uh, what? This fella ain't okay. Mm, not exactly. Yeah, I don't know what crate she's talking about. You, you should just telegram her directly then. Nice. It is alright. Thank you. Yep, no problem. <clears throat> Dude, Ruth looks so much better without a beard, in my opinion. 
Oh, fuck me, man. It doesn't say how many fucking deputies are there and only lists three. I don't make sure they're okay. If I can spot more than- if I can spot six deputies, I'm backing out. I can spot six deputies. I'm gonna get close enough to talk to somebody. I'd assume there's six, but you never know. What fucking back road exit did I just take? Let's take Wallace all the way over. They can break off from Wallace and it'll be easy to go to hanging for hanging dog from there. I just hear a bear. Oh, oh that answers that. That fucking scared the shit out of me. Seeing it on the tracks. Okay. take the woodland entrance. Please 
no bear. Just, I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna mark hanging dog just to have a reference. This is like the worst angle with all these trees, huh? the fuck? Did they push the building? I just heard horses, but... What direction was it? I need up on this mountain. There's like a decent chance that those horses were law. I heard. Could have been wild horses though too. Chuck Strawberry. I don't see shit. I can't tell if it's because I'm blind. Can't tell if it's because I'm blind or not. I hear bush sounds. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm done being solo in the goddamn woods. Alright, I'm hearing bush sounds like somebody's walking through a fucking bush. Fuck that. That's a bear. Man, my luck with animals today. Am I on Jabass, bro? Am I on fucking Jabass? What is this? The fuck is this, man?
I feel like if Law was there, still, I 100% would have seen horses moving or on foot. So most likely, the horses that I heard were probably Law. It's a 60% chance. 60% chance Law, 30% chance Wild horses. 10% Bell Gang. I'd assume that's a that, that that's Bell Gang based off previous tips. And they're also like the only gang out right now. That also plays into it. Holy shit, okay. Hey. Something. How can I help? Um, triage. Take a look over, folks. And help where needed. I, I saw um, the tip. I didn't know if you guys were fucking outnumbered. I went out there. I heard horses leaving. No, so no, you there, guys were leaving. there was already a six out there. Myself, Kramer, and Frankie went out to check on them. Okay. All right, I'll go inside and start looking yep. over. Okay. How's he looking? We have an arterial bleed on Brooks' shoulder. Shit, what? We'll get you over your feet and make sure someone looks at your, your wound. Put a bandage on oh, it. Shit, man. God fucking damn it. It has an arterial bleed? Yes. Okay, this one uh, can wait. She just has muscle damage. So I can take over here if you need. Uh, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be this person uh, over here with an arterial, arterial bleed, I think. Oh god, I can't yes, tell where people uh, are. There's so many. This one? Back corner, yes, this one. Okay. You conscious? Hello. Bailey. Oliver. Hey, can I help you? Our wounds have been, uh, our wounds have been packed. She ain't conscious. Uh, do you know if there's muscular damage Wait, at all? Me with the I believe I heard the doctor say there was. Okay. I, I don't know how to do muscular stuff. It was, if it wasn't muscular, I could oh. but... Uh, you are a cadet, right? You ain't a medic. Damn. I'm not a medic. Yeah, I don't, don't worry. As long as it's packed, you'll, you'll be okay. Yeah, you mean, yeah. They get DCAs. Well, if worse comes to it, I can stitch. Yeah. Muscle. You're on minute, you okay? Okay. Yes, just a lot of little wounds everywhere. Is 
And are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Don't get me wrong, I've been better, but I'm alright. How's Brooks and Mia looking? Uh, Bailey is, uh, Bailey's unconscious. Uh, I might have overheard muscular damage. Uh, sh she's got two wo gunshot wounds. They're, they've been packed. Uh, Brooks has arterial, arterial, artery bleed in the shoulder. Yes. She's getting looked at right now. Did you get hit? Can I look at you? It's on my arm. It, my net's, it's just a bandage that popped me around. Fucking Seamus pushed him out of feet and just caught me off guard. That's all I'm around. Where's, where's McIntosh? Uh, she... Uh, she passed headache. out hard. Yes, yes. Alright. I'm waiting for Stump, yeah. The local doctors are going to be taking care of Tosh. She got hurt? <laughs> Everyone's dead? I think it was the bell gang. Holy fuck. Twenty one law on duty right now. Sorry. Holy shit. According to the uh, the big clipboard, let's see how much is in the in character clipboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And Valentine got there pretty good. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm, I got. I. Uh, I've got a I've got a gift for Valentine for getting deputy. I knew he was getting deputy. Do you remember that Valentine deck we got when before we were a cadet, like four months ago? I made to give it to Valentine as a gift because his last name's Valentine. So giving him a Valentine deck, you know. Plus, I get to clear out some of my storage if I do that.
Going out soon. From the sounds of it, they're all laying their head down. Because they were saying they won't, uh, we won't be seeing them any further today. Gotcha. They initially said to me during negotiations they were willing to give their injured, which turned from three down to one in a matter of moments. Said that we can have Seamus, the rest of them all can go free, and I said, look, I'm kind of hesitant to do this, given that last time we get one of you in the cell, y'all come and knock the door and break them out. Right. Tried to argue the case, said, well, you've got our word, and I said, yeah, I'm sure the deputies in Blackwater had your word too, that you weren't going to do nothing. So shoot out and shoot and they all started jumping off the fucking roofs and rushing us with as many numbers as they could. Uh Mia here. I could do with your help. Alright. So they initiated it this time? No, this time I said to him that I can't I can't trust your word on it. Who fired first is what I'm asking. I fired first. Okay. Yeah, how many charges did these guys rack do? This <laughs> stump just came over. Let me know if you need help on that report, right? How many were involved on their side? Inside hanging dog? Yeah. There was six of them. Jesus so I'm taking Christ. it as... Melody, Harmony, Seamus, Peyton, John. There was John, Peyton, Seamus, another one, Harmony, uh, and somebody else which I didn't recognize. But it was definitely John, Seamus, and Harmony, and Peyton. Holy well, shit. Well, if there's a report written about the bank robbery, you can probably pull any names off of there. Well, there's only... Uh, uh, Seamus Bell already had 1,900 days. I'm pretty sure he might be close to 3,000 fucking days. You said that they were willing to give over their injured. Went from three to one. Who was the injured they were going to give up? Seamus. So there weren't two other names given, just Seamus? No, no. So all the tips, they were, they're were coming in saying they've got injured all over hanging dog. On the next one. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Seamus plays uh, Mikey Be uh, Michelangelo Scarpati. Is that the Mikey you're talking about? Yeah, where's uh, where's Brooks? Um, she just got helped. Uh, she just took some painkillers, so she might be under the bathroom. Does she need any water or food or anything? Or she maybe she's outside. Yeah, I know Sheriff right. Uh, well, I, I know, I know Wright plays Benji. I... Their group is, uh... <laughs> oh, hold up. your day it's been a day good day thanks yeah do you, do you still need a doctor Yes, we do. Please, uh, head, uh, go ahead and sign. Uh, we got, we got a lot of people here. Might, might want to start taking some people from him. Um, I think so. I'm just trying to get yes, her please. bleeding to stop. Uh, she has a bullet lodged in her muscle. I think. You want to, uh, you want to hit the black corner? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head to Black Water. I'm just checking to see if the bleeding has stopped. Ready. 
See if you can take some people with you, Ruth. Okay. I, I, um, Stump Coyote, you want to come with? Yeah, I need yep. to talk to Cash. I think he's in Blackwater. All right. Uh -huh. Shaw, you coming with too? Yep, yep. All right. Here. Yep, I uh, get that mount up as well, though. All right, we follow you, senior. Uh, you okay? Sounds good. Do we have everybody? <laughs> Looks like it. Blackwater, where are you going? We're going to Blackwater. Okay. All right. One, two, two, two. I think. I think we have seven. One, two, 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 one. No, not not a one at the end. I don't think. Okay, if we have seven, wouldn't we need one at the end? Oh no, never mind. There's still one in the front. And yeah, we got one in the front. Okay. See. All right. Uh, is anybody going? Are we all going to Blackwater, or anybody going to Valentine? I believe we are all heading to Blackwater. All right. Uh, we'll just. I just need I, yeah. I just need to talk to Cash. I, I, I think he's in Blackwater. That's why I'm going there. Okay. Sounds good. How how is everybody's shift doing? I well, just I think... woke up. <laughs> All right. I think you just saw Senor. It's a bit heavy at the moment. A bit tense. Yep. Uh, were you guys any of you guys present there? See, si, see. Si. Make a right. We were in Blackwater and then right. 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 dealing with the 10 ton gang, brought them in. Okay. Next thing we know, it's a bank job. What did the 10 ton gang do? Uh, they were out threatening folk, killing cattle. We cornered them and McFarland, they decided to pull iron. Rider. Rider, coming in fast. Was that Kennedy? Yeah, I think that was Kennedy. Make a right. got taken down yep we're in blackwater dealing with that next thing you know the bank is being robbed i stayed back to get the statements from the from the hostages okay next thing i know a bunch of deputies are being brought on horseback bleeding another party that was, was the put bank together. robbery with the bell gang yeah exactly they chased the bell gang towards quaker cove who brings and them in our own Make this left down here. Making a left. And then, uh, and so then we then had we tips word. about uh, about them being in the valley. Yeah, okay. exactly. So hand um, put together another party, and we rode out towards Big Valley, surrounded them in the well, in that building at Hanging Dog. Yeah. The call was made to to attack, and they bested us. Do we, uh, do we have it? Just go off road here, southeast. Uh, do we have everybody, uh, do we have everybody ID'd from that? See, I think they know everybody over there. Okay. I think Sand, uh, recognized them. This Bell Gang is new to me. The only one I know of is John Bell because the witnesses told me that. The uh, there's, is. there's Benji Bell. He's like kind of the, uh, he's the one that mainly does negotiations from my experience with him. There's Seamus Bell. Uh, John Bell, which you know, there's Harmony and Melody Bell, and they're twins. Did you, did you mention Seamus? Yeah. Seamus was there, John was there, Harmony was there. They really know what they're doing, senor. These guys, they're really... They're yeah. Really slow, get ready to slow down for town. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go... Cadets, come with me. I'm gonna go send in a tip that we arrived. Uh, to the office, check the line. Alright.
Law. Ruth SX271. Black Water. Ruth. Shaw. Brooks. Coyote. Stump. Forester. Fuck. Grey Castle? I don't know that other cadet's name. I think it's Grey Castle. Hey, Sheriff. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, we, uh, we just saw a lot of us just came from Blackwater. We've got a lot of injured folk in Strawberry right now. Injured? Yeah, uh, yeah, injured deputies. They, anyone critical? Everyone doing okay? I, I think everybody's okay now. I think Brooks was the most critical and she's here right now. Gotcha. She's, what? Walking around, talking at least. Yeah, she's walking around. She's her shoulder got hit bad. Uh, gotcha. So, are these cadets with you? Yeah, Forester and Grey Castle, right? Uh, yes. Yes. I believe I've met both of you at different times. Yes. yes. There, uh, there also was a shootout earlier today with the Bell Gang as well, and I believe Maple is um, possibly in a coma right now. Okay, nobody told me that. Uh, and okay, prior to that, I'll... there was also a shootout with the 10-ton gang at McFarland Ranch. Oh, yeah, well, right no one was injured. In no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was in St. Denis for a while. I came over and I saw I saw a tip about injured folk, so I was trying to help triage. Yeah, gotcha. So. Well, uh, I'll read the paperwork and I'll send in some telegrams later, alright? Alright, sounds good. Um, If you're on duty later, uh, I wanted to grab you for two minutes of a chat. It's, yeah, um, I might be on duty later. Okay, so. sounds good. If you're sticking around. Yep, stay safe. I'm assuming today's been hectic for the both of you. Uh, t today, last night, <laughs> it's kind of been nonstop. Uh, yeah, I think both of our last couple of shifts have been very, very hectic. That's a good experience, though, in terms of being exposed to things. Yep. Don't like seeing people get hurt, though. Well, it's yeah, unfortunately true. something you gotta get used to in this line of work. Yeah. And it, it don't ever get easier, but it goes more frequent. for you yeah howdy bro howdy, Senor, i think you need to talk to this deputy he's already lollipopping first day on the yard i'm not lollipopping he's oh you got promoted yeah i got my badge wonderful he's going on a date already senor who are you going on a date with no, I don't think it's gonna happen anymore. It's not Lollipop, and her name's Maya Bailey. Mia Bailey's sister. And it's not a date, Coyote. It's just a congratulation, congratulatory dinner. Okay, well. Who let this guy be a deputy? You don't, really? you know, no Lollipop, and okay. If you, if you want to yes, do, sir. look, I, I have a motto. You know, if you want to go the extra route, uh, only get your dick wet in the bathtub, okay? What would that mean? Can't you tell me? Well, it means uh, the only time your dick gets wet is when you take a bath. Oh. What about when you do pee pee? Well, I'd, I'd hope it. <laughs> what? How, why would it get wet then? <laughs> See, he's no good for that. 
Michael. <laughs> sí. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, Ruth. I got my head on the job. I'm I'm focused on the, this Bell gang right now. I don't like what they've been doing to the department. Man, yeah. these guys are sharp. I'm telling you, they, they, they were like uh, ex-military or something. They were the first. Uh, they were the first gang that robbed a bank. Uh, I think within 24 hours to get in the badge, they robbed a bank, and I had to negotiate with them. So I've been dealing with them for a while. They they shoot. They shot down what 12 deputies today. Si, si, si. They're looking at close to 3,000 days worth of charges, I think, too. Jesus. Some of them 3,000 days? That's two days? That's two days worth of work, senor? I think they're doing... I, I, because they fled to Guarma, and I think one of them had close to 1,900 days. So... And they, I know they've been causing chaos since they got back from Guarma. Si, si. Valentine, okay. I, I heard you dyed your hair white. Yeah. Who, who told you that? Stump, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, uh, you know... Uh, uh, why do you think it was me? <laughs> Listen, it sir, it's because I want to be like you when I'm older. I thought you said it was because you were trying to get with a girl. There was two reasons. There's two reasons. Yeah, I do want to be like you when I'm older, that's a fact. But also, Maya said she liked your silver hair, so... I... Yeah. Alright, fair enough. At some point, uh, at some point we go down to St. Denis, I, uh... I got you something for getting deputized, okay? Thank you, sir. I'm, right. I'm so excited to be riding together. I'll Good. be able to ride with you, officially. All right, I'm gonna check tip line, okay? All Congratulations right. again, okay? Yes, sir. Keep up the good work, and I'm proud of you getting your badge. Thank you, sir. Valentine. Yes, Sheriff. Uh, you need a thousand dollars as a... I guess a boat. All right. Um, we apparently got some trouble up in Valentine. There was a robbery. Um, okay. We got some guns stolen. Uh, Cameron's gonna take some photos. All right, perfect. There. Alright, I need like five minutes. Cameron's yep. handling that though? Yeah. Alright, perfect. For the sounds of it, it's already cleared out, so it's mainly just taking a statement. So okay, better. yeah. Fair enough. Alright. Okay. Alright, chat. Uh, I'm gonna go take a piss real quick. Be right back. Yes, they do. A shot. Yes, sir. Uh, where are you stationed again? Uh, I believe I'm out in New Orleans, in Tumbleweed under Rabbit. All right, could you come over here, please? Oh, I can tell you. But... Uh, Tango, you can tell me. If you, uh, so who are we looking at? So you want to look him up in the registry, see if you can find him. There he is. 
then if you go to the bottom of his documentation, you will see his full criminal history. And then you go to the bottom of that. Well, actually, you don't have to go very far because he's very wanted. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, once you uh, once you begin charging him, like you get him in a cell, um, you can uh, it, you, know, you can tell it there. But uh, when he's just wanted like this, then um, you basically just have to take the totals and sum them up yourself. So, let's see, he's got a a little bit, but. Generally, if you know this is what uh, if this is the stage we're at, then we don't really need the total until we get them into a cell. We go 180 and 320. That's about 500. Five, uh, 770. 900. 1,030. 1,000. 130, uh, 35, uh, 1,200, 1,200, thereabouts. Look, they're close to 1,500 days. Okay. So, so you, so you check them individually to see the charges? Yeah, you, you go through the totals and you just add them together. Okay. So if I, so, so hold on. Ruth. Y yes. How, how did you? How did you know that they they faced three thousand days? I think if you, Seamus Bell was at nineteen hundred days before he left to Guarma, and I was estimating he probably did around a thousand days worth of charges since then. Ayori, you remember that uh, that uh, young fellow we were chasing earlier? Which one? Red-haired fellow. Tommy Bell. Tip, he's in town. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think he might be over here. Oh. Apparently, there's a hooligan. I think he stole Adelaide's horse. Like, there's a tip I couldn't on there tell if he just said it was a bell member. <laughs> no, that. Oh, man has red hair. Oh, that time, that time I read main had red hair. Alright, fair enough. Eh, I suppose. Coyote choose the one bell member that. Probably doesn't have a lot. Three thousand days. There's a lot of redheads in the crossing. To be fair, shame is Bill. Okay, hold on. I'm not doing it that way. It's gonna take too long. Shame is Bill. Two sixty. How you doing, Ruth? Ah, uh, I'm doing all right. I'm just uh, honestly, I I came from Saint Denis and I did help triage some people that were hurt, and now I'm just kind of here. I'm adding up some charges. How about you? Where have you been, Tango? 
Bro, I got shot for the first time today. Oh my god, I didn't Congratulations. die. Congratulations. Thank you, Brooks. Just took more of them, and I said congratulations. I took one of them with no, me. No, I said I said thank you. Are you are you at least holding up okay to getting shot? Yeah, I got a, I got shot in the leg, and it was uh, you know, hastily I uh, looked on, and I just been resting for the last time, so I'm ready to go again. Jesus Christ, Seamus Bell is looking at a lot of time. Yep. Holy shit, he is. What one are you I on right now, Shaw? Did you just finish him? Or are you adding up all his charges still? Oh, I, I don't know his charges. I was just looking at him. He's, I think he's over 3,000 days. Woo. You know what? Hold on. Let me get the fucking abacus out. Do you know which one of them is the uh, the red-headed one? I think Seamus, Bill. Yes. I think he was the uh, the one that I gunned down. Yeah, he was injured. Yeah, so Seamus Bell had 1,900 days before they fled to Guarma, and I know John Bell has racked up 1,300 days since being released, which was after they got back from Guarma, if I remember correctly. So Seamus Bell is looking at probably 3,200 days, roughly. You know what? I'm glad that I'm not a criminal yeah, piece of shit with nothing better to do like than 2, piss 000. off everybody else. Is, are crazy. Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, I'm 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 glad that I'm not a criminal piece of shit with nothing better to do than fuck everybody else's day up. <laughs> but with that being said, I am gonna go uh, rest my head for a bit. So <laughs> Frank, all, all right. right, you have a good, good night, night Tango. Tango. Don't stay safe, okay? Yeah. You as well. Get back in two minutes. You just need to drink your coffee. Sounds about right. Aries. Hey, Kramer, you got two seconds? Absolutely. Got more than two seconds. Ooh. Uh, gang dossiers. Brooks told me you were you and Weller were looking into updating them. Mostly Weller, and a lot of them are. I don't know if you've taken a look, but they They're look fucking off, like awfully out of date. Even still, are you? Have, did you look today? Well, we didn't have anything on Dead End Gang when I looked last night. That's oh, well, it yeah, it all changed. Um, that's, that's Ruth. correct. We yeah. didn't have jack shit. We didn't have jack shit on, on a lot. How much um, are they looking at? Uh, Seamus is looking about, uh, 3,300. Yep, that's what I thought. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Seamus Bell yeah, wow. is 3,300 days. Wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, take a look now. Um, let me know if there's anything that needs to be added. Well, the Dicenzos are very out of date. Um, we don't know a lot about the Dicenzos and yeah, a lot of I'm this gonna, information. I'm gonna we're... I'm gonna talk to Stone about it and see if I can get Stone to update it a lot because he knows all fucked on about them. I'll tell you what we were doing. So right, so if there are gangs that we didn't know about, we would go and we would read files about them, read yeah. what they had done, try to, you know, come up with a bio on them and then put it in there because 
for some of them, they were completely empty, and we had never met them. And for others, they were dead members that were still showing up on there, so I tried to go in there and update who was deceased and not. And so there should be a lot of updates. It's gonna, it's a slow process. There's a lot to get yeah. done there. Um, but there has been some changes. I know Weller worked on it for at least two hours yesterday. Yeah, Den and Gang is still empty. No, no known members are listed. No deceased members are listed. Just, just uh. Yeah. Um. It's, you know, I I don't know a whole lot about them. Yeah. There was a little bit of an issue there. I know. There's a few we didn't get to. Okay. But if you know a lot about them. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start working. I'm gonna try to work on some of the ones in uh, that are around like the Saint Denis area. Um. Okay, cool. The Heartland mobs have been updated. I think they go by Boon Boys now. To... Boon's Boys. Yeah. Um, feel free to change the titles. I up we updated the Summers and the Redwater. There's now a Summers dossier and a Redwater dossier, not a Summers slash Redwater and then a Summers to make it confusing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I make an, a suggestion for you guys this format? Sure. Maybe have deceased members at the bottom. That's what. Oh, did he change that motherfucker? Because, I had all the deceased members at the bottom. Well, I don't know if it's for all of them, but Boone's boys, uh, Elias Boone is showing as the first member as deceased. So. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's probably me not getting there completely okay, yet, but... I, perfect. I'm going to move them to the bottom, then. Feel free. The two deceased. All right. A good format one to look at. Let me... There is, um... I think it's the Hong... The Hong has really good format, and I think it's updated and has a lot of parts to kind of model off of. And we did our best to make sure that everyone was in the index, but I'm not completely sure that everyone is in the index. Alright, I, I, I got... I, I don't think all of them are. I, I think, um... Well, at least I, I noticed with the Dicenzos, we, we, we definitely have some members that aren't registered, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're going to run into that with every group. No, I was looking into the files like last week and realized how out of date some of them are, so I've been trying to update some of them. Yeah, I really appreciate that. It's something that uh, it should be easy. Um, when I transferred them all over, the intention was to update them little by little when you would learn something, but everybody forgets. I mean, I'm no stranger to that. So hopefully now when we get them all updated and up to date again, when you learn something new, we can just go add it to that dossier and not be in this situation ever again. Right now, we're in this situation, right? You wanna, the whole point of a dossier is you have those case links now. Yeah. So if a major gang does a crime, you can have a case link dossier where you add that case to that case link so you can always be keeping track which gang is doing what when you find out. We haven't really been doing that. It's something that I think is semi-useful. It's useful for the matter, you know, because we always have one or two gang members never get caught. That would, which keeps us from archiving certain reports, and we could archive yeah. the reports if we had them indexed. We could go back, oh, you're part of this gang? Let's go see what this gang has done and see if you've been charged for things that are a month old. We should probably get to move on. No, I'm so sorry. I forgot what we were doing. I am um, going to help Rip at this meeting, but I will be back if you want to talk about this more. Yeah, sounds good. I, I should be in the area. I, I'm, I might go check up on Mr. Stark, and then I right. still should blame Blackwater, though. All right, I'll hunt you down. All right, sounds good. Let's see you, Rip. You as well. I'll be, uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, perfect. Oh my god, I gotta go back to St. Denis ASAP. Where is everybody? Watching fireworks on the roof! Alright. I didn't know how that worked. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? 
How you doing? Fireworks. I thought this would last a little longer, but. He look like I, a dip. I, I think he looks nice. Oh, yeah, I can see him. It depends on the hat and which, oh. whatever hat he has. Yeah, put it in here. Well, no, because I'm not going to use this hat. Oh, right, right. You don't have the right hat. What is the hat? Oh, it's the I'm not the showing guy. his hat. No. <laughs> I threw it in the water, actually, on the way here because I hated it. The it, was, it, was, it was a weird hat, I will admit. <laughs> All right, fair enough. But no, yeah, this pretty classic woman. Whoop, I would say. Alright. Obviously, so, yeah. you need a gun belt and uh, probably a coat, but yeah, got the makings well, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. So, y'all have any applications around? Oh, uh, yeah. Always do. Always iron. I swing by and get, get one one day. Saint Denis. I don't know where Brooks went. I was gonna make sure Brooks is okay. Deputy. Hey. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> I do have a city outfit I really want to make, Chant, but I don't know if I can make it, and I don't know if I have the room to make it. You know American Psycho? You know when he's walking around with the, the blue shirt with the white collar? And he's got, like, uh, the red tie. I kind of want to make a city outfit for that, like that, for patrol foot patrols. Saying goodbye. I don't know where the fuck Brooks is. Oh, there she is. Oh, there you are. Hey. Oh, guess what? What? Those dumbasses actually fell for my note. Did they? Yes. What they say? Amadeo Moretti confirmed it for me. Oh my god. So Valentine, I I've been uh I've been well I've been looking into a lot of folk in Saint Denis as of late. And uh Senior Deputy yep, Stone I remember. Uh, yeah, Senior Deputy Stone thought you know the uh you know the manor that's uh you know the manor that's next to uh not the Dicenzo manor, but the one that's on the corner. That, like, nobody really occupies. It has, like, almost a ten entrance. Yeah, it has, like... It's like, the big white house. The big white one, one yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, apparently, uh, uh... Apparently, they were using both of them, so I left a note saying my name was Charlie and asking if, if me and my friends could move into that place. <laughs> and they telegrammed me back. <laughs> 
though. That will, they confirmed it. Alrighty, well that you're you're a fucking sly dog, Rue. Yep. That note was All right. Great. Are you all done? Yep. Okay. All right, we're good to go. All right, I was coming I was coming to telegram you. I didn't know where you went. I Take care, to sir. Anthony. Yeah, I'll go with you. I can't really do much else. I I think I missed Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. I think yeah. shit. I missed Howdy. it too. Yeah, I think it was Howdy. an hour ago, and I know fireworks were involved, and fireworks just went off five five minutes ago, so I'm pretty sure I missed Thanksgiving. Mm. Oh, man. Can't believe you'd skip Thanksgiving. Okay, well, it's not actually Thanksgiving, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was invited to it, too, by Mr. Stark. Yeah, Mr. Stark invited me, too. Ruth invited me. Yep. I definitely missed it. Too busy yeah, getting shot. Us, we all missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I actually really like his outfit. I'm so happy right now, guys. We'll get I, get a I gotta fully work. Yeah, I gotta fully work with you guys now. Yeah, like I said, good fucking work. Thank you, sir. I knew it was coming. Alright, I'm going to St. Denis, but first I'm making an outfit. You're making another outfit? Alrighty. Of course. Where are you going to store that one? Alright, hold up. Down a bunch. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Stark. Hey, Mr. Ruth. Hey, we, we were going to come, but uh, it got very busy. Very cool. yeah, yeah, I'm really it, sorry yeah. about that. Like an hour before, was it a ten ton and the bail gang decided to do a bunch of shit? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we still like have that. we still have tons of food if y'all want some. I have it right here. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm, where where'd you where'd you guys eat? I'll I'll head over and eat. No, we, it just no, ended. It's... Everyone's gone. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, still. We we, we were on an He's island. He's it all. Oh, you're on an island. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh that, my that god. Just across the shore. Do you want to pass this around to the department? Because I don't have any use for this much food. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we made we made quite a bit. And then we didn't Thank we didn't have an escape plan for the boxes, so we mm -hmm. had to abandon all the boxes on the island. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, I see. Yeah. Well, thank uh, you for the for idea. the invite, and I I apologize that I missed it. It's okay. Y'all enjoy I, that I, food. I'm sorry as well. Oh, did you get your badge, Mr. Valentine? That's right, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, some of the folks that were there might be joining y'all's ranks soon. I'll, I'm going to be off duty while working on the report, okay? All right, sounds good, Coyote. All right. Hopefully. Do you know when the cadet program's opening back up, or is that something for sheriffs? Uh, I mean, we're always hiring, so. Yeah, well, well a few of my friends said that the cadet program was full right now. They, oh, they had to wait. okay. Yeah, so uh, if I remember correctly, now keep in mind, this, it has been, God, I've been a deputy for over three months. It's a bit crazy to think. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a cadet, when I got, when I got, uh, I guess, accepted and everything like that, it basically, from what I understood about it as a cadet, was when somebody gets deputized, like Jesse did here today, a new cadet will be brought in, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's just a matter of when people get deputized and when people are fully trained up, new new blood comes in afterwards. Okay, well, hopefully they will get in. I'm talking about Mr. Quill and Mr. Lancaster. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I've, I, uh, I'm hoping to see, uh, I don't know Mr. Quill too well, but I'm hoping to see Lyle, uh, Lyle get it being a cadet. He's a good guy. I, I, I hope Mr. Well. Quill makes it. He was uh, saying he wants to bring good to the quill name. Yeah. A lot of a lot of burden with that quill name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not wrong. There is a lot of burden there, but you know, I think I think the sheriff said it best. We gave him his, our condolences for having to share the last name, but hopefully he can bring some good to it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, we. Well, I don't want to hold y'all up too long. It was nice to see you at least. Yeah, is the general store doing okay? 
yeah, we're doing fine. We didn't, nothing touched us with whatever happened there. Actually, could you do me a favor? Yeah. Do you, you have like five minutes? I got five. Do you, were you one of the deputies that responded to the 10 ton gang robbing folk down no, in the Fallen? No, I, I was not. Do you know, is anyone around who was? Um, Valentine or Brooks would know better. I don't know. Uh, Coyote is, he said he was going off duty to work on a report, but he should be back uh, shortly. Okay, I'm trying to make an article about that, and I need to question more folk. So okay. I will, I'll see if I can find him around. Do you know who else was there? Uh, Mr. Kerrigan was also there. Okay. First name? Uh, Boyd Kerrigan, sir. Okay, I don't believe I've met him before. All right, well, I appreciate that then. Y'all have a good evening. You too. Y'all take care, safe. folks. Stay safe. Take Keep care. up the good work. Yeah. All right, here. Valentine, come here. Yes, sir. There you go. There's some of your Thanksgiving meal. Amazing. There you go. There's some of yours. Thanks. What are you, uh, what are you two thankful for? <laughs> well, I'm thankful for. <laughs> My parents, they raised me very well. I always tried to make sure there was food on the <laughs> plate and, uh, you know, blanket around me when I go to bed. What about you, Brooke? Hmm. I'm a little bitter right now. Being thankful is hard to think. I'm also thankful you're alive and made it say, out of there. I'm still alive and I didn't get shot down by one of our own, minus the couple bullets I did take from him. What about you, Ruth? Ah, uh, God, what am I thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful that, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'm thankful that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the department seems pretty tight-knit, pretty close, and uh, a lot of folk care about each other. And I think it's good to, uh, you know, I, I think it's good that uh, we only stay close rather than have people that feel like they're not a part of a family, you know. That and scotch. <laughs> and coffee. All right. I think I'm going to rest my head for like an hour in uh the blackwater office then i'll be back around all right sounds good we'll uh we'll probably be uh, i'm gonna head to saint denis i think i think brooks is gonna come with me so feel free to come down all right sounds good i'll see hey, you guys we'll shortly uh, there's been a shooting and a kidnapping by the looks of it up in valentine okay um, uh, we have deputies over there uh we have one but they're requesting assistance okay uh, so I was gonna come give some of this over. All right, what is what is this? Give me two seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. People gave us food to put in the crates for uh, they were having like a little Thanksgiving spa celebration. All right, fair. Um, be on the lookout for Ronnie Rivers. This is uh, all I can say because apparently he's related to this whole oh, mess. Uh, me, Stump, and McGinnis are probably gonna make our way up roads. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. We're gonna go to Saint Denis most likely. So on the way there, I'll stop by Valentine. All right. All right. That guy will just head directly to the road. All right. Sounds good. All right. See y'all later. See ya. All right. And check the tip line before we head out. Over there. Uh, 
All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I thought Shaw said that somebody should stick with us. Did he leave a cadet back? I don't see one. I don't see one either. Maybe he ended up taking them. Say it again. I said maybe he ended up taking them. Maybe. All right. Uh, got my water canteen back. Oh. Yeah. We're in that way. Valentine. Taking that shootout was a bad idea. Yeah. With the group of people we had. Who did we? Who'd you guys have? It was me, Bailey, Posh, Sand, Coyote, and Monet. Mm. Coyote and Monet were back, trying, like watching the window by the stable, like in the house from the stable area. Yeah. And somehow they were able to get on top of that roof and be shooting down at me on top of the roof. I got you. Sand shot at Yo, me. Yo, okay, Sand, say the raid, baby. Times. So, band position mixed with some people. <laughs> I see. How, how many Bell Gang were there? I think there was five. Okay. Then, the, a bunch of people started surrounding Hanging Dog, so I pulled out my binoculars to look at them, and that's when they popped out of the window and shot me down. It was Rip and Kramer. Yeah, so a tip came in that Rip Kramer and Frankie were at Hanging Dog and there was a shootout, and I thought there was only three fucking deputies there. So I hauled ass from Valentine over and was in the woods, and I heard the horses <laughs> leaving, and I assumed that was th them leaving with you guys. Yeah. I got attacked by three fucking bears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I, I had... A grizzly trying to kill me on Wallace, then I had a grizzly trying to kill me again at the Wallace telegram station that I had to kill, and then I had one try to kill me next to uh, Hanging Dog. Thank you for the raid, though. I'm glad you got deputized. I, I, I saw it was, uh, yeah, I saw it was coming. If we had a different group, I would have liked to try to get on the roof, be able to get a better position at that window, but I'm trying I to don't think. even you know and, where you Coyote and, and Monet That's what I was going to say. You and Sand are the only two in that, that I can think of that I've been with that I know I could rely on in that group. Tosh did pretty well. Bailey tried to shoot in the window for too long right in the beginning and got shot down. I had to cover Tosh while she pulled her out of the. He's line. such a sweetheart. Yeah, I try to play him as a sweetheart because Jabass is a cunt. But I don't even know where Coyote and Monet. They might have been taking a shot or two, but I just don't understand how that man was able to get out the window and shoot down at me. Because I was shooting in the far window and. I'm gonna be honest. To I'm, I'm gonna bring it up with the sheriff, but uh, when we're chasing the Bell Gang, we if they're going to a position that they, that is fortified. There is nothing, there's no, there, there should be no, look, if it's a battle that we most likely won't win and we're going up against a group like the Bell Gang that has, what, shot up almost 30 deputies in the last two weeks, we need to be willing to back off from situations we do not think we will come out on top from. Because it sounds like they have Prairie Dog locked down, five of them locked down, and they, sh they, sh did, did we even get any of them? No. Yeah. 
They had five. We had six. They and rushed out the window. Three of them rushed on the ground and got sand and Tosh. Yeah. Coyote so we, we need to be willing state. to pull out of these fights, especially if it seems like it is a unlikely to win fight. If it, it, either way, any battle in which we're we know we're gonna have to lose a lot of fucking lives just to what take down a few of them. Fuck that. These guys are fucking deadly. They really are. No loss of life should be greater than apprehending a group, especially if we don't feel confident. If there ain't confidence in taking the fight, then there ain't no shame in backing out. Just makes me wonder, why, why did we even go looking for him? I mean, look, the tip came in. I, I think it's completely fair to go looking for them, but once they had a fortified position and nobody... Uh, were you the only one that didn't feel confident? In the beginning, I sort of felt confident, but once I realized who we had, I realized I shouldn't have. Because honestly, if they were trapped upstairs, you can take that fight, or at least weed them out. I think it just a group that had never really done that together before. And uh, how do you feel it? Right. Now, I was running custody for that, and I hit the gun yep, away. Yep, you have. You mean yep? But I am going to hold on to this, and you're gonna have to find yourself a new Lancaster. That's oh. not government property. Okay. Okay. William. Get what? He's actually not the culprit here. That's I'm, right. I'm, 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 I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good boy. Okay. Again. I... okay. What do you mean okay? Uh, you're the only one in Valentine, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what, what happened? Because I know that there was some folk coming out this way. I think they're going to Rhodes to try to cut uh, off what happened. Yeah, so... I was in here, and I heard shooting, so I went out, and Ronnie had been shooting... And both of them were shooting at each other, but Ronnie had tried to rob Bluecoat. Bluecoat had shot him. Would you count that as self-defense? I'll, I'll, you're a senior deputy Go, in okay, this case. But this he, had a, he had a gun pointed at him. William, uh, no, uh, Ronnie was shoot, pointing a gun at Bluecoat and okay. telling him to get off his horse. Bluecoat got off his horse. Ronnie got off his horse, and in the time that Ronnie was getting off his horse, Bluecoat shot him down. Okay, Ronnie was getting off his horse, and then he got shot <laughs> by Bluecoat? Yes. Probably yes. in the back. Probably not self-defense at that point. No, 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 it wasn't, a, no, 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 it wasn't in the back. They, he was, Ronnie was trying, I don't know, I don't know. I'm the only fucking one here. Well, yeah, I can deal with this, but yeah. also not chasing anyone, so I, I mean, I'm leaving I, I, this you up in your Bro hands if you'd like to. You can ask Brooks, too, but... So let's see. He 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 has a gun pointed at him. Fair enough. I can understand being startled. He's about he, to be he, robbed. He's about to be robbed. Ronnie doesn't fire a shot, right? He does eventually. Well, yes, but, but he doesn't. Not, he, not he doesn't start, start yeah, firing. No, yeah, okay, yeah, so he doesn't right. start firing. He's got a gun pointed. He goes to step off of his horse, and then that's when Blue Coat opens fire. Yes. When he thinks he has an advantage. Yes. Uh, I I don't <laughs> think that's self defense. No. Would you like to go arrest him while I write up this paperwork? Yeah, did he have a government Lancaster too? He did, but he has been uh, charged for it. He had, he, well, he was charged for stealing it, right? Mace? Not for possession. Oh, look, he's right there. He's going to hand himself in. Please. Yes? Yeah, I, I want to talk about my gun. Okay, how about you put your hands up real quick? I'm just going to oh, search you. You run He's going to run. He always If you run, I'm going to run. Promise, I promise you I'm not running, fella. I'm not running. There we go. Why did you just get on your horse? What do you mean? Uh, Why did you get on your horse and say, there we go? Because, Philip, just fucking right. search me, all right? Should we give a statement? We saw the Why did, why? Assaulted but I was feeling chaos. funny, okay? So what did you put on your, what did you put on your saddle? Individuals. I didn't put nothing on my saddle, Phil. Are you sure about that? I promise, all my heart. Really? 
So if I go search your saddlebags, there's For not, not going to be anything though, I didn't illegal. Do shit. All right, can we fucking talk? Yeah, like we I will. wanted to. We will. We're shot. No, don't go in there. I am taking your I'm fucking weapons. I'm not going weapons. in. Okay. Keep, just keep your hands up. You're very slow with your job. I don't have room. I was hoping Brooks was going to come. Brooks, can you come can You come search him real quick? I'm Vivian Smith. Vivian Smith. Emerson Kane. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Kennedy. All right. Yeah. Can you come take some of this guy's shit? Yep. I mean, shit. Nothing. I hang on. I need to get my fucking gun back. I'll be back. Just, just give me one. Blue coat individual. As we were working on him, Vivian was stitching him up. You, you really got to take all that? Yep. All right. You go in. You, you step inside the sheriff's office with us. You wanted to talk yeah. to her? I can't. It's fine. I'll be back out. Give me a moment. All right. All right, Miss Pretty Deputy. Hello. Hey, right, Blue Coat, I do have some questions for you, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. If you All wouldn't right. mind stepping in the cell for me. Can I come in? What the fuck? No, you can't. Let me have a chat, and then I'll have to step in the damn cell. Well, you can talk through her through the bars, okay, Mr. Blue Coat? I don't want to fucking feel like I'm in jail yet. All right? Miss? Okay, not yet? <laughs> that, that gun? <laughs> I could have, like, did, I, listen, it, it's a 99, 99.9.9.9% 99 .9 99. chance that that was actually a good gun. You know, my gun. Myself, so. I, I don't think a, it, it was. It isn't a good gun. It was a, it was a property. And then you did, you lied to me. Miss, I, I think. About where when you we, got it from. And what, listen, and you tried to make it seem like it was my gun, but it wasn't my gun. I, it was a gun that you Do you want to get charged with possession of government joking. property? I, listen to me. I'm telling you. When I handed it to you, I think you accidentally put the wrong tag on it, and it like you know messed oh, up there. Oh, I don't want to. Listen, you're gonna be charged with it if you don't shut up. Do you want to be charged right, with possession of government property? No, I don't. Can I leave now? All right, nope. Get in the cell. I got wow. questions for you. What the? Question my ass. Yeah, he is gonna question. Is it really necessary to be in a sale to question yes. me? Okay. How are you question. feeling, by the way, Bailey? I'm, uh, I'm all right, thank you. All right. Uh, so, so what exactly happened? I know uh, I Deputy Halfort talked to you. What? So what all happened? I'd like to hear it from your perspective. Oh, for fuck's sake! I already told her my fucking perspective. Yeah, I know. And now I'm asking. Well, you can go over her fucking notes and look at it, huh? Or you can fucking tell me or I'll discharge you with possession of government <laughs> property on top of attempted murder. So how about you fucking talk to me? Right. So which part do you want me to talk to you about? Everything. Go. What do you mean everything? Go. Everything that happened. You Don't play fucking dumb. Let's go. All right, fine. Well, that dumb... Uh, we're going to call him dumbass again. Okay. So, uh... The dumbass decided to try to, uh, or he did rob Adelaide's horse, took it to Blackwater, and then came back without her horse. So uh, Adelaide was having a kind of a conversation with him about how, you know, she wanted her horse back, and she, I saw she was alone. So I wanted to make sure she was okay talking to this dumbass. So basically, I walked over to the dumbass, and I said, Philip, you better go get her horse, and if you don't, well, then there's going to be issues. And he okay. said, uh, what, so, what kind so, of hold up. So you, you threatened him. Continue. I didn't threaten him, Philip. Okay, continue. Up for debate. Anyways, continue. he pulled a gun on me, and he said, uh, you're getting robbed now. Step off your horse. Okay. And I said, okay, that's a shame. And I stepped off my horse, and as soon as he stepped off his horse to come search me, I pulled my gun, and I lit him the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so he laid there, <laughs> and then fucking idiot. Billy decided really to come over and uh, fall before. on top of me. And, He's uh, such an you know, idiot. Hurt my neck pretty bad. So I then pushed Billy off of me, and uh, we were good. So I walked inside. <laughs> Hey, to see if the fella that had just been shot that was getting me medical treatment, you know, I was making sure he was shot, and uh, he decided to get up. Okay, and, so uh, so talk shit. Hang on, the story's not done, motherfucker. Sure, sure. He decided to talk shit, and then pistol whipped me, and had the audacity to say that it was just a graze, and then he ran out of the doctor's office and left. Okay, so uh -huh. so the full story is he stole somebody's horse. You went over to make sure, you know. That, that he understood that, that something was going to happen if, uh, you know... Not happen. It was just make sure she didn't do anything stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you went to reiterate that he said, "No, nope, I'm going to rob you now, Blue Coat." He that's said, right. "That's a shame." You hop off your horse, you put six in him, you fan him. When he hops off his horse, wait, no, I fan him the fuck out. Don't yep, forget it. Yep, yeah. So uh, ex exactly, you 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 do realize you're going to get charged for that, right? Why? You, protecting myself? That's that ain't protecting you. The that, guy was going to rob you. That is no not self shit. defense. Motherfucker, I don't know if he's gonna rob me at a fucking gun in my head. What the fuck do you want me to do? Then you opened fire on him when he stepped off a horse. Exactly. Yes. What the fuck do you want me to you do? You shot at him first. Oh, fuck you, motherfucker. He had a damn gun in my head. It was either me or him. He had a gun to your head. He was gonna rob you, just like you go around robbing folk. I don't know if he was gonna fucking he rob you. He said he was to gonna rob you. He told me to step off my damn horse. Why don't you go ask Adelaide? Go ask Adelaide. Go I'm ask Adelaide. asking you. Go ask Adelaide. Go ask Adelaide. You already admitted this. You know, you and your petty ass white hair, uh -huh. you should take your old ass outside. Yep. And go fucking find a woman because okay. this shit is too fucking petty for you. Okay. Listen, I know you're alone. I know sure. you're real alone. Yep. And you need someone in your life. Absolutely. Like, I know. I totally understand. I've been there. At 100%. But this has to stop. Okay. So you're going to let me out of sale. Oh. And I'm gonna walk. If you keep talking like this, I'll instead of doing assault with a deadly, which I was going to do, I'll do attempted murder in the second. Oh, degree. for fuck's sake! Oh, for fuck's sake! Vigilantism. Hmm. Or we could do vigilantism. That's actually a really good point. You know, I and said, you know what? I think you put something on the, the saddle. Up, you shut the fuck up. I said okay. I was changing my life around. You're not changing shit. You're not oh, changing shit. I get fucking robbed. Uh, you, oh, you're you're having some throat issues, buddy. I said it. <laughs> Take it down a notch, please. Okay. Am I, am I still having my throat issues? No, you're better now. Good. You keep Fuck yelling, you. you're gonna, when you, you yell, you're you gonna have to assault a right. deadly charge, right? <laughs> Thank listen, you, Kennedy. Listen, listen. All right. Listen. I will say it in a more common manner. Okay. Perfect. One. Mm -hmm. Fuck you again. Just to make sure that William. that's there. All right. Hang on. You know what? Hang on. No, no hang fuck on. Let you. Me tell I'm going to go part. get charges. Number. You're up. getting Number possession two. of government property now, too, dick dickhead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely fuck y'all. Holy shit. God damn. William. Fella, I did. What do you want me to do? He fucking tried to rob me and kill me. Did you not just tell me last night you were going to go rob somebody because I wouldn't sign a piece of paper for you? That was a joke, man. You can't take a joke. Ooh, I'm deputy, deputy, whatever the fuck your name is, and I can't <laughs> take a joke. Ooh. You know, I take things seriously. No, you don't. Look at your hair. You should take your hair seriously, miss. Mm. Alright, it was, uh, it was a, uh, government Lancaster, yeah? Mm -hmm. It was. Okay. Is he uh, claiming that, uh, or what, what is he claiming about that Lancaster? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. What, what is your claim about I think the Lancaster? For robbing somebody for it, so I already got charged, charged with it, motherfucker. It. You didn't. You got charged for robbing it, not for being in possession of it. There's a difference. I got charged for both. I thought they fucking took it, to be honest. But I guess I had it on my horse. Yeah. Well, you also have something else on your horse. I'm pretty sure. Which <laughs> you're else lucky. On my I'm not fella. taking you out there and searching your saddlebags. All right. Uh. Are you working you want on that me to report? write up his... Yeah, I can leave that to you now. I think I've done as much as I can right now. Kennedy, Brooks, what do you what do you think about this? Because originally he was trying to claim self-defense. I think vigilanteism. Self oh, it's at least vigilanteism. I think it's vigilanteism. Vigilanteism, possession of government property. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. If only being right. an asshole was a charge. Hell for it, you good with that? I just got to add a witness statement. One moment. Yep. Yeah, why don't you get all of them outside and you ask them if I'm fucking innocent or not? Oh, based on nobody's your talking alone, to you. These charges Shut are the fuck up. You. No one. No, literally nobody's talking to you. You literally have no friends besides a lawman. Once you take off that damn badge, no one likes you anymore, fella. How's that feel? Okay, Feels you just hang it off. <laughs> <laughs> and how many friends do you have? I have a lot, miss. Yeah, would you like to name them? No. <laughs> You sure? Yeah, why would I you don't name you? them, I'm just not going to believe you have friends at all. All right, why don't you name all your friends? Besides ones that aren't long. 
Some, no, why do so, they have to not so be lost? That's, 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 oh, that's so what Only you're saying is... Long. So what you're saying is you have no friends since you don't want to name them. I have friend. I even have a friend that is low. Oh, alright. Who's We're gonna that? go on a double date later. Oh yeah? Who's that? El Coyote. <laughs> you're gonna double date with Coyote. Yeah, he's my good friend. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm sure he's, <laughs> he's very much friends with That's right. We're best friends. Nothing. Alright, who else? Who else do you have as a friend apart from Coyote? I'm asking you now. Let's do one for one. Who is a friend that's not a loman? Who's your friend well, that's not a criminal? That. I, I just told you, miss. Are you fucking deaf? So you have one? Do you have issues? Do you need that checked you out? You have one friend? Miss, it it's, her it's her turn to answer, alright? You There's have one friend that's Let's see if there's any other charges you might have overlooked. <laughs> I definitely think there's more Bella, charges. Bella, do you get bad. laid? I mean, technically, nope, technically, I'm a virgin. Technically, vigilanteism <laughs> could be paired with assault with a deadly. I guess it could be. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, technically, vigilanteism and assault with a deadly would probably be the correct charge. I hope you both stub your toe on a fucking wall. <laughs> Did you add any fucking charges? Pinky for toe as well. You know, I'm starting to think that you wouldn't even know how to pull water out of a shoe if it had the instructions on the I don't think it, there's the no heel. charges on here yet. No, for... I'm adding it. That was a good one, miss. I almost fucking fell over laughing. Ooh. I thought the most painful thing you could do, Blue Code, funny. is try to sing. But my god, just hearing your fucking voice is painful. Disturbing the peace. Ooh. Public disturbance just for his existence works, right? <laughs> I think uh, it, it's it like I said. I'll let everybody give their opinion, but I, I think vigilanteism and uh, possession of government property. Let's move a little further away, huh? Yeah, fair enough. Come over here. So who are you going on a date with? Why is his name? I gotta tell you. I think just vigilanteism and I think vigilanteism possession. and possession of a government Someone property. Typically, up. vigilanteism can be oh, put with other shit, but right I think again. those two is fine for this situation. And yeah, and I say we just walk over there and talk nice and loud about. How we're gonna stack him with attempted murder and all this shit and let him I cry a little bit and then just hit him with the, the regular You don't understand the level of it's psychotic kind of and crying he will do. Yeah. <laughs> I've already you know, dealt with that with her be before. You know, First time we there. arrested him. <laughs> for <laughs> robbing Caesar and Sunny <laughs> Falls. I had the right well, I mean, to be quiet and not talk to nobody. That's right. The we almost sent him to oh, Annisburg Solitary. I do. Just to get him away from us. You don't have rights. Okay. This guy's going to Sisica, so. Is he? Don't have uh, yeah, it's gonna I be do. over a hundred days, I think. No, you really. Honey, after time do. served. Uh, I don't give a fuck yeah, about time rights. served. I'm taking him to sister. Right. To Somebody's to snooping on the porch, mm, on the window. You don't have to, to me now. Where was? I'm still gonna be here to talk to you. That's a shame. Maybe you should go find friends to talk to. Maybe you shouldn't be locked up, and you could be with your friends. Well, technically, I was a fucking innocent man defending myself, but I guess oh, that's a law. Oh, it's a law. De de explain to me how you defended yourself. I how shot a man that had a gun aimed at my face. There's three people out there now. How are so you, you shot first. Of course I shot first. What the so fuck? you're the aggressor. I'm inspecting the stairs. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, y'all can fuck right Adelaide. off. Marta, Adelaide. Look, there's, there's a hole in the steps right here. Blue! You know, just curious, that ain't an actual fucking law. Is If it is, like, y'all need help. Y'all really need help. You, you being the aggressor in that situation is, Bella, he had is a gun why you're gonna my get fucking head. What okay, the fuck okay, you, you want you want to hear something? You want to hear something yeah, crazy? Yeah, let's hear, let's hear, let's hear. Let's say let's say that that she is a is not a is not a lawman and she holds a gun to you, right? Come on, man. That's right, it's not a lawman and holds a gun to my forehead. Okay, yep. yep keep and let's say I as no. a as a civilian no, witness it, it right? You as a civilian witness it. Okay, keep going. I pull a gun, right? All right, and I shoot her down. Because she's no, she's Bella, threatening. You just I, fucking I'm, explained I'm, it wrong. He pointed I, I a gun know, at me. I know that motherfucker. I am no, talking no, to you about you something different. Dumbass! Witness, motherfucker. Can you listen? listen Holy shit! You cannot listen. Holy you fuck! You can't explain something. Yes, I'm explaining two explain different exactly situations wrong, to you. He's explaining the theory behind it. Yes. If you actually take a moment to breathe and listen, you'd understand. Holy I shit! I can also tell you something. Else. Yeah, come here. Okay, if I aim a gun at you, he had a fucking gun in my head. I can't hear you. Because he was stepping off his horse and I fucking gunned his ass down. What the fuck you want me to do? Sir. So what's the full 
situation because obviously uh, I, I don't know what okay. the whole situation okay. is. Yep. Yep. Why don't you so, get out your fucking notebook and so, you can figure out the whole situation? Some situation. of us may need to go to Rhodes. No, he I'm not a shot I'm hard. No, I don't I'm know. done I talking. Picked the other guy I don't Rose? Yep, go ahead. So you don't want to okay. explain your so, side of things. I already explained when my side of things. When they were both down, Adelaide ran off with blue coat. So, right. if so that was I'll to prevent the him getting because arrested whatsoever, I think we have two that need to go to Rhodes. Okay. At least. okay. okay. Just, just as an ad, off. you know, I don't, I don't yeah. know if that changes anything, but it's just something to hold on to. What's happening in Rhodes? All right, oh, please stop. Ooh, okay, yeah, all right. right. Don't know if you and Kennedy uh, want to go, Bailey? Yeah, what Kennedy, is it? Because there's three there. No, there's more there. There's more? There's more in route, right? Three to Rhodes, and then arrived in Rhodes. So we have Cadet Forrester, Shaw Stump, and Grey Castle, and then we have three in route to Rhodes. Cameron, Prude, and Yeah, Herrera. they should have like five in, in Roads, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, five or six okay. in Roads. Um, look, they're saying self-defense. No, it's not. No. So uh, we're, we're taking him to Siska. He's looking at 110 days. I'm taking him to Siska. Somebody get a wagon. Are the charges done in the paperwork? Sure. Yeah, I just said him. All right. Cleo, are you staying in town? Or do you want to come to the, Ye you want to come I to the will come. I, yep. Uh, second one. Okay. All right. All right, come here. Are right, you ready for your charges? Oh, for fuck's sake! Right, tell me, tell me. Uh, you're 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 looking at vigilanteism. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go again. Mm -hmm. You're looking at vigilanteism, and you're looking at possession <laughs> of a government right, property. Sorry, one more time. One more time. Say it. I already told time. him. All right, perfect. Uh, you're gonna go Herrera to Cisco. And Benny have been shot at by two. Yeah, well, uh, is our cadet yeah. panicking, or That's is shy. it as bad as it seems? Vigilanteism, huh? Yep. And self-defense is not a law. It's not. It's that's not, not a thing anymore. How how is that not self-defense? Yeah, Explain to me what self-defense is, fella. If somebody starts shooting at you, you have the right to yeah. shoot back. If somebody's pointing a gun at you and they step off their horse and you shoot them in the fucking back. Yeah, that ain't. That ain't it wasn't the, the fucking, fucking back. Defense. Even if it wasn't the fucking back, you, you, aggra you aggravated me, the situation, I motherfucker. Down, I don't know. Motherfucker. I don't know I'm how you dumb say, you are. I'm getting robbed, and yet I'm the fucking aggressor in this situation. Some guy pulls Fuck a gun you. on you. Some guy pulls a gun on you. Fuck you. See, and this is the point. It's no point in even trying to explain it if you're going to be a jackass, William. What is there to explain, miss? Ben, you shot at a guy who held a gun to you. Yes, yes, I understand the guy was holding a gun to you and wanted to rob you. You still fucking shot him. You did not have to shoot him. Do you, do you not understand that? You could have gotten robbed and then came to the law and it reported the fucking crime. You do understand that, right? After I was robbed and then you guys want to get anything from me? I mean, from him? That, that, that is how a civilian handles right. it. You do realize that, right? right. I, I know you don't know common no, sense. I know I'm you, sorry. I know it I'm ain't sorry. common I'm better with you. at your job than you, and I actually, you know, was hurting a criminal there. I apologize for that. Yeah, yes. I'm you, sorry. I was you actually are better trying at to do at something. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm sorry you suck so bad at your job, and you get so stressed that your gray hair is all of a sudden. That you, it, it, I, it's dying here, for buddy. You. How's it feel that blue coat did your job for you? Oh, my God. Uh, it feels that great, because I'm taking blue coat to Cisco. Ooh, what a shame. All right, let me see. I need to put something away. You know, Cadet Valentine's better than you. You should find a different job after this. And it's Deputy Valentine. <laughs> Surprised he got fucking promoted. Mm -hmm. Or Booker rejected him right in front of me. Ooh, what a shame. Man, you really don't shut up. Uh, face away from me. Hmm, okay. All right, let's go. I'm gonna make sure the wagon's open. Okay. Uh, gotta fucking unlock okay. the door first, fella. I'm making sure it's out here, buddy. Yep, we're good. You just suck at your job, and you're just gonna play it off now. I I really don't care what you have to say. Yeah, well, you should listen. Y you realize you're a failed outlaw, right? <laughs> let's go this way. Yeah, right. Okay. Yep. Just yeah, I did my job right. No, you you got nope, yourself charges. Did. Does that mean I'm, how does that mean I'm a failed out? If I got myself charged, does that technically you've mean been caught I'm... every single time you've ever been wanted, buddy? Uh, I, I think this is technically turning yourself in for a stupid ass crime. At least you're admitting it's finally a crime. It, it's not even a fucking crime. It, it is a crime. It, no, it really isn't. It is. Bella, I hope I have a gun to your head one day. Yep. Respectfully. 
Uh huh. And then, uh, you know, you can't do anything. Yep. Because if you try to gun me down, mm -hmm. then you're gonna get arrested for vigilanteism. I I have a badge, fella. Yeah, when you're when it's off, I'll find you on a date or something. Oh wait, no, that won't happen. I, I I'll find you, you know, picking dates. berries or some shit. Yeah, I know you I don't know on dates. It's pretty fucking evident. Base. Yeah, it's pretty evident. Uh, where's Kennedy and uh, Bailey? They went to Rhodes. You know, okay. real question. What's it like sleeping with Malone? What's it like sleeping with Malone? Yeah. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's an interesting question. You guys like tell each other law stories all night. <laughs> oh Malone, you're so precious. I don't. Oh, think, Malone. Uh, I don't oh, think Mr. Malone. Uh, I don't think I've Malone is interested. I've had two divorced wives, in and now I can only find me in. I'm so sorry, Mr. Ruth. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the Heartland. Please together. turn around so I can have fun with you. I see. Oh, Mr. Ruth. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, no, he sounds something like this. Mr. Ruth. Oh, Mr. Ruth. That, that was a really bad impression. It was, it was, that it was pretty was good. That was fucking awful. It was kind of terrible. How do you know where he sleeps, Luco? What do you stalk him? Are you a top or bottom person, Mr. Ruth, with Malone? I can see you being a bottom type of guy. Oh, I'm not interested in Yeah, there we go. He's bottom. <laughs> we'll say one thing that uh, I think uh, later for Cleo. You sure do cry like an outlaw, though. <laughs> they always cry oh. about their charges. I think there's something wrong with her at the moment. You want to just get on the wagon? I'm in. You okay? Alright, perfect. Yeah, my horse was doing something funny. I need the horse, means That's just you. Probably didn't want to ride behind staring at that man. Right wow, you though. really got me. Oh no. You know, Mr. Ruth, you know, a very wise man once told me something. All right? You listening? Uh huh. Yeah, you're listening. All right. A very wise man once told me something. All right? Yeah. And I think this will very suit you. All right? You may want to listen real closely. Okay. This is just me being friends with you, all right? Just this time, no other time. I'm going to tell you some good advice. This man once told me that maybe You're you should try guy, the Rangers. You? you should try the Rangers. You know what? You're he, a he once guy. told me that, and I think that'll maybe, you know, suit <laughs> you well. Because you can't do your job correctly, so, you, you know, you may as well try something else for a little. Okay, fair enough. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, that, that, that was a good advice, yeah. I, I, I don't think you would be a good ranger at all, actually. Because, you see, yeah. rangers go around helping folk that are down. I, I feel like if somebody saw you and they were struggling and they were about to die, they'd just want to fucking die. He's not wrong. I just put them out of their misery. I think they'd just give up. They'd be like, well, fuck it. Today's a good day to die. Yeah, that's usually how people see me. They're like, oh, fuck, Miss Mr. Blue Coat. You think you're feared? 100% miss. You think you're feared. <laughs> miss. You, think you're feared. <laughs> you know it's funny, y'all underestimate me, but that motherfucker thought he wasn't feared either until I gunned his ass down in the street. He shot a man getting off a horse, you dumbass. Motherfucker, he was off the horse already and looking at me, motherfucker. Oh, your story changes. I told you the damn story inside the damn law office. 
Anybody can uh, fan the hammer of their gun on somebody when they're hopping off a horse, yes. I don't think that's fair. the fucking horse with his gun on my... And what, you, you just pulled your gun and just shot him? Bitch. He had his gun at my forehead, you stupid son of a bitch. I, I know, you said that several times. Do you think that that's changes right. your charge? See, the problem, Blue Coat, with you saying that he had his gun at your forehead means that you think that he was that close to you, but when I found you two both strewn apart... Oh, for fuck's sake, you can't good, take a fucking a good, metaphor? A good ten foot away. No, He was I aiming mean, it you're, at my fucking you're using forehead, a phrase bitch. Which tends, he, he could be aiming at your eye, he could be aiming at your mouth, he could oh, be aiming at your neck. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I'm just, I'm just saying... No, the you way guys you're, have you're saying no lives, okay? You guys just... Cleo, they, I... Look, I've tried explaining with oh, logic oh, why this guy's getting a charge, and he will not, uh, he will not even begin to try to fathom. I was for just making it sake. more plain for the other deputies to make sure that you guys knew that they weren't anywhere close to each other. They're about seven or eight feet apart. Yeah, well, no I mean, shit. I, I, Maybe if you'd ask the other witnesses as well, they would tell you the same. I did ask the other. Witnesses. I understand well, you the, the situation entirely. He, yeah, actually, every single deputy but in that understand. in that Valentine's t uh, station. All five of us agreed that it wasn't self-defense, so... Yes, that somebody can point a gun at you all they, they want, right? Unless they fire a shot at you, once they fire a shot at you, that's self-defense if you fire back. Does that make any sense to you? Ben, I think you're stupid. You know, just a little bit. I, I just really don't care. A bit. Your, your opinion means literally nothing to me. You know what, Ruth? I want you to listen very carefully, okay? Uh-huh. When I get out, yep. I will find you. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And I will make you suffer pain so unimaginable, you yep. will wiggle and beg and pray for the gift of death, oh, motherfucker. All right. No, it's uh, yeah, but, that's, that's but gonna no, be more. Than, but uh, when you wake up in hell, motherfucker, you won't find peace. You know why? Why? I'll be there waiting for you, fella. But that implies that you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just got another charge. Yep, good work. That's a shine. Maybe you are good at your job. Oh, that's another charge. Would you like to do it again? Keep talking. I don't mind. Would I the like whiny the little baby like to make another threat? Mm -hmm. I enjoy the paperwork. He does land like two snakes sometimes. That's gonna be a charge of credible threats. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You really need to find a significant other fella. I don't want one. You got Marty still, so that's fine. I got no interest in any sort of significant other. Besides Marty. No, Malone's great, but I don't want him as a significant other. Is that an only weekend thing with you? Nah. If you're lonely, you just telegram alone. I mean, honestly, not everybody in St. Denis, I, I'm, you know, Pruitt. I don't know, Pruitt's quite the looker. What right, the look? What the hell does that mean? I, I don't know. Said. Use your, like, five brain cells figured out. Does that mean you look at him or he looks at you? Have you guys look at uh, each other? If you other? run, you're going to get hit. Well, you see, there is a good thing to this. Yep. I at least have my blue coat on. Yeah, not your red coat. That's true. That's right. You got the right coat today. You see me literally caught me with my pants down uh, in that building, which is fine. You know, I respect it. I... I mean, if your pants were down, I wouldn't be able to tell, so... Well, I pulled them back up, fella. Looks like, looks like it's just me and you. That's how you like it. I don't like anything to do with you. And they all say that. <laughs> I think they mean it too. What, what, do you think anybody likes you on this fucking How planet? long is my charge? How, how long is my fucking charge? 130 days. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make sure to get robbed and shot next time. You know, that, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. 
I'm just gonna put you know, my it, hands it, up. It is hilarious to me fight. that somebody that goes around right. robbing people is crying so fucking much about getting I thought robbed. you wanted me to change. Didn't y'all want me to change? Blue coat, you're not gonna change. I don't. Can a man not change? Uh, no, you. I don't think you'll ever change. Come on. Come on, let's go. I'm not pulling it up. Let's go. Go ahead, swim. Let's go. You can't pull it up. You ain't that good. Be unfortunate if those cuffs oh, sunk fishy, you. fishy, fishy. Oh, it's a good time. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> Are you in, Cleo? <laughs> yes, she is. Okay. Right beside Brooks. All right, perfect. I kicked your head while I climbed in the boat. All right. That's a shame. Now he has more head trauma. Why do you wear that coat, blue coat? Do what? I said, why do you wear that coat? Why not? You just is. Do you like it? Why do you have gray hair? Yeah, cause I like it. Why do you have a blue coat? It's a lackey. Yeah, fair enough. Why do you get so defensive over every question? I don't know. He he really is the perfect outlaw. He whines about every little thing, and he's extremely defensive. Just need to start calling everybody muppets. How many times have you been to Sissica Blue Co? I think like four this week. Yep. Maybe five. You gonna sing for us at least? No, you don't deserve it this time. Oh, thank God. See, so you gotta actually do your job to be able to have me sing to you. Oh, then I. Well, then that's a shame. I guess I'm gonna have to hear you sing every time since yeah, I'm doing my job. Shame. Miss, I have a question. The one with pigtails, not the, uh, not the ugly one to my right. Hey. Uh, the, so, why did you say it was self-defense? And then, uh, I and, then and then let me go. To my, uh, to my other deputies, uh, I put it forward to them, and they and uh, the group oh. is a senior deputy, so he can make the final decision oh, so on that. Oh, so you're Okay, got it. Oh, I'm terrible at my job, so you, but you, I'm you, learning you every single day. No, okay, I got it. No. I believe when Cleo heard you tell the story to me the second time, I believe Cleo said, and I quote, I can't believe I, I can't believe I thought this was self-defense. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't Look, hear her I though. I made a mistake. And people make mistakes, Blue Coat, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, your mother made a mistake, but we won't go into that. Yeah, we will. Three years can see on the road, that's where my steps Oh. Sorry, I just really liked it. That joke is really good. It's not necessarily being specific. Listen, all, three, all four of us in this boat have a mistake one way or the other. You see, Deputy Ruth back there has his hair. That's a mistake. Miss Brooks. I here. see. Honestly, the the more face. you hate the hair, the more I'm going to keep woman, it this uh, way. Just can't do her fucking job. So uh, yeah, that's that. I will say, however, I don't think. Uh, Oh, it's Malone. I, I know it's Malone. Yes, I understand it's Malone, okay? He needs to appeal to him. It's 
Malone like old men? I've had this hair like this for like before I even moved to Saint Denis. God damn, you've been old a while, then. I I dyed my hair white. Now? I dyed Did my hair die? white back in October. I think. You dyed it white? What the fuck? Is that a choice? Yes, it, it is. It is. Are you just hiding the fact that you're actually gray? No, I'm so. blonde. <laughs> blown my ass. You ain't blown. Yeah, I, I am. Your ass is a blown fella. I, I am. I I really don't care about your opinion. Yeah, that's a shame. It ain't a shame. I don't think there's really many people on this planet yeah, that do care about your opinion. A knife. Don't grab the knife in my pocket. It's very sharp. It's very long. Absolutely massive of a specimen. Uh, somebody want to search him real quick? I just did. All right, is he good? Yep. All right, go up against the wall. All right, uh, yeah, you you're know, looking just at, curious, you're looking at three charges. And it's going to be a possession of government property, vigilantism, incredible threats of death or bodily harm to a peace officer. All right. I uh, comes to 130 days and a $230 fine. Uh, he's been here about 15 days in our custody. You're gonna have 115 days of Sisica time. After the uh, after the the time off. All right. All right. I did take your notebook to see if there was anything interesting in it. I'll leave it right here for you. All right, you're released at eleven thirty-one, New York time. All right. Shame there aren't any guards here. It really is. Uh, you got you got Sisica clothes. Yeah, I could do. Uh, you want to go change into them? I'll change on my own accord. No, you're gonna go change into them. You're in Sisica. I said I'll change on my own accord. Uh, you're gonna go change now. It's, that means it's... I will go change now, but on my own accord. Because he wants to, not because, because he I said want to, so. Not because you okay, okay well, to. go ahead. Because I want to. No, okay. I have to wait now because you wanted me to, so I have to wait. No, no. I'm... Now I will go change. Okay. You and Malone, huh? Apparently. If this, this guy doesn't realize that I, I have a date, he would be... He'd be blown away if he realized how many dates I have. <laughs> All with non-deputy men. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Mr. Reese. Yeah. Guess what? Uh, what? Fuck you. Okay. Look, Blue Coat, I'm on so many lists. I don't really give a shit that I'm on your list. What list? I don't think anybody has you on a list, fella. You can keep feeling important. Can we leave, like, really quietly while he's he's talking? Yeah. And we'll just pretend like he's still talking and he won't realize that we're not talking. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought this was boring. I can now see the 7 TV. That guy is one of the, one of the most obnoxious people. Yeah. I've ever met. 
I wasn't kidding when Hurst told me that they actually. I can see why Hurst people. almost sent him to Ansburg. Yep. Holy shit. He was shit. in the cell screaming and crying. <laughs> what the fuck? Throwing a full on tantrum oh saying, Why God. would we believe two criminals that got robbed? <laughs> and I made the call to bring him in, so I had to stay awake through his whole sentence in here because I couldn't just leave people when I was the one who decided to arrest him. I mean, I, I love how he didn't understand why he got the charges, so I tried explaining it to him, and he just would not have it. Thing is, he thinks he's a right. Yeah, fair enough. Through a fit saying he didn't rob those people, and I got Tessa Hank to admit that they didn't do it. And was full on crying, saying he had it wrong. And I also, I'm gonna be honest, Cleo, I understand why you thought that was self-defense at first glance when you probably had like a lot of people in town and had to deal with all- me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I understand why you, you weren't charging him. Also, should we charge Adelaide for obstruction of justice? Because she just straight up picked him up and ran off with him. <laughs> did, what did she say the reason was again? Uh, I said, what did you do with that guy? She's like, I don't know what guy you're talking about. Like the guy that you just picked up. That got <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that. I'll leave that up to you, Cleo. I don't want you... to be left up to me. Can else deal with my problems with me? <laughs> Please. I don't want to deal with Adelaide. Excuse me. Why does Adelaide scare you? Why does Adelaide scare you? <laughs> She just seems so nice, but also like she stabbed me in my sleep. Oh, she's you know? just fully psychotic. That exactly. Then you proved my point. You know, she, she made a missing. Point. She made a report about a missing bed to me and Pruitt, and asked if we could look into the missing <laughs> bed. And then when we deduced that it was Speedy that stole the bed, she she asked if we could look into everybody but Speedy and not question Speedy because she doesn't want Speedy to know that she knows she that he stole the bed. She is a fucking psycho. Did you steal a bead? Yeah. No, 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 that's not enough, but how do you steal a bed? Oh, how do you? I don't fucking know. I, but apparently he stole a bed in the middle of the, the, the middle of the parlor house and took it out. Are you gonna beach this boat? I am going to, yeah. I'm just going this way, okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, this ain't the right place, so we're gonna have a little bit to walk. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, what else do you do in the city but walk? Yeah, that's all I do, to be fair. I can't get up. Okay, we're good. Question, and I don't think you'll be able to answer it. Bro I mean, Ruth, but Brooks will possibly be able to answer it. But okay. Ruth, you also might be able to answer it. But okay. it's a it's a question nonetheless. All right. Uh, I thought pigtails were like two ponytails. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> well, there's it... pigtails and braided pigtails. Oh. But they... no one says braided pigtails. They just say pigtails. Well, yeah, because really it's confused. a version of pigtails. Oh. Right, it, it would be like uh, no, no. If, if I've got a if I've got a ponytail and it's a braided ponytail, people just still call it a ponytail, you know. Mm. Is that your next hairstyle, ponytail? I did have a ponytail for a bit, actually. Jesus. I wasn't cutting my hair. It was after Mal died. You would have. Oh. And then, uh, and then I had to cut it, and and I dyed it back to a, to white because, uh, well, because I, I had do to remember lead. That. Yeah, I had to lead the uh, the whack a mole operation, mm -hmm. so I cleaned up. <laughs> Cleo went quiet after that. Yo, what up, Caffeine?
I will send a tip. All right, perfect. We'll wait for you. Thank you. <laughs> what? You know what? <laughs> Doesn't work as well in that outfit. No. No. Oh shit. Mini and Pro and Primer and Herrera and Celo. Hello. Howdy folks. Hello. Hey. Hello. We're on the hunt for a couple yes. of very nefarious individuals, uh, including hey. Mr. Ronnie Rivers. Yeah, I just got shot, I'm fine. As well as uh, <laughs> Josie Adders and some Take fella named Dimitri okay. who tried to bring nope. Charles Devine out as he was literally being released from his sentence <laughs> by Benny. Okay. Uh, do you guys have enough? Uh, we have five, so if one of you wants to clear, you want to go as a six. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait. What, what was that? <laughs> We oui, we oui. yes. I'm, I'm okay, French. all right. Go, I speak okay. go, French. I'm all right. fluent in go, French. Go, go, go run and get <laughs> your horse. All right. Um, we just arrested Blue Coat. Yeah, um, I saw your tip. How'd that go? So, so get this. So, so, so Ronnie Rivers been? holds a gun to him, right? And he goes to rob him, right? As right. Ronnie, I guess, is getting off of his horse, uh, Blue Coat fans the hammer on him. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate for Rivers. Yep. So uh, we, me, Kennedy, we were all in the, we were all in the, uh, we were all in the office discussing it. Oh. Kennedy and myself agreed on vigilantism. Uh, we, we were thinking about. I, I was thinking assault. We forgot to add criminal threat. I know I did it. Oh, okay. Um, and then we agreed on vigilantism, and he had a government Lancaster on him as well. So he got possession of government property. And then on the way there, he was so upset that he got charged. Uh, he said that he, <laughs> he is going to inflict so much pain on me that I squeal. And then when I'm dead, he's going to come to hell and do it again. <laughs> what? What's your squeal sound like? What's that going to sound like, Ruth? Yeah, I want to hear this. Oh, God. Blue coat, please. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, that's very disappointing, actually. That's not much of a squeal, like a, you know, I was just expecting like a, or something. Oh, oh you know, yeah, like I can do that. A, ah! There you go. Yeah, there you go. There we there go. You go. That, he that, also, that, he thinks me and Malone are sleeping together. I did, mm -hmm. I did say Pruitt, I called you quite the looker. I said, out of anybody in the Saint Denis group, I, I don't know, Pruitt's quite the looker. Well, well, I appreciate that. So. Yeah, Malone's a little bit, uh, a little bit too tactless for most people, I think, so. <laughs> I'll do respect to the sheriff. I love him to death, but <laughs> but yeah. So so blue coat is very upset with, uh, with with a few of us that charged him with uh, vigilantism. So well, he'll just have to get in line then. Yep, I, I <laughs> so. told him I, I don't give a fuck if I'm on another uh, if I'm on another list, and he said, "Oh, you're not important. You're not on any list." <laughs> oh, sh you should have offered him a document folder. But uh, looks like we got everyone back with us. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a good one. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I kind of breezed over it. That was a good one. All right, we're, we'll be in Saint Denis. Me and me and Brooks right. will be in Saint Denis. Hey, y'all stay safe. If you see anything, uh, just telegram me. If any tips come in regarding these, could you forward? Yeah, them to I'll, my I'll directly telegram them to you. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right, perfect. Kramer, when you're done, safe. if you're still on duty, come find me, and we'll talk about the dossiers. Absolutely will. Perfect. Kramer, let's talk about that. Take care. Stay safe, That's everybody. Right. Stop trying to rub me over, Cleo. <laughs> Already got worried telegrams from Lizzie.
Prewood has a new uh, city patrol outfit. Did you see that? I did. Looks nice. He looks more like Malone than I do now. He does, yeah. <laughs> Still can't believe he was saying you and Malone are sleeping together. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. You know he's only seen me with Malone once? Really? <laughs> yes! That's why I found it so funny! <laughs> That you actually sleep in his house. Yeah, but he's only seen. It was me, Malone, and Slacks that arrested him, and Malone didn't even go on the transport. Hi. Maybe it's the stance. Yeah, maybe. Is it bad? I'm tempted to make a, uh, a, make a city sweater outfit. A city sweater? Yeah. You're just gonna have all city outfits now? Get rid of all your others? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this one, I really like this outfit. Uh, but... You see, like, th this looks good, but I, you know... Probably should have. Had her horses ready. Sorry. Right. I don't use my horse in Saint Denis. Fair enough. Except for when you're carrying boxes around. Except when I'm carrying boxes, yes. Then I'll use them. <laughs> Amadeo Moretti confirming that house. I just so I, funny. I, it worked so quickly. I I really thought that somebody would read that and be like, huh, that's kind of strange. Would have actually looked into it, not just immediately sent the yes. What is, It just said that they live there? Uh, yeah, and that we can have a meeting. I'm tempted to see if Malone will authorize me going undercover to have a meeting. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be great. The only thing is, what makes you think they aren't going to just try to shoot you? I mean, they didn't make any threats. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it was going to be a, sh a shoot and be like, well, how about we have a meeting? And uh, if you don't say the right thing, it'll end badly. I don't know. How do you do the Italian insults? I don't... I, I tried to do the, the Italian accent with the insult, but I, I can't... Is ciao hello? Or goodbye? Hello? No, I don't know. I don't know any Italian. I think it's... I think it's hello and goodbye. Duty Deputy Fisher. <laughs> On duty, Deputy Fisher. Currently in Valentine. Will remain for community outreach. Then move on. Notify if needed. Be safe out there. Deputy Fisher. <laughs> community outreach. God. You're getting terrible with tips too. All in the title. What did I do? Ruth Brooks and Cleo back on the. That wasn't me. Oh, that was Cleo. Yep. Remember, she even said that oh, she yeah. was doing it. I don't know why I thought it was you. I, I always put a sender, unless I'm in a rush, like an absolute rush, like somebody's getting shot in front of me. Alright, I'm gonna go walk my ass to the tailor shop. Of course you are. If you, uh, if you need anything, just come grab me. I, I might be I'll a minute. With you. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So th the truth is, I uh, I have three outfits that I don't have my new belt buckle on, so I'm trying to phase them out, <laughs> so I can put new belt my new belt buckle on all my outfits. <laughs> Changing outfits over a bu belt buckle. Don't tell Lizzie that. Why? She got mad that I changed 
my belt, my outfit over a necktie. It's kind of, it is fifty dollars to do that each time. Yeah, but I got two hundred and thirty-two dollars on me. Hmm. I think that was the point. She doesn't make as much money. Oh yeah. I've almost got three thousand in the bank. I have three thousand. I just gotta, I gotta, you know, I, I just, I gotta have some winter city outfits, you know? I, if I can find a sweater that I can wear suspenders with, oh, God. <laughs> and a tie, I'm, I'm gonna, I might do it. Might? I, 100 I, would. I might do it. Yo, what up, on Bex? You know, Jesse told me he dyed his hair because he wanted to be like me. I told when you when he grew dyed up. Hair. Yeah, well, I know, but I confronted him about it. Oh God! And he said he, because he wanted to be like me when he grew up. Hmm. And then, and then he, somebody said it was to impress a girl, and he said, "Well, it was both." <laughs> So you see, I gotta get rid of, I gotta get rid of these three and phase them out for new outfits because of the belt buckle. But these two, I'm probably just gonna remake exactly to a T. All right, it's time to, you? it's time to get rid of Law Mom. Yeah, somebody just went in to change. They're probably gonna be a while. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, we can have to. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Mm -hmm. Cause I gotta remake it anyway, so I gotta remake it anyway with the new belt buckle, so. Oh, please tell me there's. It. Yo, oh my god! Holy shit! No way! Please tell me a tie works with this. Oh my god, if a tie would have worked with this, I would have done it, chat. Holy fuck. I would have done this in a heartbeat. That's not a bad idea, actually. Oh god, Ooh. Okay, that one would be kind of funny. I guess the way that the collar is, that it don't really work too well. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> this looks so bad. Holy shit, this looks bad. This looks so bad for a city outfit. <laughs> it looks so bad. I wish I could do like a necktie with it. Maybe, maybe this one. Hold up. No. Okay. Let's see if I can... Uh, see if I can find a, a shirt that I want. I kind of like this, Chad. It ain't the same shit. Oh, I kind of like that, too. Hold on. The gray with white collar is pretty good. 
Is there like one with a light blue instead of a dark blue for the white color? I think it's on this. The blue does kind of look nice. Dude, if only this had a white collar too, fuck. All right, what looks better? The white or the the white and gray or the white and blue? What kind of tie do you think we do? Oh my god, hold up. Hey, hold up. And we do the black suspenders or red tie. Okay. Red and blue. I mean, I can't do light blue. I don't think there's any other ties that would look good anyway. This is my original one I wanted to do. I don't know how you think this looks bad. This looks fucking great. Open coat. Hold up. Okay, that probably it looks... Oh, dude, I wish I could do a blue and go. Oh. Hold up. You know, the tie don't match good enough. Yeah, I should have gotten a bath before doing this. See, I think I I think doing a gray coat's the easiest. Just because it it's not hard to match a gray coat with any other coat and it works with the badge. Only thing I don't like is how these coats are hard to match with different colors and shit. Like, I could technically do this. The 
pants are throwing you off? I mean, the pants are literally just basic. They could do... Ooh, hold up. I think we could do this. Okay, this looks sick with pinstripe pants, okay? I do think this looks fucking sick with pinstripe pants. The entirely crazy idea would be to go red pants. <laughs> pinstripe pants are fucking sick, though. What jacket did you like? The winter one? Or the sun? Yeah, but does it look good? For like an outfit like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the only one that kind of works in the fur is a different color. You see? Yo, know, it, it would be kind of funny if we wore something like this. <laughs> Hold up. Dude, it would be fucking hilarious if we wore this. The blue coat? Yeah, I do like the blue coat on this. <laughs> I, it would be kind of taking the piss this is all right, to be honest. It would be taking the piss, the absolute piss out of Cesare if we did this. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Dude, it's so bad. It's so We have a blue shirt under this, too. Like, it's so bad. It's so bad. Anyway. A sunny coat that looks good. I kind of like the... I, I know this is crazy, but I, I actually kind of do like the red coat. I know that sounds fucking crazy, but I do actually somewhat like the red coat. But I can't because Sheriff Heart, and I use it on Jabass. But... If we didn't have patterned pants, I'd actually be kind of down to do this. And I feel like this is the best code so far. Damn. Damn. Damn, we could be rocking around like this. Hold up. If we're going to do that, then I feel like we need to do like... We need to do that. And make it like a somewhat winter outfit. You think black? I don't think there is a black version of this vest, though. Santa coat? Yeah, I mean, it is a throwback to our Santa outfit a little bit. It could do that, I guess. I do actually really like this coat for some reason. You 
You think this looks good? Honestly, if I pop the collar, this does not look bad. This does not look bad if I pop the collar. Like, imagine there's no dress shirt here. So it'd be black, black, black. I think we go with that. I think it's a, I think it's a different fit. And it's also kind of what I'm going for, is something different. Because all of our other city outfits are pretty similar. Do we go with black suspenders, chat? I mean, we don't do red suspenders, right? That's overkill. Poncho. We'll do. <laughs> I think we, we, we will do this. We'll do make it a wintry outfit. Uh, let me get rid of it for now, though. Belt. Go with the usual gun belt. We go with our new usual, and then buckle. Oh my god, dude, you know what's perfect? The fact that my gun belt my gun belt buckle says Valentine and I wear it because Monroe wore something either identical or this similar. When I perma Ruth leaving the belt buckle to Jesse Valentine is so much better. <laughs> Alright, now I've gotta get close to him just to do that. I'm such an emotional I I, I just think of emotional terrorism. That's all I do, huh? All right. All right. Bits and emotional terrorism. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. All right. City winter. Well, you can take the fur poncho off. You know, that's the whole point. It's for if we go up to, like, a blizzard in the snow. Well, I mean, we have outfits with ponchos. I, I mean, there's a reason why I, I, uh, I still have my original red outfit for going out there. Alright, city, winter, purchase. Brooks die while I was in there. I wouldn't blame her. Oh, you can kind of see my badge. <laughs> you can see part of it. <laughs> if you look really closely... You look really closely, you can see it.
Yeah, that's true. I don't really need a badge, to be fair. I think a lot of people know. Where the fuck did Brooks go? How does this look? Yo, this kind of yo, this kind of slaps, though. Hold up. <laughs> this looks so strange, but would work for a winter, for a winter fit. Take the tie off. The tie looks good. Sure. Uh, I gotta roll up the sleeves then. Such a strange combo that works, to be honest. Howdy. Hey. Uh, everything good? Yeah, just some tips came in about CD, so I sent through it until you. All right, are you ready for this? So I want to do something different. Red tie. Red tie with the. Uh, I gotta have days. There, there's always. Look, a wise man told me there's there's red tie days. In this Heard world. about these days. Yeah. Bam. All in Malone lines. <laughs> I like it. I like that a lot. Bam. Oh, multifunctioning. Yep. Looks good. Yeah, I thought so. You're a little dirty. <laughs> I, I am, yes. I, I am, in fact. I actually just wanted to back. Yeah, I've uh, I've got to go get a bath. Uh, you sent a you sent a uh, you sent something to uh, throw it. Yeah. Throw it already, perfect. What was the tip? They they stole a horse and strawberry, and they're looking to rob a bank. They're looking to rob a fucking bank. Mm -hmm. Headed towards Blackwater. out of that whole group I only okay there's one the black water <laughs> is this the telegram we're talking about titled the div div yep, yep. <laughs> that's one of them the two other ones are there there's a second one a horse uh, taken only stubborn. one from stump though right yeah one from stump. okay divine divine was at stop <laughs> strawberry stables with stop Many people, some, stop. <laughs> Wanted mainly the stop. <laughs> Blonde woman in stop. Black who robbed, stop. A cadet, stop. They plan to stop. <laughs> Rob a bank, stop. I believe because stop. They asked which, stop. Bank had already stopped being robbed. Stop. You read that perfectly. Oh, this fucking asshole. There's a man that wants to be released, and he's a real prick. Uh, who? Harry Dobbing. All right, let's go. Tacked us in the cells because he's just a fucking prick, and it's going to murder every lawman. I have put us on. Let's go.
struggling with the door. I am. So you think it looks good, huh? I do. I like it. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna ride in the back of your horse. If you wanna ride, take a horse over. I don't know. It's kind of eyeing him. I think this is one of the best fits, okay? I, I know it, it, it's just it's such a strange fit that works really well. Pinstripe pants, blue shirt with a white collar and a red tie. Okay. Horse over here. I said it's one of the okay, best. The I didn't say it was the off. best. I don't like the hat. I do. It lets me blend in in town. It just don't fit the city, man. I love the old hat, but it just don't fit the city. you rent a boat? Yeah. Perfect. What are you broke now? No, I just don't. When I rent a boat, everybody expects me to fucking steamboat, okay? I don't want to pilot the boat. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, the point of the flat cap isn't to uh, wear it normally. It's only to wear it in the snow and uh, when it's like snowing or uh, when we're not trying to look like ourselves. Why have you been sassing me so much? Okay. It's just been easy. What do you mean it's been easy? I think it's because you put your hands on your hips, so it makes me feel like I have to, like, have sass. So because I put my hands on he my hips, you feel like you have to sass Yeah, because it looks like you're sassy, so therefore I, I have to reciprocate the sass. But I'm not being sassy to you. But you look sassy. Well, yeah, but I look like I'm a million bucks, but I don't got a million bucks. Fair enough. So, uh, you know. So you gotta admit, you do look sassy. I, I can't promise I'm not gonna crash this, by the way. I can't see a thing. Uh... Okay, hold hold up, hold up. They got uh, nope. that. What? No, no, no. no. You're going you're going, going towards the boat. No, 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 no. We're gonna nope, sink. I'm going. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are. Stopping. Stop, Brooks. Stopping. I don't want to go. I don't want to die. <laughs> Brooks, you're taking us to the casino boat. Brooks, please. Brooks, that is the casino boat. We can't go past that. You guys, go left, go left more. <laughs> Am I making you nervous? Go left more, please. We're gonna be fine. I do this a million times. Look, when I was a when I was a deputy, I've been a deputy for a week. I started to go slightly ass, uh, slightly past the first set of buoys, and Malone started having a panic attack. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but it was the ones that's right next to the, literally right next. <laughs> To the dock. <laughs> Messed up my whole trajectory. I'm not trying to drown, okay? I wouldn't drown. Yes, I would. Can't swim? Not all the time. Not all the time? Yeah, not all the time. I feel like it's either you can or you can't. can't see a goddamn thing. I'm going to crash this into the land. I hope this is Cisco in front of us. Okay, <laughs> it is. Hopefully it is and not Mexico. You don't want to go where Kennedy and Rip went? 
Uh, I don't care. You wouldn't don't be, care. I wouldn't be opposed to going to Mexico with you. As long as we made it there alive. Yep. I was way off in my original course. Too bad strike points don't exist in wild. I would threaten people with strike points as a joke all the time. Look, we made it alive. Thank you. The least I could do. Yeah, strike points are no pixel thing. Uh, basically, like, sergeants in GTA or, like, um, in modern day law can strike officers and senior officers if they do... I, anybody that does, like, corrupt... Not corruption, but, like, uh, any sort of... If they behave unprofessionally, do anything wrong, they'll get, like, five strike points, ten strike points, and it adds up to a suspension. Are you liking wild RP? Oh, it's great. I I've been playing for like this motherfucker game. Didn't ask. Get me to get me released. <laughs> is it is that uh, you, Harry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're releasing it. Fuck yeah. All right, Harry Dobbin, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, when were you uh, when were you released? I don't know. A, couple, a week ago, maybe. Been sleeping a lot. All right. Yep. I uh, I see. All right. Yeah. You're all good to go. Sounds good to me. Uh, all right. Uh, Brooks, you want to search him? Just make sure. Yep. Or if you wouldn't mind putting your hands up. No guards here yet. Uh, no guards. Otherwise, I wouldn't have called you. Oh, uh, yeah, but they still, we still come over to release them sometimes. Uh, yeah, but they want to do it all themselves, you know? The yeah. The people sending you telegram stuff. Yeah, I see. You, I'm okay. Gonna put my hands down. You can put your hands down. All right. All right. A uh, blue coat. Hope you're enjoying your time here. That's or right. should I say striped oh, shirt? Oh, Jesus fucking hell. William. Any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, striped shirt? Striped shirt? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. Gray hair. Okay. Trust me, I'm fine. Perfect. That bottom bender. What, what was that? I couldn't, I couldn't hear you over the storm. Ass looking ass. doggy. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Want to be out long? All right, you ready? Are you the girl I punched? No, I'm not. Oh. Harry, you ready? I came in after. All right. All right, you ready to be released? Let's go. Yeah, yeah I am. I was Don't there when you tell were me twice. a bit belligerent in the cells, but it's not yeah, my bad. Bad day. I'm his arch enemy, man. Look at me. I'm his fucking arch enemy. <laughs> Blue coat meets red coat in an epic battle. I need to get Jesse to make some sort of red coat outfit. Cause I know he wants to go to Blue coat too. I hate 
this fucking place. Were you, uh... Stop coming here. What were you, uh... Sorry? What were you arrested for? Was it, um... Some attempted murder, I think. Bank robbery. Uh, something else. You did. You the same Harry that was uh, that was arrested that uh, that night in Tumbleweed. Yeah, the one who ran into the saloon. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. How close were you with Mr. Boone? Larry. That's why I did what I did to get into Sisica. Well, Stupid. I'll tell yes. you. Yes. I'll, I'll tell you what I told Maverick and uh, Winsmore. My condolences. Yeah. I don't hold any personal grudges against you. I know y'all are just doing your job. I know what it's like to uh, to have somebody that uh, you care about have their life cut short by some sort of medical, you know, some sort of disease or something like that. It ain't easy. Yeah. And I know I, in the end he ended up getting executed by the state, but either way, you know, uh, I do know how rough that can be, so my condolences for having to go through all that. And my condolences for the, uh, for losing somebody you care about. I appreciate it. It's never been any personal, unless it is personal, when, when I attack one of y'all, you know? It's just what it is. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I like to, uh, there's some folk that think that way, then there's other folk that want it to be personal, you know? Yeah, you know, it depends. Depends on who it time. is. Yeah. Well, I hope the boys are out of Sisuku. Mm. Been a long time since I saw one of them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's, who's all out and who isn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll find out soon enough. Well, I hope to see the uh, none, none of you guys going after any of the law, okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mr. Dobbing, or do you prefer Harry? Thank you. Uh, call me Harry. All right, Harry. Uh, you stay safe. I will. You too. Uh, where's the closest goddamn clothing store? Uh, I think it's... Uh, Basically, just west of here by the uh, Bastille. Okay. Y'all have a lovely day. You as Thank well. You, Harry. I think Blue Coat just has a crush on you. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna see if there's a coffee. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hello. Hey, you there? Hey, how are you? Good and yourself. Doing okay. You, uh, you just buying something to, to eat or drink, or do you work here? No, 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 I don't work here. I just got something to, uh, to eat and drink. Oh, okay, sorry. I wasn't, uh... I wasn't sure. I know that they're trying to get the Italian Stallion, I think is what they're calling it. They're trying to get some folk running it. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure, sorry. What's your name? My name's Charles. Charles, uh, Charles, has he got a last name? Yeah, his surname's Napier. And Charles, am I just fine to call you Charles? Because I'm going to be honest, I'll butcher the last name. Yeah, Charles, Chuck, whatever. All right, Charles, uh, Senior Deputy Ruth. Nice. Nice to meet you. Deputy right. Brooks. You from St. Denis? You, you frequent this town often? Uh, no, I just uh, recently uh, sort of moved into town. So. Oh, okay. You you got, you got looking for any sort of line of work specifically? or? Yeah, I'm looking to uh, at a sort of look at some papers. Uh, so I'll stand this way so I'm not uh, my back to you. So, uh, um, look at some papers and whatnot. I'm going to on the boat over and this, uh, put out a, some uh, expression of interest to potentially uh, get on the island as a guard there, but I'm not too sure if uh, 
Oh, okay. You interested? Uh, you interested in being a Sisica guard? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. There's a lot of good folk over there. We uh, we just got back from that island, actually. Yeah, they, they, you know, they're looking for individuals in that noise. I'm going to be honest, I got no clue. I, uh, I'd i imagine they're always looking, but because that's kind of how the law department is. We're always looking, but I, I can't tell you if that's fact or not, you know? Yeah, no, no fair enough. How you guys been, any, been busy? A few, few folks around, I see. Uh, you know, uh, today was the first hectic day for the, in the past three or four days. You know, it comes in... Uh, it comes in waves. Yeah, uh, yep. So. That's not too bad then. Yeah, it ain't too bad. But, uh, well, if you, uh, I'll tell you what, my, uh, my telegram's, uh, SX271. That's SX271 without the E. I'm Senior Deputy Ruth. If you're, uh, if you're in St. Denis, if you, uh, if you maybe, if you hear of anything or you start to get to know any of these folk, uh, feel free to telegram me if you get anything, okay? You like any information, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe what you get something. What are you looking something. for, though? Ah, I'm just trying to. I just mean anything. Yeah, that somebody. Could be of that, interest. Yeah, anything that could be of interest, pretty much. There's a there's the Lions Den, which uh, is in the area around the corner. They they host boxing events. An organization called the Ring runs it, and uh, there's there's some other people around town like uh, the Duchenzos and stuff like that. You get any, you hear you keep your ear to the ground. You hear anything useful? Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, not only will I get you paid, but uh, maybe you can put me down in, as some sort of uh, reference for your your assistant yeah. guard application. Okay. Sounds good. I just uh, make sure my memory serves me well. So SX two seven one says here X ray two seven one. Yeah, SX two seven one. No, it's lovely to meet you. Yeah, it was really nice getting to meet you too. We'll be in contact, right. yeah. Yeah, all the best. Sounds good. All right, stay safe. See ya. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get my coffee. Brooks. Yeah. You hold something for me. This is a cattleman revolver that I took off of Blue Coat. Oh, okay. You go dump it in the ocean or something. Hmm. I might. All right. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I kind of like just wearing this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but... Why does that sound crazy? <laughs> you think out your outfits. What? I said you think out every piece of your outfits. Why wouldn't I? I well, I'm going to be wearing them. So why wouldn't I put thought into it? A lot of attention to detail. Unlike me, who I have a red pocket lined in these pants, and it drives me crazy. Yeah, I know. I noticed it. I only notice it once in a while. Alright, uh, your horse should be down here, right? Yeah, it's on the dock. Alright, you wanna just take the horse back just in case there's another tip? We gotta send something to prove it. How is it this foggy again? It's uh, this one area it collects a lot of a lot of fog. Come here, buddy. Did you named your horse Benny. Buddy, I, oh, okay. his name's Nanaki. You know, my first horse I bought once I got deputy was too similar to everybody else's, so I made sure this one stands out. Fair enough. Is that true, Peters? 
How you oh, doing? Hello there. Howdy. Uh, how's your guys this evening? Not bad. How about yourself? I'm oh, doing good. Mr. Peters? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I saw your advertisement. That wasn't mine. Oh. Someone's playing a prank yeah. on me. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry then. I, I don't care. Okay, I was just trying to say sorry. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'm, just, I'm not trying to be aggressive. I, I just don't care. I mean, <laughs> some people don't like to be children, so. Well, I, if they like to be children, they probably smoke cigarettes, right? Well, yeah, women and children smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> yep, How y'all doing otherwise? Uh, yeah, doing all right. Just getting back from the island. The island? You yeah. in Guama? Nope, Sisica. Oh. Oh, transport to... or something. Yeah, something like that. All right, well, Jamie, right? Yep, Senior Deputy Ruth. Jamie Ruth. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me you're one of those men. What do you mean? That I have to call you Senior. I mean, if I have to, if I you mean, demand it, I will. I mean, it is my rank. I don't. I don't care what you call me. You could call me Ruth. You could call me Senior I'm Deputy Ruth. So I called you Jamie. I'm trying to be friends. Is that not gonna? You can call me. How about, you, how, about how about this? You call me Ruth. Just call me Ruth. Ruth. Give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. Rabbit's been kidnapped. Oh, fucking great. How many do we have on it? I don't know for sure. I don't know if this group of need two to strawberry is the group going after her. Because after that, there was five shots northwest of Valentine, and she was kidnapped from Valentine. Okay. Uh, she was kidnapped. Let's go, let's go to the shot. Let's 22. go to the shots fired. Let's go to the shots fired. Okay. Mark us both going. All right. Northwest. All right. my fucking horse so let's uh, take me to the stables or let's go to push through the roads I'll grab a horse there okay so they there's the tip that came in that she was kidnapped and they asked for two to strawberry So I think, I don't know if we have two groups of six out right now, and then us two. All right. Two were responded. Two did respond to the backup call, oh, yeah. I think a lot of us on duty. So hopefully we can grab at least one or two more. Last I looked, there was 13 on duty. So there must be 14 now. Alright, drop me off the stables, I'll grab a horse, go look around and see if we got any more deputies in town. And check tips too. Right. 
Okay. There we go. Jones, we got things going on if you're able. Uh, hostage in Valentine right now. Uh, Sheriff Rabbit was kidnapped, and we got shots fired from where she was last ta seen taken, so we gotta go look. If you're able to, Jones, I, I, I could use you. There's also, yeah, the hostage in Valentine. Oh, Bank, too. fuck. Okay. Alright. We got Valentine and Blackwater. I have done it. I have some straight hot paper straight off the press. Latest news. All right, we need just uh, Jones. Ah, I see. This paper will will have to wait. Yeah, we've got pot. We've got Rabbit kidnapped, and we've got a possible robbery in Valentine, and a possible uh, possibly she was taken from Valentine and shot nearby. So, point me in a direction. Valentine, three of us. Yes. Let me fetch my horse. Adding him to responding. Can you give me any more detail about what happened? We don't have much. Um, all right, let's let's push you to Valentine. Um, yes, only. Brooks, you want to you want to give him the rundown as we're going? Yeah. Please give me a rundown. All right, I'll wait till we get out of town. Smart. All right, we're gonna pick it up. Picking it up. So about 20 minutes ago, we got a tip that Rabbit was kidnapped from Valentine, from by Boone's boys. Oh yeah, Ruth, I don't think I told you. Man with raccoon hat. Oh, fucking hell, okay. Uh, In tribute to Mr. Boone. Yes. Yep, uh, that's the assumption. He was taken, she was taken hostage by Boone's boys. We don't know how they are. Um, he also got shots fired northwest of Valentine, and then he just got a hostage situation also in Valentine. If they're not there, and the, and uh, look, if they're not there, I want to check the shots fired to make sure we don't got a sheriff bleeding out. Very well. All right, resting horses. Resting. I'm going off road. Uh, we're just basically gonna shoot over the hill by the, uh, just to give you guys a general idea, we're just shooting over the hill by the, uh, bottle tree, and then we're just going straight to Valentine. Understood. Alright, perfect. Uh, how's everybody's horses? My horse is excellent. He is at maybe 60% capability. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a minute. That's Water a bold claim. A That's a bold claim there, Brooks. It is. I do I'll not think a lot of day. the people in the department agree with that one. No, because I think Friolo's the gem. <laughs> Alright, you guys so both dead. ready? What is your horse? Hungarian half-bred. Uh, it was um, Sheriff Carter's horse. Oh, you inherited it. I inherited it from Molly, who inherited it from him. Alright, you both ready? Yep. Alright, yes. we're picking it up.
I think my Criollo could race the Fox Sprouter any day and win. All right, let's rest for a tiny bit. Resting. We got others riding in. Okay. Our own. Oops, sorry. Trying to get around you. Oh my god. Alright, I need... I need somebody to go telegram Kennedy. I shall do so. What would you like me to tell him? Uh, tell him that Sheriff Rabbit's safe in Ansburg. Okay. Wonderful. Good right. news. Do we want to ride up and get her? Um, it looks like they're already on the way. Okay. But I don't think they know that she's safe, so. Okay. Yeah, they are. That's what I was originally going to have us go do. Yeah. Um, is this a bank robbery we have? Probably. Where's the, where's the others that are coming into town? They're at the bank. The, the deputies? Yeah. How many do they, is it, uh... Kramer, Benny... Yeah, they should have six, I think. Yeah. Let me go talk to them. Wagon coming through. How, do you uh, think? How about this? Um, I want you to go on the left side of the bank, and I want you to watch the back, all right? And yell out if you see anybody going out the back of it. You guys have enough here, right, Benny? Um, I can't uh, let's see. Them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, uh, where, where's Kramer and Pruitt? I see Kramer, Kramer on the but where's Pruitt? Uh, Pruitt went with Kennedy and Rip and a few others to go search for Sheriff Rabbit. Okay, so you guys have you, Kramer, Stump, Chevalier, Herrera, Herrera. And Chevalier, yeah, and so me. That's, that's five? Is it? Are they the ones right in front of the bank? One. A oh, and, and Jesse. Okay, Valentine's here? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Alright. Um all right, Let's get good. out. It's dusty here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out then. Uh be safe, okay? Yep. You as well. Now let's go collect Edison. Hello. Howdy. Can I help you? Oh, I'm so sorry. You look a lot like two people I know, actually. Nah, I'm Senior Deputy Ruth. It's really just I'm sorry. We're gonna be it's okay. Downtown. I see. Telegram sent. Alright, you, you sent it to Kennedy? 
Yes. All right, perfect. And right, let's go to, uh... Hey, uh... Hey, excuse me, the both yes. Uh, it's getting the... We're gonna need uh, people to clear out. There's... It's gonna be martial law here in a minute. I'm sure deputies are gonna be coming around. So if you could clear out of town, that would be appreciated. Both of you hear me. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my horse and get out of town now. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Here too. Yeah, it's getting a bit dusty as well. All right. If we see anybody at the telegram station, we'll clear them out for those with that group too. Very well. I am glad that they found Sheriff Wood. Yeah, I was worried. That's not a fair call, Edison. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh... It makes sense, doesn't it? It, it, it does make sense. It is hard to do sense. our job when people cannot hear and or see us. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's, uh, let's head to Rose. Picking it up. How you recovering, Edison? By the way. Very well, thank you. Good. I am completely recovered. Resting horses. Say that again. I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Perfect. I am going to continue with my rehabilitation treatments with Dr. O'Hara. Alright, perfect. I am in good condition. Clear for duty. Alright, perfect. Good to hear. Sometimes when it is cold outside, my metal bones ache. What do, you, what do you mean your metal bones ache? Oh, uh, I fell out of a hot air balloon and broke nearly every bone in my body. And many of my major bones, my tibia, and things like that, were replaced by metal rods. I see, alright. I mentioned this to one of the other deputies. And I said, my bone structure is nearly 30% metal. And he said, is that less? I do not know what he meant. <laughs> who said who said that? I believe it was Castle. Oh, okay. I can see Castle saying that. Yes. Because he did, and I told you. That's true. Yep. Well, because he sounds like a fucking robot. And so now that he's got 30% metal, he was trying to insinuate that... Do you two like music? <laughs> uh... Do I like music? Yes. Yeah, that's not the worst thing. Agreed. This was some good small talk. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it depends on the voice, yeah. Or the, or the instrument. instrument. Yeah. I see. There is some music that you like better than others. Yes. What is your favorite kind of music? Uh, I just like uh, I just like it. we could go parallel to the uh, train tracks. We'll just Very go off road as well. Uh, I just like a good voice. You know, no instruments, just. Vocal music, yes. What was that? Vocal, vocal music. music. Yeah, vocal music. The other day we were in Valentine. And Deputy Parker sang a song, and she I've is very sing. good at singing. She is. I don't think I've ever heard her sing. Well, this was 
some nice smells about music. Do you like music? What's your favorite kind of music? That opera. 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 Is my favorite kind of okay. music. I like Bizet. Do you know Georges Bizet? No. He is from France. Well, now I want to know. Just to he has a song called Toriador. Toriador. It's a very good. That sounds nice. Yeah, it does sound good. Thank you. And I also like to dance. Did you know I like to dance? No, I didn't. Did not. What's your What's favorite kind of dance? University. I teach it at the Milk Academy. I see. Interesting. Never knew that. I believe we have grown closer as colleagues now. Yep. I need to finish a case file, but if anything comes up, please let me know and I will join you. Hey Ruth, who is on that bank? What do you mean? I'm just marking him as responding so nobody else goes. Oh, um... It Benny was... Kramer, was Pruitt there? Pruitt was not there. Okay. It was Benny Kramer Herrera Chevalier Chevalier uh, I can't pronounce her name. Chevalier. Cha Chevalier. Thank you. Um. Valentine. And I think he said there was a six. I don't remember who. All right. So. Rabbit just. Did a tip of all the descriptions of Boone's Boys, too. Who all was there? Pruitt wasn't there. Beckwith wasn't there, right? I didn't see him, but... Was CeeLo? Was CeeLo the sixth? CeeLo was with that group earlier. I think CeeLo might have been their sixth, yeah. I think. Uh, he told me he had six, so we might be confusing yeah. people, but... I think if people at least see six, they won't go to it. Right. I hope she puts these in the dossiers. Okay, so maybe Cleo was the sixth? Hmm. Because it, yeah. it says the responders were... I'm adding the responding. No, no, no. no. The responder to the Sheriff Rabbit tip okay. was Kramer and Pruitt, and Pruitt broke off. Cleo, CeeLo, Benny, and Herrera. So maybe I I don't know. There uh, well who cares? If there's six on then then make you know, who cares? I can't be asked. I I I've already I've you know, I've tried. Alright. 
I'm gonna take a piss. Uh, Jones, will, me and Brooks will probably go to uh, Saint Denis. Maybe. I will join you. Okay. As that is my new uh, assignment. Oh, Lemoyne or Saint Denis? Lemoyne, but yeah. Saint Denis is my home. This is where I live. Yeah, fair. I, they, I'm the senior of Saint Denis, so I'm trying to be down. Wonderful! There as much as you I are can. my senior deputy. <laughs> One of them. Me, yes. Brood, and Stone. Ah, I do not have favorites. <laughs> right. But you, you are should. my favorite, Brood. Oh, well, that, there you go. That's what you're supposed to say. Well, that you can't. Uh, don't lie to me. Wink. <laughs> Why that is my you way say of telling wink? you not to? Well, I am busy using my eyes on this report, and so I cannot actually wink, so I have to say it. <laughs> but this is also my indication that you should not tell Jones that what... Or, sorry, I am Jones. You should not tell Pruitt and Stone about what I said. It is just between mm. the two of us. Well, yeah, but I feel like you don't have... Wink? I don't... <laughs> I don't have to be your favorite. I'm okay not being your favorite. Definitely not my favorite. What? Why have you been sassing me so much? I told you as soon as you get in that stance, it comes out. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm taking a piss. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking a piss real quick. Beer beat. Ugh. <sighs> You have returned. I have returned. I'm done. How was your urination? I feel... <laughs> I can't say that. Alright. I feel empty just say in a good. good way. Very good. I need <laughs> to run down to the telegram station. And I think I will... Has anyone written... Editor Abigail Jones about the 10-ton gang? 
I don't believe so. Then I shall. All right, go ahead. I will tell her to use caution. All right, sounds good. Well, I'll be here. Take your time. All right, I'll, I'm taking. I'm gonna look. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Who the telegram? I have locked the door open for your convenience. Perfect, thank you. Um, did May finish the banger of of a, of an art that I saw I saw you were working on? Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! Dude. Holy shit. Yeah, the eyes really tell a story. Holy shit, that's insane. May, you're fucking nuts. Holy shit. I'm so glad that we've got Jamie art with the silver. Uh, his hair looks so good. It's so disheveled, too. It, you can tell it's blonde dyed silver. It, it, it's fucking insane. You nailed the hair. The hair and the eyes are fucking crazy. Holy shit. I love that you can see the, the blonde see, in See, you know, you can't be my favorite senior deputy if you're my favorite lawman. <laughs> so I covered that one up? Uh, how, what do you mean? So I'm, I was really a compliment. Well, you, But like, then I would be your favorite senior deputy too, though. Yeah, but it would just be too restrictive. It has to be... Damn it. God damn it. By, by default, I'd be your favorite senior deputy. Hmm. Thought I covered for myself really well. You, you almost did. Mm-hmm. You see, one thing, one thing that, uh... One thing that Briar told me was that she raised me as a deputy, okay? Mm-hmm. I think when I start to talk about people I've trained, I'm gonna say, <laughs> "Okay, I, I got, I'm gonna have to use this on Benny. I ain't gonna use this on you, okay? But I'm gonna say you might not have come from my balls, but I certainly raised you as a good deputy. That's what I'm gonna tell Benny next time I see him, <laughs> just to hear his reaction. Okay. Oh, I'd love to hear that. All right, just to hear his reaction. I wonder. I want to know what he'd even say. Yeah, I don't know. You ain't too bad yourself, Brooks. Thanks. How's the world been treating you? Been better. Glad to hear that. I feel like having a tie anywhere outside of Saint Denis is uh. Looks a little strange. It does. It does, it does look a little bit strange. Outfit doesn't look so good with the red dust all over it, though. Yeah, I know. You're gonna have to avoid roads. I hate this town. <laughs> Me too. It's the only place I've uh, been held hostage. You know, I used to think that the that the the curse was broken, that Rhodes wasn't cursed. But then I uh, then when when Winters told us that Christensen never got into a gunfight, I'm starting to think there's still a curse here for any sheriff that gets into a gunfight. Yeah, I I 100% believe it. So I told you not to be senior deputy here. Well, 
being a senior deputy here, that that, that yeah, would be fine. But you know what would happen then if you ever got sheriff? Then you'd be like, oh, okay, well I'm already here. Well, that's not true. I would never choose this place. One, I don't think I'll make sheriff. Two, if I made sheriff, this would be on the bottom of my list of towns to go. Winters wasn't super excited. He got armadillo. <laughs> I would Even take armadillo said. over Rhodes any day. Yeah. I'm not a fan of this place. I'd honestly, I'd, I'd probably request to stay in St. Denis if I got sheriff. I can see that. But, uh, then again, I'd, I'd also, I, I, I might, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't got time to think about that shit. I just want to be a hound, goddammit. <laughs> I want to be a gray hound, because I got gray hair. Uh, clever. Is it? Hmm. You were trying to be, at least. Yeah, well, and you were trying not to be. So. Howdy. 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 How are you, Tango? There's a lot of dust in uh, Valentine. Yes, there's a lot of, there's a bank robbery. There's a lot of chaos. I don't know, every time I take a fucking break and I come back, it seems to get worse. Yeah, well, Rabbit was kidnapped, but I th she's safe now. <gasps> what? You okay? Yeah. Alright, alright. Oh, it's just like, you know, every time I, I take a break and I come back, shit has happened. Yeah. I, I, I get that. Yeah. I don't know, has there been any updates on anything? No, nothing. You know, I found out the other people got shot down. There was a bank robbery. We knew Bells were out and about bank robbery and roads. And then we got a tip of injured in the Great Plains. Grizzly's East tip of injured. That wouldn't... No, that's unlikely from the bank. Right? I mean... Yeah. Pro unlikely. Don't get me paranoid. My paranoia last time helped, but... I mean... Uh, th there's a chance. A ranger's going. At least somebody's responding. Who do you think it might be? Our people. So last bank robbery, right after we got tip of injured in the Great Plains, and it ended up being our people shot down. Oh. But that was Bells and Blackwater. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got four of us here. I'm going to Saint Denis. Uh, Want to yeah. go get Blue Coat? Is he actually released? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody wanna come that does anybody wanna stay in Rhodes? No, I would not. Not really. Alright. Y'all wanna come get a Cisco transport with us? Yes. Oh. Alright. Yeah, Marcus all going. Alright. Tango, is that you? Do we want to with how everything else Hello. is going? Uh, I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, uh, how well, about this? You. Me and Brooks will go over on the boat. You guys accompany us to the boat, yeah? Just because it's yes. been chaos in case you guys got to break off and go somewhere. That is smart. That's probably the safer option. You met? You ever met Blue Coat Tango? Morning, partner. Uh, yeah, I think, um, didn't he get released? I think you actually told me that guy over there. He's a fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, oh yeah, were you with us when we were released in the one time and he was singing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he threatened to inflict the most amount of pain humanly possible that I've ever felt. 
and then kill me, and then when I get the hell, do it again. What a nice guy. But he was singing. <laughs> See, I've made that joke about him singing like three times now, and it, every time he just skims past it. He thinks me and Malone are sleeping together. That's his new joke. Are you? No. No. I see. <laughs> He's just jealous. I told him. I told him. I think Pruitt's the best looking in the Saint Denis bunch. The joke is on him because you love singing. <laughs> you enjoy vocal music. That is right. I do enjoy. I, I, I do enjoy vocal music. That's true. But not Blue Cone. He does not sing good. Uh huh. Yeah. Making this right. Making it right. Blue William Tear. William Tear. William Tear. Yeah. I refuse to call him Blue Coat, so I call him William and he hates it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start calling him William. Mm -hmm. Well, if we keep calling him Blue Coat, he will be obliged to always wear the same thing, so at least we can recognize him. No, he wore a red coat last time I caught him. Before. Well, second to last time I caught him. Well, that's cheating. His terrible mustache gets him away. You think he'll like Willie? Willie T. Willie T. Willie T. What about what about Billy Boy? Billy Boy. We gotta try and see which one gets under his skin the most. Imagine if we said he was worse than Billy Blasters. I wonder if he knows Billy Blasters. I don't think I've met Billy Blasters. I haven't heard the story. I have oh, never I have. had long conversations with him. But he is the reason I fell out of a hot air balloon. Of course, it's just not. Maybe it's Aries just has an awkward pace. Now, do you also get that sometimes your horse, one day it, it's, it's fine, you can ride information all day long, but the next day you're either up in somebody's ass or somebody's up your ass? Yeah. 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 They're too slow. Perhaps your horse only wants to run. Maybe he is trying to tell you something. I don't know, I always like seeing myself in the back so I can watch over everybody. Tango, what breed of horse is that? It's a uh, Criollo. Really? I feel like it's been a somewhat slow day for us. Not for all the other deputies, though. Alright. Uh, Edison, can you send a tip that you and Tango are staying in St. Denis? Um, and then and Brooks. That you two are going to Cisco. Yep, perfect. Very good. Thank you. God, I, I wish I was playing a lawful evil character shit. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. I'll grab it this time. Alright. 
I would take blue coat and I would stick his ass on the casino boat and leave him out there. I gotta do that to a bunch of bass, man. That's such a good idea. Ready to listen to him shit talk the whole way back? Oh yeah. You know, I had an idea that I definitely can't do. Because I'm not corrupt. <laughs> but, it would be fucking hilarious to take somebody off of Sisica and leave them on the Corrigan out in the water. <laughs> that would be amazing. With no boat? <laughs> Be fucking stuck out there. Oh, that would be amazing. I haven't been out there. I want to go out there someday. Yeah, I'd like to go out there. They got blackjack out there? No, if they did, I'd be there every night. You ready to hear how you're sleeping with Malone? Just yep. tell him you live in Malone's house. <laughs> nah, I don't want to put a target on Malone's bank. He went from saying I don't sleep with anyone to I sleep with Malone. Trying to figure out which one would get a rise out of you. Which one would get a rise out of me? Mm -hmm. I don't really get a rise out of me. I know, but he was trying. If I, mean, I want to sleep reality, with anybody, sleep in a shed. Yeah. If I want to sleep with anybody, you'd... I mean, I I could, but I don't. That sounded so lame. <laughs> See, dating just... There ain't no point in dating. It just complicates things. Or marriage. Don't want to end up like Malone. I've been a firm believer in... Uh, I've been a firm believer in... Uh, you know, only one night. You are just like Malone. I, I that, no, <laughs> he's had two marriages. I got no interest oh. in marriage. You're the post-marriage Malone. That's one of the first things we ever agreed about, actually. <laughs> I told him I had no interest in marriage, and that uh, I've only had one night stands my whole life, and he said, you're smart, Ruth. <laughs> I was back when I was like a deputy my first week. make him come over in his Sissica clothes. I want to tell him I am not transporting him off the island unless he is in his stripes. Alright, let's go. you gray hair fuck? Alright, let's go. Oh wait, I didn't get you. I didn't go change. No, you're not nope, getting nope, off this I island. Don't. We're leaving We're without leaving you. We're leaving right now there. if you go back. Let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
better let me change in your closet then. <laughs> I don't even own a closet. That's a shame. You don't share closets with Malone? No, I do not. Why do you think? Yeah, I don't. I don't know why. I mean, why do I think they definitely have something going on, Miss? Why, why would you think they have something going on? Because it's fucking rude. <laughs> what? Of course they do. They, they, they do. They do. You you've seen me with Brooks more than any other deputy, so it just it finds it it, it makes me laugh that you think it's Malone. Have something going on? No, I just don't no. understand your logic. Hell, you've seen me with Slacks more than Malone. I don't even know who the fuck Slacks is. The the deputy that brought <laughs> that I brought you here with the last time. Eh, not ringing a bell. Blonde fella. Where's a lot of gold? Stand up. No clue. Stand, stand up. Oh, I thought you were trying to sit. Put your hands up. Yeah, don't worry. I, I confiscated. I mean, I, was, I took everything I could. I brought in everything. By the way, I was alone that whole damn time. Okay. All alone. I mean, I guess they're preparing you for life. All Lucky alone. for everybody else. They let you keep all this gun oil and stuff. That's right. Mm. What do you mean? Like, like... What the fuck are you trying to say? Hmm. You're the same motherfucker that arrested me for protecting myself. Ah, oh, here we go again. Mm -hmm. I mean, here we go again. I've had almost 200 days to sit in there and think about it. All right? And I'm still. I, I've tried to. I've equation. tried to civilly explain it to you, but you don't want to listen. So I, I don't know what to tell you. Your law is stupid. Well, it's the law, so I don't You're know what stupid. to tell you. Okay. Well, it's not my law. It's the law. Well, the law is stupid. And so is your shady ass hair. But, but your gray let, hair. I mean, let me put it like this, though. If Old one of man. your friends was getting held up at gunpoint, there. wouldn't you right. shoot them? Right? The person that's holding your friend up at gunpoint? But, what? But, I'm not going to charge you for it. I'm, I'm asking you a genuine hypothetical. If somebody okay. you cared about was getting held up at gunpoint. Someone I cared about was getting held up at gunpoint. All yes. right. The person holding that gun towards your friend, would you shoot them? To save your friend? Uh, from possibly being would. robbed yeah. or, or shot. I, I yeah, probably would. I, I, and I completely understand that. But you know that that isn't legal, though, right? And I know that wasn't what happened today, but I'm trying to explain that to you. You know that ain't legal, right? Well, that would probably not be legal. Yeah, right. so, so that's not legal either. But now, if my now, friend now, now hear, pulled their gun out. and then blasted them off their fucking horse... That, well, that ain't legal either. It ain't my problem, it's, but it should be legal. So, but here's the thing. If that guy would have fired a shot at you, then you would have every right to shoot back. But, but fella, here's the thing. I'm too quick. Well, that too quick is why you got charged. I I'm quick. My well, woman likes when I'm quick, and that fella obviously did not enjoy I, that I, I don't was think quick. your woman has All a right. choice if it's quick. Well, well she does, because she's still with me. Pity. I... I don't know who the hell would look at that mustache and think attraction. Do we have to go over your hair again? Look at that uh, shit. Do you know how many people have actually told me they love there my hair like this? Did you find a paint can somewhere, fella? No, it ain't paint. It would be nice in paint, though. I think a Did paint you, like, texture would be Did you, like, drag your head across a whole bunch of fucking bird shit? Nope, sure did. I mean, you look like you got shit on your lip, buddy. I, I don't know yeah, what to tell you. Alright, William, you have a good one. Yes, you around. I couldn't hear you because you don't speak with your chest. See you, Willie. Hi, Willie T. This guy might be dumb enough to call us horse, get a gun, and try to hold us up. Just the heads yeah. Up.
Did you release him? No. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> he's most likely going to find him. He's going to the tailor show. Sorry, I thought you released him. I'm, I'm also going not going to gonna lie, I thought you released the last one, so I figured you were releasing this guy. I was about to, and then... He started running back in, and I was just double-checking his time, and then I never released. Did I release the last guy? Now I'm wondering. Yeah, I, I thought I thought while I was going over shit, their paperwork and talking with them, that you were releasing. Them. I, I that's normally what I do, but now I don't remember if I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at their paperwork. All right. Yeah. Well, he's most likely to check Telegram or. or you have your horse. Yeah, he's over here. I'm gonna go check the tailor shop. I need to just start doing it myself. I go there with so many people, I expect somebody else to do it. Usually, I need to just start unjailing every person that I release. My horse is angry at me and won't let me on. God, he looks like Blue Car, Car I think that's Carlo though. You, have you just noticed that too? Like, doesn't he look like him? Yeah. Oh God. Is that him <laughs> right there running? <laughs> Are you okay? Just go near him. Why are you still here? Do you just like? Are you I saw you getting chased. So are are you like obsessed with me or something? I saw you getting you know, chased. Ma Malone is back at the office. Okay. I don't just, think he just is. Go, I don't think go he's play with duty. him for a bit. All right. Uh, Malone, I love you, Malone. You see that one? Malone. Yeah. Oh, Malone, please okay. kiss me. Oh, Malone. I saw you getting chased. Malone. Trying to make sure you were all right. That's yeah. right. All the women always chase me. <laughs> Elsa. All right, Willie. You. you have a good one. See you around, motherfucker. See you, little Willie. Bye, Billy. God, I'm gonna have to call him Little Willie every time I see him now. Okay. <laughs> Did you see what Kramer sent? Three return to Valentine. Valentine Herrera and other. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. 
<laughs> the one that we probably couldn't account for either. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's a Blackwater bank robbery? There's no way there wouldn't be a tip about it by now. Do you see that by pedal? Yeah, there would have to be. <laughs> That's for that awful. But do you see Benny got followed Ronnie? Wasn't a good idea. He's on the west yeah, side. Yeah, I mean, I'd imagine the people are looking for him. Yeah, there's three. Okay. But that could be that Grizzly's East call. Could be. Yeah, Dakota River East. Yep, by Cumberland. That's Grizzlies East. Uh, yeah. Because if it's outside of Cumberland, I think it goes to maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, that wouldn't have been. That would have been, if anything, Grizzlies West. That's I right, yeah. I I want to go bathe. Okay. I'll walk with you over there. Okay. Because I know you'll run into Chenzos who <laughs> will either kill you or take you on a date. Not sure which. That would be a way to die, drowning in a bathtub. I've had to deal with the dead body of somebody drowning in a bathtub. Really? Oh, I need to resaddle my horse. Seem pretty happy you chose the city. Who seems pretty happy? You do. Do I? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I don't know, you seem like you're enjoying it. That's yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a change of pace. It does feel very different than the rest of the crossing. I could pro I'll probably, it'll be nice to, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, be a senior deputy of a city. How you what doing? How you doing? Mr. Salerno. Yeah, you want to talk? Yeah, I actually do have some questions for you. Sure, let's go talk. You want to go down to the station with me? Sure, why not? Let's go. Perfect. How you been? Been good. How you doing? Oh, I've been loving the city. Great to hear. Uh, do you know that uh, deputy's been wanting to speak to you? Yep. I see. It's not a surprise. Nope. Be honest with you, I'm not the type of guy that's gonna go out of my way to come look his face. I know he's just busy, so if you wanna come looking for me, you come for me on your own time. Yeah, I, I like to go around town looking for folk. Yep. Well, Mr. Salerno, this is, uh, this is Deputy Brooks behind me. I'm Senior Deputy Ruth. Well, I'm all acquainted. How you doing there? Nice Who's it uh, back there? Brooks? Yep. Nice to meet you. You as well? Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, th some of this stuff's gonna be from a little bit ago. I'm sure you're well aware of that. Oh, uh, no. Maybe you can uh, try to jog my memory here. Uh, you're telling me that the, the rest of the uh, rest of the folks didn't tell you? Tell me what. All right. Well, how about you put your hands up? I just gotta search you. I like sure. the olive green. Thank you. 
it's uh it's 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 rare to uh to see somebody pull off olive green little green little red get a little brown at the bottom then you get the scoff you know kind of brings the whole outfit together yeah fair enough all right i'm just taking this navy for now and then uh, i'll get sure. it back to you afterwards all right you want to uh come in here you see that uh, you see that room over there the first one on the right yeah all right i'm gonna walk you in i'll have you take a seat and then uh i'll probably need two minutes all right no problem yeah gotta go to coffee Say that again. Can I get a coffee? Shit, the only yeah, shit, the only coffee I got is my own. Uh, all right, water. It's got scotch in it. I mean, I probably shouldn't give you the coffee. Uh, yeah, I can get you some water though. That'd be great. Here, you got a uh, you got a canteen that's empty. I do. Uh, how about this? Uh, I'll just go fill uh fill one up for you or something, and then I'll uh, I'll bring it to you. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, take a seat. We'll be back. You need any food? Um, no, I'm set. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, come here. Sorry, I just couldn't get my clipboard put away. All right. Um, so... This is in regards to that ranger. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you help me with it, if that's okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's going to be ranger recruit Jackson attacked. Uh, the series of questions are down below. Uh, I know you love your paperwork, so would you mind writing down stuff from this? Yeah, I can do that. All right. And feel free, any questions, um, feel free to ask. So this is the route I want to go. Sergio didn't cough up any names, right? Yep. As expected. So a sheriff is authorized that he gets the the actual attempted murder charge because he didn't cough up any names instead of the accessory, right? Yeah. So I'm going to tell Salerno after he pretty much just denies all of this and doesn't own up to any of this, doesn't give any names, that he matches the person that swung the hammer to a T. He can either, A, um, sit there in silence and let Sergio Scarpetti take the full 300-day charge um, and and let somebody go down for a crime they didn't do because we've been authorized by the sheriff to approve that charge, um, even though he was just an accessory. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You think that's the way to do it? I think that's the only way he gives himself up, as if, it, if it's to prevent Sergio from uh, from catching the full charge. Right. Yeah, I think that's probably the only way you're going to get anything out of him. You got a canteen with water in it? Yeah. All right, he needs some. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, so I'm going to ask him a bunch of questions. Feel free to ask any questions of your own as well. Um, I have the little list of questions I'm going to use, and then I'm going to ask him some random ones as well. So. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. You know, Mr. Salerno, I gotta say, I th I think you look good with the long hair. I'm gonna say, uh, I wish it was real. Oh, it's a wig. Yeah. Been honestly, for years. honestly, I, I I wouldn't have known that. Really, I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, it actually looks good. Are you uh? Did, did you dye your hair? Yeah, I did. You can see the streaks of blonde in it. Can I? If you look closely, you can. Oh, is it like a silver? It's okay. silver with the... See, my natural hair color is blonde, and I dyed it silver. It's a long story. I, I, dyed, it for, uh, I dyed it for a good friend. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, looks yeah. nice. Yeah, thanks. All right. Well, how's your day been today? Been pretty good. Yourself? Ah. Uh, yeah, it's been all right. It, it's been a bit fucking hectic, but uh, for me, at least, it's been, it's, it's been all right. The life of a deputy, huh? <laughs> yeah. How long uh, How long you lived in St. Denny, Mr. Salerno? Mm, roughly two years. 
Give it a take. In roughly two years. Somewhere around that. All right. Uh, Brooks, did you give him the water? Oh, no. All right. And Brooks, you're going to write down all the things me and him, Mr. Salerno, yep. talk about? Perfect. Of course. That's a long time. You ever get uh, you ever get sick of this place? What? The Saint Denis. Uh no. Quite frankly, um I'm not really sociable around other parts. I kinda hate it everybody or everywhere else. <laughs> Honestly, I uh I'm 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 really enjoying the city the more I'm down here. The city has a lot of things to offer, my friend. Yeah, it does. Lots of opportunities. Yeah, I was a deputy on station out in West Elizabeth, and when I made senior, I was able to pick a town, and so I wanted to come to Saint Denis. Different, uh, you know, d different, uh, different sites here, you know. Lots of sites, lots of things to see, you know, lots of new people too, you know. It's uh, it's really an experience, a life changer one. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the uh, two years you've been in Saint Denis. How uh, how long have you known? Uh, I don't know. How long have you known Sergio Scarpati? Oh, about two years. Okay, you've known him a while. You yeah, know Michelangelo around the same time or less? Um, that one I'm not familiar with. You don't know Michelangelo Scarpati? No. You never met him. No. <laughs> I see. What about Mr. Pearly? I know you know Pearly. Of course I know Pearly. He's my fucking main guy. He's your main guy? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. You known him for about two years or less? Yeah, around the, around the same time, yeah. How about Effie Parker? Effie... Mm, a few months or so. A few months, okay. What about... uh? What about Sonny and Cesare? You known them a while? Whew, feels like a long time. I'd say around two years, yeah. How old are you, Mr. Salerno? I lost track up to 50. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair enough. <laughs> I, you know, at uh, some point when you get up there, you age, uh, you know, kind of, you kind of lose track, you know? It's just a number at that point. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I'm 25, and I, I can already start to feel you on that. You start to lose track. All it is is a fucking number. 25? You got the rest of your life ahead. What are you doing, huh? Well, I'm bounty hunter at 20. I'm a lawman at 25. Shit. I just like to keep busy. Yeah, yeah. I understand. What do you think of this outfit, by the way? You know, the red tie with the navy, the, the dark navy blue with the white collar? You like it? Um... If you got some red suspenders, that outfit would look absolutely superb. I'm going to be that. honest. You'd be surprised. The red suspenders, believe it or not, they, it was a little much. It was a little much. I couldn't find the red to match the red tie perfectly, you know. Mm. It was a little bit more faded, so I went the black suspenders. I just wish there was a different navy shirt for that. Uh, you see, I wish it was a light blue instead of a navy. Yep. Uh, you know, exactly. Then it would look perfect. Right. You know. All right. So either way, you, you've been in Saint Denis for two years. You're familiar with a lot of folk that that uh, reside in Saint Denis. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. You uh, you work at any businesses around town? No, I'm uh, self-employed. See, do you know uh, do you know Dominic? Dominic, I can't think of his last name. It's not my end. Dominic Alfranze, is that, am I saying that right? Something like that. Yeah, I, I've heard of him. Yeah. He runs the general store. Yeah, I've been by there. You like that place? I mean, it uh, it offers what you need, you know. Makes knives, good coffee, I'll say that. Papers, you know, coffee. What do you need? Only place in town. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, we're going to go back a little bit, though. Uh, sure. October 24th. Can you recall that day in particular? No, not particularly. Not particularly. You uh, you can't think back to that day. You don't know if you're awake. You don't know who you might have been with. No, sir. Okay. So I guess, uh, what do you do on a daily basis then? If you can't remember that day in particular. What do I do on a daily basis? Yeah. Well, that's hard to say. 
sometimes I'm too weak to fucking get out of bed, so I just stay in bed. I make myself a coffee, you know. I'll go downstairs, make myself a coffee, and then I'll go right back to bed. Sometimes I wake up, make a coffee, you know, I go outside for a little bit, go pick some flowers, you know. Then I get the rest of my day started. Fair enough. What's the rest of that day look like? Oh, well, it's just business, really. I mean, I saw you drunk uh, leaving the uh, leaving the lion's den before. Is that business? Yeah, uh, that was business, yeah. A little uh, punch drunk. Yeah. That's right. The next one's December 2nd, 10 p.m. New York oh, yeah. time, right? Real fun event. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being there. Oh, yeah, you should definitely participate. It's a great event. So I, I, I assume if you don't remember anything of October 24th, then you're not going to recall who you were with. No, sir. Do you, who do you typically spend your day with? That's hard to say. Um, I can't specifically speak to that matter. It, Fair enough. It varies. How about, how about this? G give, me, give me like some people you typically will spend your day with then. Uh, let's see. Um, Pearly. Mm, Effie. Cesare. You know... Besides that, I mean, there's... Sergio. There's Sergio. Is he one of them? I don't hang out with him on a regular basis. But when you see him, you, you catch up, I'd imagine? Sometimes. He's a very busy guy. Yeah, fair enough. What about, uh... What about Amadeo? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, catch up with him sometimes. Fair enough. And uh, do you have a lot of meetings in town? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Uh, how many meetings would you say you have a day? Oh, <laughs> I cannot give you a number on that. That that number varies. Uh, hit me with it. Hit me with the varied number. Upwards to 20, if not more. Sometimes less, you know, that's why the number varies. It's, you know, sometimes it's a slow day, sometimes it's a good day, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Brooks, you got a question for him? No. Nothing, right? All right. Uh, do you know of uh, Delaney? I've heard of the name. You've heard of the name? I've heard of it. In what context? I mean, there was this, actually, better yet, there was this one time I uh, met the guy. We had a talk somewhere around, like, Braithwaite Manor. Do you remember who was with you that day? Yeah, Pearly was with me that day, yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Um, Nobody that I can really recall. No, just Pearly that day. You know, these things are uh, sometimes vivid. Fair enough. Hey, uh... So, what about Delaney outside of that meeting? You you can't recall anything specific about him? Uh, not really, no. How'd that meeting go? Pretty well, yeah. Alright. And was that the last time you've been to Braithwaite Manor? Yeah. Okay. The last time you've been there. Oh, like the last the... time? I, be... I can't yeah. recall that, no. Do you think it was the last time? So, that's oh, what I'm asking. It, yeah, it was the last time, yeah. And you don't recall when that might have been? No. Okay. Let's see. Now, was that the... Uh, that wasn't the first time you've been to Braithwaite Manor, though, correct? I've been there in the past. You know, people hold parties there and uh, other sorts of Fair events. Fair enough. You know. Fair enough. Do you know, uh, do you know Jackson Connor? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Mm. Don't ring a bell, huh? No. Uh, oh, Brooks, you got any other questions? No, not at all. Mr. Salerno. Hmm. I'm going to be entirely upfront and forward with you, okay? Sure. Right now, uh, Sergio Scarpetti is is facing a charge. 
It's accessory to attempted murder in the first degree. We have enough to bring them in. You know Sergio. You've known him for two years, right? About, yeah. Now, why he's wanted is because we can place him at the scene. Now, there's other folk there. I believe you to be one of them. You almost fit to a T as the man that held the hammer that day. In question. Hammer? Yeah. Long story short, Mr. Salerno, uh, a sheriff has approved Sergio Scarpati to be getting the full charge of attempted murder in the first degree, not accessory. Now, if he didn't hold the hammer that day, I mean, you'd agree with me, right? He shouldn't be getting that charge, right? If that's what you say. Well, I'm, I'm asking you to agree with me. This is hypothetical. I mean, I don't know. I mean, are you giving me your opinion? If you see, if it's your opinion, I don't, I don't think you should. Yeah, I'm asking your opinion, I suppose. Let's say hypothetically, me and Brooks are in a room, right? Hmm. And I'm holding a hammer in my hand, and I, I don't know, I'm about to swing my hammer at somebody, right? Let's say I do it. Let's say I'm not wearing a badge. Let's say Brooks gets identified, and she's facing accessory. Now, they don't know that, uh, they don't know who I am. They might know, I might look like somebody. They, they might be able to be like, ah, eh, maybe that's him, I don't know. But, uh, I wouldn't want Brooks to get that charge. Because, you know, hell, I'm the one that did it. I'm willing to own things I do. Mm. You the type of man to own things you do, Mr. Salerno? I am. I'm a man of honor. Do you want Sergio Scarpati to go down for something I believe you did? I wouldn't want him to, but what you're saying, what it is I did, I never did, sir. You've never hit somebody over the head with a hammer? Nope. Really? I never have. Never have. I barely carry a hammer. I mean, the only time I use a hammer was what? Fixing a house? Fixing a floorboard? When's That's the it? last time you fixed the house? Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, I'm a pretty fair man, Mr. Salerno. I was going to say... I don't want uh, I don't want Sergio Scarpati to go down for attempted murder if he wasn't the one that swung that hammer that day, and I don't believe he did. I truthfully believe you did. I understand you could deny it. Feel free. But uh, well, uh, it, it doesn't really matter what you say because you know I I don't believe myself to put a hammer over anybody's head or <laughs> anything like that. Definitely not, right? No. You would never know. threaten anybody, you would never hold a hammer at anybody, never hold a double barrel at anybody, never hold any sort of revolver at anybody. Now, as of recently, I do know I do have a uh, troubled past, my record oh, speaks yes. for itself, but uh, not recently, no. But you're docile now, right? I'm sorry? You're docile now. What's that word mean? Eh, you're, you're speaking these big words, uh, I'm a little dull. You're, you're, I guess you could say, well, you're getting old, you're soft, you're nice. Is that what I'm understanding? You're yeah. civilized. Yeah, you know, in your old age, you know, you get to settle down a little bit. The retirement life's feeling good. It is, yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes I uh, go out to the field, I uh, pick the tomatoes, pick the grapes, make some wine, you know. Mm. You know, with the kids, my godchildren, you know. Oh, you got kids? Oh, yeah. Who's your kids? Can't be honest with you. Sure. I got 46 kids. You got 46 kids. That I know about. That you know about. That I know about. Well, do you know all 46 of their names? No. Do you know any of their I, names? I, I do know two of them. I, I, I do spend good time with them when I go back home. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And you're your godfather as well? That's right. Who's, uh, who's your god kids? Fanrico and Donatello. Fanrico and Donatello. That's right. You see they them often? They grow up and be some good kids. Do you uh, see them once often? in a while. Not, not, not too much. 
friends with the fairies. Who are their fathers? Who are their fathers? Yeah. They're good friends of them back home in New York. Hmm. Yeah. Great hair. Is there uh, anything else here, or...? Brooks, you got anything for him? Nope. Yeah, I think that'll be all. All righty. Well, sorry I couldn't help you. Uh, yeah. I ain't no man to hurt nobody nowadays. I'm, uh, docile, as you say. Yeah, docile. You enjoy poker? Love it. You know, there's a high-stakes poker game coming up, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think, uh, well, Santino said that, uh, he'd take my money if I played. Maybe you should come down, too. <laughs> yeah, I might come down and take both y'all's money. <laughs> and that may be. Maybe. His old cat still got some tricks up his sleeves. Anyway. I suppose. <laughs> All right. I'll uh, walk you out, Mr. Salerno. Wonderful. You going down to the, uh, you going down to the manor? Probably. I can walk you down. Uh, that's not necessary. I can walk myself. Down. I'm a gentleman. I, I, I appreciate insist. that stuff. Ah, really, you almost said that. Huh? You really want to come? I just walk you down, you know. You really want to go? All right, come on. Oh, I I'm, I'm a true gentleman. All right, yeah, if you want to come along, by all means. I don't, look, I, look, you, you, I don't want you to get hurt on the way. So I'll make sure you get down there safely. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Tango Brooks, I'm just going to walk, uh, you can come with us and walk Mr. Salerno back to uh, his manor. Oh, we found him? Oh. Look, I, I learned a valuable lesson. Uh, from Pearly, uh -huh. uh, Tango and, uh, and Brooks, you gotta walk the city pace. It's 70 paces, okay? That's right. Y'all need to walk a city pace. City right? pace. Y'all need, need to give the rules around here. I'll put the flat cap on. So what's your favorite part about St. Denis? The favorite part? Yeah. The people. Yeah. A lot of interesting folks around here. Yeah, there sure is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tango, you remember Mr. Salerno? Uh, yeah, I think we had a brief run-in a couple of days ago. Mr. Salerno, this is who you wanted to apologize to the other day. Oh, right. When I retracted. The one you, yep, the one you retracted. That's right. Well, we're walking to the manor. You guys got any words for each other? You got some words for me? Mm, no, sir. I, I, I guess I ain't got no words. I don't really remember everything. It's all right. I'll be waiting for that apology. You know where to find me. Y'all know where to find me. I don't... Does it, are you were going to apologize to Mr. Tango. Why is Mr. Tango apologizing to you, Mr. Salerno? So now I was being a civil citizen, okay? I thought my friend was in danger. This guy over here acting like a little bit of a hot ace. Hmm. All right? Ain't doing nobody no harm. Or binoculars. Yeah, but I mean, your friend next to you had a gun out. What's that got to do with me? And well, I mean, you two were running together. So, it's a it's a good coat, by the way. Thank you very much. It probably helps. Uh, you probably don't get sick much with it, yeah. Don't catch yeah, a cold. Yeah. Keeps you warm, you know. Good. It's nice and snug in there. <laughs> well, appreciate the, the walk home, huh? Y'all want to tuck me in too? No, no, this is uh, far geez. enough. Thought I get the full service. My my. Nah, this is far enough. I just don't want. I don't want to see somebody. Uh, look, like you said, you you, you're older, you're retired. I'm just in the business of helping folk out. Uh, well, I'll uh, make sure everybody else here knows that, huh? How much of a uh, wonderful person you are. Absolutely. Mm. I think they're all well aware. Oh yes. Yeah, here to help. I'm here to help. Of course. Well, look, I, I want to bring a presence back to this goddamn town. Me, Pruitt, there's a few of us. You'll be seeing us a lot. Oh, 
that's great to hear. Glad to have you about, huh? Absolutely. You'll enjoy your time in the city, and uh, you you know take for what it's all got to offer. All right. Absolutely. We will. You you just want a coffee? Get your coffee inside. I got a coffee, but you I appreciate it. I got I, I got a coffee. Matter so of fact, coffee. Hey, I'll tell you what. Cheers. I wish I had one on hand. But cheers <laughs> right with you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, cheers. You sure you two still want a coffee? Get your coffee right now. I'm all thanks, set. Uh, Thank uh, you. Thanks, thanks, for, uh, thanks but no thanks. Very no kind problem. of you. A very kind offer, Mr. Salerno. Right. Well, y'all take care. Right. We'll be in contact if there's anything further that comes from this, okay? No problem, sir. You take care now. All right. Ciao. Ciao. You used it right. <laughs> what a nice old man. Yeah, well, I figured to making sure he gets home safely. Don't want him to get hit by a horse when he's crossing the room. Seems so frail. Yep. Strong. Do you think you know where he is? <laughs> yeah, Saint Denis. Oh, that's right. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> All right, did you get that uh, down into a statement? Yep. All right. He didn't go for what it. So, interesting. Can you think of any other gray-haired DiCenzo? No. With a mustache? Because it said no scars, and he has a visible scar mm. on his face. Gray-haired DiCenzo. There's so many fucking of them. I don't, I don't know if it was Tony Salerno on that day. I'm starting to question if it was Tony. Hmm. Maybe it was, and they overlooked the scar, the person in question. Yeah, I mean, if, you know, with a face like that and a mustache like that, too, I mean, a scar is easily to overlook. Yeah. I gotta speak to Stone, Pruitt, and Malone. Uh, we we have a near-perfect match of descriptions. We've only can play Sergio there. I am tempted to get the witness to uh, to have a lineup and maybe have the witness come in. Like he's terrified up. that he's even going to be attacked by us charging. Sent a tip he wanted his name out of it, but it was too late at that point. Yeah. And still, I, I wonder how Malone would see that if we, we mask him up entirely. Hmm. Completely disguise him. And you know what? Give him uh, give him one of those big fur ponchos on as well, so you can't, you know, tell his, uh, his body frame. Yep, exactly. Tony Salami. He don't like you. No, he don't. All right. Uh... Charles Divine tried taking me in black. Hey, Jones, who's that? Abigail Jones. Abigail. Do we have people in Blackwater? Doesn't look like it. It says here Dalton, Chevalier, Sky, and Herrera are doing a patrol in St. Denis. They're here. I think the rest of them are in Valentine. <sighs> Yeah, nobody's in Blackwater. All right. If you want, the three of us can go over. Waiting for the dust to settle before he comes back and tries to take her again. <laughs> That's CD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, I need to grab some ammo and then I'm ready. Ah, I'm gonna go take my fucking bath while I can. If there's dust there, it might be best. Oh, fuck. It's the only thing is we can't just have no wall there either. Do we have nobody? Nobody. Everybody's in Valentiner here. How many do we there's, have here? Uh, besides us, there's another five. Besides do you want to patrol around us, the city? There's another five? Yep. 
All right. Dalton, Chevier, Sky, Herrera, Silo doing the same thing for sure. Uh, then in Valentine. I don't know who's still on duty. All right, maybe, maybe Tango, I could send you with the group of five, and then the six of you guys can go to Blackwater. That way we can have six in Blackwater for the inevitable shit show that's going to come. Yeah, you're going to need a full group. Yeah. I see. No, you got it. All right, let's go see if we can find them. There are other people unaccounted for, but nobody knows where they are, and there's been no tips from Blackwater in the past, like, two hours. All right. Where the hell's my horse? Your horse is gone, so is mine. All right. Is this thing in the city where the rest of them were? It just says in St. Denis. They're doing a patrol around the city. Okay. I'm going to try and see if I can find them then. All right. I'm going uh, I'm to grab a horse, and I'll try to catch up with you guys. Still walking city pace? Yeah, is that a... Uh... <laughs> is that Salerno over there? Is it really? <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Ciao! <laughs> How you doing? I'm going to get my horse. No, 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 no. Y'all are fucking creepy. All right. I'm going to get my horse, sir. This ain't okay. You know, it happens when people are in the city a lot. They run into each other. Yeah. Should be looking forward to it. We're practically neighbors. Say right. Say fucking right. <laughs> I'm grabbing my horse too. Yeah, I'm grabbing mine. I'm looking forward to seeing your you got, your you, face every day. You got yeah, the Arabian, right? What? You, you ride the Arabian, right? That's right. That's right. Duke, it's right? If I, if I remember correctly. The Duke, all right? Yeah, There's I remember. none like it, all right? The one of a kind. Yeah, I've got a horse named Ares. I ride it. Oh, yeah, Ares. Ares, Hungarian half bred. Great name for a horse. Did you ever know Sheriff Carter? Yeah, I've uh, heard that name, yeah. And Sheriff Carter's old horse. Oh, shit. Passed down, huh? Yep. I like that son. Sure is. Hey, yeah, yeah. that's a pretty horse. It's cute. What, well, you gonna say why it's small? No, I said it's a pretty horse. No, that's what everybody says to me. It's a, it's a cute horse. I just said you know, it's cute. You know, but ha ha, they laugh at me because I got a small horse. Well, I mean, every like, every horse is kind of small to my horse, so I'm kind of... You gotta have a little humility when you're up there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do have some humility. Just say. Just say. Anyhow. I'm gonna ride ahead. Yep. Well, take care. Take care of yourself. We're following me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just going to the telegram station. <laughs> oh my god. Did we just scare him away from the telegram station? I think we did. How you doing?
How you doing, sir? Hi, how are you? Oil. Doing good. Uh, Aries, everything's okay. Everything's all right, Aries. <laughs> it's quite the size of a horse right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, Senior Deputy Ruth, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Senior Deputy Ruth. Zhang Wei, pleasure to meet you. Zhang Wei, nice to meet you. I, uh, you're around St. Denis a lot. Oh, yes. Well, I own the uh, Taipan gun store right down the street. Oh, my perfect. Partner, Byron. I, I actually, uh, I'm looking for, uh, I think I'm looking for Litchfield one of these things. Oh, a brilliant gun, if I do say so myself. A personal favorite of mine. Would you like the whole one? Oh, I, I already own one. I just, uh, see, look, I'm a, how do I say this? I'm a sucker for making weapon sets, you know? <laughs> and, uh, so I like yes. to have, uh, you know, I've got, they rolled past here? I've got like a, uh, I've got a navy that I inherited a, it's like black and gold, so I want to make a fancy Litchfield to go with it. It's fun that you say that, because I, I do feel the exact same way. I have a, a Litchfield, as well as a volcanic pistol and a knife that all uh, have a matching set. You see, when and, I was um, a bounty hunter, I actually used to use a volcanic. Ah, Bounty Hunter, and you're a fan of the rocket ball system as well. Mm, good taste there, sir. Good taste, appetite. Yeah, well, right now, I... I with the they made me a senior about a week or two ago, so Saint Denis my new city that I'm in. Oh, brilliant! So I got a snub nose Schofield for being around town. You know, I think it fits the the city. I would agree. Something that fits better inside your pocket. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree with you completely. Well, I'm allowed to take a look at your snub nose one day. You have to right bring here. it by the gun store. Oh, brilliant! Let me take a look. Let me take yeah. a look. Let me see your craft. Something simple, you know, nothing fancy. Oh my, look at that. Let me take a, let me take a big old gander. Oh my. Oh, I see. You went with the brass coloring on that too. What you got yeah. there on that handle? It's just an ebony. Ebony. No, it's nice. There's a mysterious look to it, yes? Like in itself just arose from a specter, if you will. Yeah, exactly. Simple. Indeed, very simple. See, I got the but uh, simple yet elegant. See, you gotta go. I got the same one with my uh, with my Lancaster. Mm, yes, you know I, I've been clamoring at Marty Malone to go ahead and come to the gun store and to customize a set of guns that we call the Malone line. We call it the Lollipop Hen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. And for Christ's sake, the man hasn't gone ahead and taken me over on the invitation. What what's the Lollipop Hen? The lollipop, that's the line of the gun. Yeah, well, what's it look but, like? I would consider it probably something that is all clad in black and smells very swiftly of bourbon. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That, that problem, that fits. <laughs> Trust me, if I know Marty, <laughs> I know it fits. But yes, we're planning on doing a lot more of those at least once a month. I was inside the crossing, so sir, since you're a senior deputy, remind me of your name one more time. Senior deputy Jamie Ruth. Senior Deputy Ruth, you find yourself around the confines of the city, you come by my gun store, maybe one day, when your name lives in great infamy, I will go ahead and uh, maybe create a gun line. It will work right off of you. Maybe we can have ourselves a nice time doing it, too. Yeah, Customized to Yeah, that like. would be nice. One of these days, special. One of these <laughs> days when I have more time, I'll come by the store and I'll, I'll show you some of the guns I have made. I think you like them. I would love to see them, sir. Don't talk to me with a good time. All right, perfect. Well, I'll... Uh... I try to stop by the stores every day. I do a foot patrol around town for a good two two hours if I can. If if stuff doesn't, you know, if shit doesn't hit the fan. <laughs> so. Indeed, and unfortunately in this world, shit tends to hit the fan very much uh, often. But I hope that it doesn't uh, sour much of your day. And excuse me, dear lady, sorry to be so rude. Uh, Zheng Wei, pleasure to meet you. We've met before a couple of times, Deputy Maya Brooks. Oh, Maya Brooks, yes, we have. Sorry, it's been a lot of influx of deputies as of late. Hmm. Kind of hard to keep up. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> it's nice to see, to see you. See you again, then, my lady. Indeed. All right. But, uh, yes, I... If there's anything else I can do for you, sir, you know exactly where to find us. What do you prefer? You, uh, you prefer Mr. Wei? Mr. Wei is fine. Perfect. Or Zhang. Or Zhang Wei. However you want to go ahead and approach. Well, Mr. I Wei, I, I hope to, uh... I hope you become a familiar face, okay? 
Uh, like I said, a big part of big part of what I think uh, should be happening around town is community policing. So I try to do it as best I can. Well, we feel a lot safer, sir, with you doing your duty. That's for damn sure. So thank you. Yeah, you have, you have a good one, yeah. Okay. You as well. You as well. Safe travels about there, yes. Safe travels. Did you find them? No, I mean they did send the telegram from Valentine. Oh. How long ago? Um, a little while ago, but it's uh, I, th I think when we when we left there, it's uh, it was about that time. Mm. I can see um, uh, we 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 marked us responding to this uh, Blackwater thing, and uh, Kennedy and Thatcher too. Oh, all three of us. Are, all right, let's just go then. Uh, Brooks. Uh, I don't know where everybody is. I don't know either. Tango, just lead us to Blackwater, yeah. Yes, all right. I feel like this happens when there's a lot of people. Everybody thinks everybody else is gonna. Yeah. That, that telegram about those people were coming here to uh, say the end they, they sent it from Valentine. How? Oh. So I might not have it yet. Yeah, but I saw. I, I don't know if it was you that did it, but the three of us were smart to uh, just responding. To yeah, when we thing. left the office, that's where I thought we were going originally. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, Kennedy and Thatcher, they also marked themselves as responding. gonna get there and there's gonna be like 20 people that's fine i'll just take my happy ass back to saint denis <laughs> i'm telling you they, 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 see the i don't know what it is but the the Dicenzos are gonna fucking hate me they already do did you hear what slarino was saying under his breath <laughs> it's funny because I, I'd like to get to know the ring folk more, but they're just... They're not around as much. Yeah. The Chenzos are more obvious. Yeah, that too. Speaking of, uh, of the ring, um, I was told that Amadeo Moretti and Frank uh, Gil Gilbani, is that what his name is? Yeah, Frank yeah. Gilbani. Yeah, they, they kind of run the place, and there is a fight on Friday uh, at 7 p.m. Yeah, Frank isn't a part of it anymore. Frank got kicked out of the ring. Frank invited you yesterday. <laughs> Interesting. Riders. Hey. Hey, hello. You good to hell, man? Hey, I'm doing. I'm doing all right. There's a situation in Blackwater. I think we got two respondents, so the three of us are heading that way. All right. Okay, perfect. Um, Is it the that divine thing or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're you're the group heading for that, so you can keep going. There should be two more helping you out. Um, do you need one mirror? Do you want to take one mirror? Or uh, yeah, we can. Uh, any any of you three want to come? Uh, where you want? Hey, right, do you want to go? All right, I will take the queue. Thank All you right. for uh, sending the lamp. <laughs> All right. right, if uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna come back to Saint Denis afterwards, so if if I see you, see you then. If not, have a good night. Sure. All right, one, two, one. Picking it up. Brooks, run, give him the rundown. Uh, Charles Devine tried to take Abigail Jones hostage. Going, slowing down for town. Slowing uh, down for town. He was leaving and said he was coming back once the dust settled. And there's nobody in Blackwater. As far as we can tell.
Uh, you know, weather comes in periods, I guess, right? I miss the snow, though. Picking it up. So I, I heard that the crossing gets uh, blizzards in the mainland. On the right season. So I'm not sure if I miss this one so much. <laughs> I suppose I haven't been through a crossing blizzard yet. I've never been through any blizzards. What was that? So I'll probably get lost and freeze my ass off and die over there. <laughs> Left. Resting horses. Resting horses. The place that I've seen most of the people robbing is on these tracks lately. I think last night I almost got robbed twice. Twice? How'd you almost get robbed twice? I just flew past them. Oh, okay. By myself, I was in a rush. You were you able to ID any of them? Put out warrants? No. Wearing typical robber clothes, you couldn't tell anyone. Have a good one, Mia. I don't know for sure they would rob me or something. Oh, okay. Right. Fair enough. One of them was me. I didn't give him opportunity. <laughs> one of them was me and my new gang on Jeremiah Silverspoon. <laughs> AKA Rocky Jackson. Jeremiah Silverspoon is the dumbest name I could have come yeah. up with, but I use it because it's fun. How you doing? Jeremiah Silverspoon. <laughs> I, I really just try to sound like Rocky, and I, I don't say my R's sometimes, and I, I don't mean to, just sometimes I slip in and say a W instead of an R on accident with a New York accent. I really do sound like Rocky Balboa the more and more I'm starting to listen to the voice. Adrian! <laughs> Which was not the intention, but you know what? I, I don't care. You want to rest the horses now? Yeah. Perfect. They're falling behind a little bit. Rest in horses. What is this horse doing?
All right. Um. Two go to the station. Two go to tip line. I'll go to the station. All right. I'll go to the station with you. Horses everywhere. Hello there. How are you? <laughs> Why is that? I am not. Was there a bunch of folks that just came in and pointed guns at you? I'm Deputy Brooke. They went. A lot of people in town. Okay. Alright, thank you. Ah, oh, shit. You got CD. How you doing? I'm with you. I'm right beside you, Ruth. All right, let's do this. Saints Cross the Sheriff's Department. We should have Brooks too. We should have Brooks. Brooks is gonna catch up to us. We got two at the station. They're, they're at the station. Did you hear me? I hear you now. They're at the station. What do you want to do? You want to peel off? Uh, we shouldn't do this. Let's yeah, let's off. let's break off, go grab and then we'll off. go looking. Yep. Alright, let's go grab the other two. They didn't have Abigail, right? They were in town before. They didn't they didn't have anybody, right? No, 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 they're didn't. looking for Abigail Jones. Yeah, they just Abigail went in the telegram was, uh, station and called everybody else there. Okay, Abigail was over by the sheriff's office with uh, two of her friends. All right, Kennedy, let's go get the other two. Yep. Uh, what, are we, what are you thinking? We could stay in Blackwater because these dumbasses will probably come back if Abigail's here, or do you want to go yeah, look? Yeah, looking for Abigail. All right, is she still in town? Uh, she was in front of the sheriff's office. I'm going to look for her real quick. All right, the other, oh, they're up top. Hey, you guys inside. I got them out here, Ruth. All right. I don't know where Jones is. Uh, Jones, he went to bed. No, Abigail Jones. Oh. All right. Let's find her. Come down, like you thought. All right, um... Let's go to telegram station. Let's find her. Let's wait for these dumb fucks to come back. Did you see the last telegram about CD? Uh, no, I didn't check. They uh, they had a conversation with Rabbit and Rip and Strawberry, and they left south here. southeast. They were just here. We just saw them. We didn't oh, pursue okay. because we didn't have people. Is that them coming back into town? No, this is more deputies. Hey. Hey. You guys, uh, you guys responded to the uh, CD stuff. No, we just. Uh... Okay. We we have six in town uh, right now because of the CD stuff. We're probably gonna stay put. Um. Do we have Folk and Valentine? We just left Valentine. How no, many we do we have? Uh, did you guys leave it empty, or is is there people there? Yeah, we left it empty. All right. Um. For now, would you guys mind going back? Because we probably shouldn't have nine in Blackwater. We're on yeah. the hunt for a cattle rustler. <laughs> have you seen a leprechaun? 
No, I I have not said nope. I have not. No We've been here. No, no. <laughs> Do you want to describe again? You want to describe <laughs> his outfit? Wearing well, all he's green. kind of dressed in a leprechaun style. Uh, have you looked uh, for any rainbows? We had. I guys, had he stole that. my fucking horse. Come on, it's important. All right, all right, all right. The only person wearing green I've seen in the last twenty minutes is Tony Salerno, and he's in Saint Denis. Uh, and me. Yeah, but I know you didn't steal his horse, Benny. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, true. Uh, he left the leprechaun and uh, so, it, though. what is this CD thing you're talking about? Uh, trying to kidnap somebody here, so we're waiting to see if he comes back. They were last seen heading towards Strawberry, and most likely they're they're, they're, they're gonna go like Road San Denis or or yep. Valentine. They're going town to town to rob, and they just came Pretty from much. Strawberry. They're not coming back here. Yep. So, all right, where well, are you? Well, then we should get a move on. So why don't we let, leave them here and we go? Where's yeah. Abigail though? That's, That's the only reason I don't. Uh, I she's here somewhere. She's at the telegram station. I just informed her of uh, everything, and but you don't think they're gonna come back for? I told them to probably get out of town and go somewhere Not completely if we're different. Here. Yeah. And if she's out of here, then we're good. Does she need an escort? Hey, right. You might be able to find her over at the telegram station. She might. All right, I'll tell you what. There. You three yeah, stay in town. Uh, you three stay in town. Kennedy lead uh, lead six of us. Let's go wherever you want to check. I want to go Valentine. All right, we're gonna Our go to Valentine. Our prerogative is protecting Abigail, correct? Yeah, or the leprechaun, but preferably Abigail. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll get your horse back. Listen. Thank you, Benny. Oh, All right, let's get going. One two two one. All right, one, one two, two two one. one. Up there, We'll, uh, we'll send in a tip at Valentine that we're looking for CD. He was seen going towards Strawberry. He just he just went to Strawberry, though, before this. And yes, I know. So he's going to break off. But do you think he has the common sense to, to go towards Valentine to rob? Or do you think he's going to try to loop back around to oh, try to... He did send a tip. He was coming back for Abigail. Or told her he was coming back for her. Well, and he, then he, he actually did. Going right. Uh, he asked me if she's talking. Yeah, I said no, which he already made a report. You need to resaddle your horse, by the way, Kenny. Oh, fuck, I didn't do that yet. Try to do that in Valentine. Uh, I told him essentially that no, he didn't uh, But he held up the telegram station looking for him. Yeah, he okay, did hold up. Enough. They had gun pointed us, so they, they held both me and Benny at gunpoint. Okay. Alright, let's pick it up. Uh, picking it up. Picking it up. And you, you don't think they're gonna come back? No, he specifically wants Abigail. We got people on top. You see that? At the, at the bridge to the left? Yeah. You recognize any of them? No. Did I? But you get what I'm saying though, Kennedy, right? He specifically wants her. Yeah. He searched the entire telegram station looking for her. And he sent in a tip that he was coming back for her. And he did. So he probably will come back for her. At some point, yes. At some point. But my question is, do you genuinely think he goes to Valentine, tries to rob, and then comes back? Or do you think he loops around to, like, I don't know, Tall Tree, Steve's Land, and then comes back into Blackwater? Could do that. You want to reroute to Tall Tree, then? No, we can go to Valentine. We got three deputies in Blackwater, right? So we'll get a tip. I think he'll loop back to Blackwater, but I could be wrong. Going left. Has he been just robbing folk all night, basically? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Going right off road, pretty much here into the road. Right off road. Yeah, the only reason I think he might go to Valentine is if he saw Law and Strawberry and Law in Blackwater, then possibly he'd go to Valentine because he don't think there's Law there. Sure, but if he's gonna rob people, he don't want to do it in a town with six deputies. Yeah, I don't think he thinks that far into it. Maybe not. Straight up road. I mean, he left town with just three of us chasing him. You get what I'm saying? I'm surprised he didn't try to turn and hold us up or shoot at us.
Picking it up to Valentine. I mean, we don't think he'd go out west, do we? I think he wants to rob people, so I don't think Yeah, I, I, I highly doubt he goes out west because Robin Folk and Abigail Jones. It was, was there five of them? Five, yeah. All right. All right, slowing down. Slowing down. Slowing down. Reform it up. Reform up. I feel like he's more likely to go back to Blackwater, but I could be wrong. Benny, you want to check tip line? Benny, check tip line. Kennedy, go set, go get your go go resaddle your horse. Blackwater. Alright, thanks, Sean. Let's go over here for a second. All right. Uh, Hang on. Ferrer's rubbing ears. Wait for him. Uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, I know we have a couple in Strawberry, and then we have three in Blackwater. Do we do we want to search the Rhodes area? Do we want to search the St. Denis area, and then go all the way back? Or do we want to just go back now? So what I'm willing to bet on is if he's not here... He's going back to Blackwater. Okay. I don't think he's going to go to Rhodes without coming to Valentine. I mean, if he's looking for somebody specific that he knows is in Blackwater, why why go around here? Well, Kennedy, he's been robbing folk all day, right? Yeah, oh yeah, he's been going around robbing. My thought is if he goes and robs other folk in another town, and then we go to that, then he'll go back for Abigail at that point. All right, it's so back to Blackwater. Yeah, it's up to everybody. Don't matter to me. I, I'm down to do roads since we're nearby, but I'm also down to just go back to Blackwater. Yeah, I, how about we just do a pass through roads to Blackwater? That's fine with everybody. We'll pass through yeah, roads, make sure it's clear, and then we'll go back to Blackwater. We have, I think, two. we have two people in St. Denis. Two or three in St. Denis. So we got nobody in roads, so might as well check. Yeah. All right. All right, let's do it. So, is where we have everybody at currently, what, two in, two in Strawberry, three in Blackwater, and two in St. Denis? Who's the two in St. Denis? Uh, Chevy and CeeLo. Yeah. Sounds about right, then. Uh, Brooks, want to send in a tip? Yeah, perfect. I wonder. So I wonder if he went this way. There is also the off chance that uh, the people we saw over the bridge is him, the people of friends. Yeah, no. but he had five there horses. Five horses. <laughs> yeah. So There's I doubt it. Oh. What do they uh, look like? Uh, dark clothing, short hair on a couple of them. One of them's Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Waters. Ronnie Waters, I think. Yeah. Uh, one was Josie Adders, one was Charles Devine. Ronnie Rivers. 
Rivers, rivers, sorry. Not waters, rivers. Alright, we're good. Right, let's pick it back up. Uh, the other two, I, I didn't recognize exactly. I could see him going to Rhodes, okay. man. I could see either strategy. Alright, up to Ganter. Ganter! I could see him going back to Blackwater for Abigail, like, as the main thing, but I feel like he would have done it quickly with only three deputies. I could see him robbing somebody in another town. Picking it up. Testing. Herrera, are you good to pick it up? Deep. All right, I think everybody's gonna be good to pick it up. Picking it up, right off the tracks. Make another right. Glory does suit Benny. Going left. Going left. Resting. Resting. Got somebody riding off the road, you see that? Two people, four people, five people! Is that? They're, aren't they to the left, guys? We we got people to the left. Oops. They continued south. All right. Southeast, southeast. They kept going down. I don't know south. what the fuck they were doing. Who 
whoever's left. You and Tango. Tango. All right. Uh, do you see where they went? They went down this path. That's when I lost them because I looked back. Yeah, I, 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 I had to loop back as well. Tango, you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they'd go to Shady Bell? Where do we think they're going? I checked Shady Bell. And maybe Shady. We got wild horses to the left. <laughs> Are they spooked or running? It looked like they were going. Hmm. Do you think we spooked them to go this way, or do you think they were trying to go this way? Because they seemed like they saw us and started hauling ass. Oh, them. Huh? No, they're pretty spread apart. I don't know. Well, from here, they have gone into Lemoyne. We're down towards Saint Denis. <laughs> Looks like they were going towards Braithwaite until we came over. But that might just be my fucking oh, brain see. seeing people. <laughs> Heading that way from the telegram station, automatically thinking Braithwaite. Not seen any horses yet? Nope. God, I don't know why they all started going towards Braithwaite though. When we had eyes on them. Nah, no, there's no horses here. And there's nothing on the bank side either. They came down here. If, if, if they looped this way, they could have either gone towards San Denis, they could have shot north. Would they have by gone Caliger, to Or into Caliger. Braithwaite? No, they did, itself, no. Well, here, here, right here's the thing, though. When they were leaving the telegram station, it, it seemed like they were going off-road towards Braithwaite. Then we approached them, and they started spooking off running this way. So I wonder if they double back and go to Braithwaite, or if they keep pushing through. That's what I'm trying to figure out. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. when, when I called them out, they looked like they were going absolutely straight to Braithwaite. And then when we started yeah. approaching them, they fucked off this direction. So, they could have doubled back in the woodland. They could have doubled back in the woodland and started heading towards the back entrance of Braithwaite. Because it's very covered. I feel like if we just at least ride through and then, if not, head to Sword Saint Denis. What does everybody think? I think Braithwaite is our best bet for the game. Yeah. I'm between Braithwaite, San Denis, and Gallagher. I mean, that's all three directions, but. Alright, do we want to do Braithwaite, Gallagher, San Denis, or San Denis, Gallagher, yeah. Braithwaite? Braithwaite, oh, Gallagher, San Denis. Yeah. Alright, Braithwaite. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Yep, take a straight shot. Uh, let's slow up when we start approaching and just see if we can spot the horses or anything like that. Our weapon's out just in case. Five, yes. We don't have confirmation. We just saw five horses going that way. I tried to get binoculars. I couldn't recognize any of them. They were too far away. But they spooked. They ran from us immediately. I just stop. Stop the hill right here. Yes, yeah, so let's slow. Come to a stop. The horses looked similar. I don't know if they were the exact same.
I'm seeing nothing. Are we close enough to be able to see? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, we get closer. I mean, if we don't see anything, we get closer, right? Yeah. yeah we would be close enough to see. Let's do a quick ride up to the uh, to the front. Check the other side. If nothing, we move right away. All right. any horses Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department They don't seem to be ones that are going to go hide somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go straight to Anthony. All right, straight to Saint Denis. You, uh, you want to check tip line of roads? Yeah. All right. Check my roads and we check uh, that. They're in there. Well, they are. If, uh, if they're actually in there, props to them, because they hitched their horses somewhere in the woods. Someone want to stay with me? I'll send a tip. Yeah, I'll stay with you. The other four go to the station. fuck was that? I have no idea. I'm not paying attention. There she is. Zoe's gonna swap in for Herrera. All right. Um, Take it easy, Herrera. And we got no update. Some water. No updates. Yeah. Want to do a? Want to uh, peek into Saint Denis and go from there? Yeah. Was that you guys coming up, or I don't? I'm not going crazy. I don't. What? I just heard like in this general direction. I don't know. A whole bunch of horses for like a split second. It could have been us. It may have been you guys. I don't think we didn't go that direction. Do you want to check it out? Yeah. I mean. Uh, Benny, lead us to where you heard it. It sounded like it was over towards these tracks, like out this direction. 
Like out this direction on the angle? Yeah, like uh, this way. How many did it sound like? A whole ton of, like, uh, it, it sounded like more than two people. It sounded like a whole bunch of people. Uh, but it was only for a split second, and then it, it kind of trailed off this way. Mm. Uh, that's why I wasn't sure if it was you all riding up or if it was, uh, you know, maybe a group of people. Mm. You guys see anything? Nothing. Mm. All right. Uh, I, go I hear horses. horses. Oh, oh, wait, there a lot are. of horses. Right there. Right in front of us here. Uh, northwest. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Oh, wow. Benny clutched the fuck up. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Joey, you're with me. Okay. Folks, I'm gonna need you to stop now. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. If you don't stop now, we'll have to shoot the horses. We'll be firing a warning shot. Ah, oh, fuckers. They're gonna go into Braithwaite. Ain't worth shooting them down. Ain't worth taking the shot here. That's why I put stop. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, hello. I, I don't know, where is he? Hi, how are ya? How are you guys? Fantastic, how are you? Oh, doing great. I like the tie. Sir, you step out of this manor. The guy had to put you in cuffs. How many you got inside? We got four. We got one more coming, though. One more coming. One more coming, huh? No, we're not waiting. You know, y'all are very wanted, right? For what? Ask me if I care. Ask me if I care. See if you care. I don't care. Well. The fact that you guys are very wanted means we've, well. Well, I got business to conduct, so, um, can wait a little bit? Oh, you could come turn yourself in. You could do the business afterwards. Well, you said I'm heavily wanted, so I'm supposed to conduct business in Cisco. Where, where is everybody? Go well, behind there, behind the cover. Did, did anybody watch in the back? I don't think so right now. Okay. Uh, hello? Can you just give us a moment, please? So uh, needy. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to speak with you guys. I need you guys to fucking surrender. You're all wanted. They're making a plan. All right. Uh, there, there's one. There's one missing. There's one okay. missing. They might try to run out here. Um, Last time I was in a gunfight okay. with CD, they rushed. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. If they there, go for horses, we kill horses. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a there's a spot in the back. I want to show somebody. Can somebody be prepared to handle negotiations? I want to show. Where Kennedy is our spot. sixth? I have a bolt action on my horse as well that I might grab. All right. I'll show Brooks. Uh, where where is our sixth? I don't know what Tango. No, where is he? Where is Tango? He's over. He's o He's over there. Okay. Jesus. Okay. 
Can you, can you, if they try to talk, can you talk to up, them? Yeah. I'm gonna show Brooks a spot to watch the back. Alright, right, go negotiate with our favorite asshole. Alright, I got All right. my bolt. Let's go, show you. So what's the deal? You guys coming out with your hands up? On me quick. I got a hostage inside. You try anything, I will kill the hostage. Don't try it. I kill the hostage. Where's the hostage? Bruce, I will kill the hostage. You take one step forward, I'll kill right now. I'm not coming to your manor. All right, you see that? You see that building right there? You yeah, see how you one? can get up on this little thing? Yeah, this little one, yeah. Yeah, you get up there. It's a good spot to overwatch. Okay. Uh, Benny, if you want to be with her, be prepared to motion move between the two groups, okay? Yeah, I will. All right. Yep. Is that fucking hard? Is that so hard? Well, He's got a fucking just, hostage? Did, did you just, just fucking wake up in there? I got no clue. You know what? Say, say, say we, we need to see them all. I don't give a shit. There were, there were just five of them, right? Yeah, one of them slipped away. All your deputies in front of the manor, okay? Also... I think I got uh, four of them here right now. We have all of them actually, Ruth? No, we got one more There's coming. four of us right here. We got one more coming. Okay. We got one more coming. Yeah, got lost. He's coming right now. I'm gonna exchange him for this uh, hostage. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, let me talk it over, Kennedy. All right. I'll All right. Downstairs. Come on. Right. Yeah, I got a canteen if you want to say. I say we do that. All right. So, wh what does he want exactly? He just Did wants just... the fifth guy to come in, and he'll release the hostage. He wants the fifth guy to come in. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm gonna walk you through it. Basically. Six. No. 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 The fifth guy. The fifth one that was with them got lost. They keep saying okay. Rick, I think, or Rick. He got lost. So they want him to get safe passage inside and they'll release the hostage. Rather than us knocking him out and cuffing him. When he arrives. Yeah, if that gets the hostage out safely, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright. Uh, I've got them perched up on a building back there with a, with a bolt action. I've got Benny going between the two Which buildings were that? Uh, you, you both see that building with the red roof. Uh, southeast. It's yeah. like... Uh, uh, it's it's behind this little tower southeast. It's not that red building. It's a little bit closer. Bol uh, fucking uh, Bolton. Down. Bolton was Two, three on. Of them downstairs. Watch right. out. Just be vigilant. You gonna take over negotiations? Yeah, I can. All right. Hey, uh, Charles. Yeah. All right. So is your friend on, Brick on the way? Yeah, he's on the way. All right. Go my horse though, and give this lady something. Okay, it's a book. And I stole off her. Okay, the original deal was you hand her over. Don't point the gun at me. Please let me get my book back. That's why she came here, actually. The whole reason was for the book. Which horse is your horse, CD? Uh, I gotta call it. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Call the horse. I'll bring. I'll bring it close. Do right? you hear me? What was that? I said, call the horse. I'll bring it closer to you. You can. You get the horse. You get the fucking book. Then. There it is. Right you get on that horse. There it is. You get on that horse. And you take off, you know what's gonna happen though. I'm keeping my you gun. You think on I would hostage. abandon the people behind me? Never know. I have a heart, unlike you. Uh, okay. Alright, go ahead and grab the book. Alright, walk closer. <laughs> yeah, I'm dropping the book. Thank you. Alright. Now, my friends, not allowed to come inside. Trouble. Big trouble. Thank you. I right, go go back to town. Go back to Rhodes, okay? We'll take a statement <laughs> later. Did this guy just is this guy a fucking idiot? What yeah, he uh no, go search that book. I know what that book is. Alright, fine. She was not a hostage. They're here for a transaction. Hey, uh Moretti. Uh, two seconds. Did you put your hand up to make make sure you don't got any like contraband or anything like that? Yeah, he uh he took my book that I've been writing. Mm. Okay. Well, I wanted was my book back. All right, uh, I'm just gonna patch it down. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that the Alessandra Moretti book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. that one. All right. You can you can check it. Yeah, I'll check it. 
It's just a story I've been writing. Oh, I'm in here. Yeah. Give me one second. Kennedy! Yeah. What, 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 what did you... Why did I grab this book? There ain't really oh, anything in it. There's nothing it's in it? It's a journal. It's Alessandra Moretti. She's got a couple telegrams and it says prologue. I, I ain't got time to read an entire fucking storybook. There's something in the back, though. What is it? Here, I'll show you. It's like a coded message. Who's running to the left? Is that just a guard? They're upstairs right now, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you want to flip to the back last page. Also, I'm going to clean my guns. That's fine. If you did that for me, unfortunately. Really? This is what they... That is very odd. All right, I'll give it back to her. All right. Oh my god. All right, ma'am, he's giving your book back. You're uh, you're good to go after that, okay? Thank you. I really do appreciate you letting me get my book back. No problem. Yep. Do you have anything else on her that stuck out? Not really. Okay. So they have no hostage. They're sitting in there now with four people. That fish shows up. He's not going inside. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I see them from here, so this is a good spot, but we need to start pushing them. Don't yep, make the call. What do you want to do? We got four here. We got two in the back. Oh, I want to verbally push them. All right, let's these go. These are the guys from I the put, uh, push uh, them to the where, Yeah, these are these are Valentine people. Yeah, Bob I can Reese hear you. Us up. Listen, push them. Come you down. know that I know that you know that um, trying to come into the manor is probably a suicide for y'all. Uh, we don't have any plans to leave him. We got boxes inside. I got food, water, ammunition. I plan to. Okay. So I can be here at night. Yeah, fair enough. Well, how about you just come down and surrender and make this easy for how everybody? About you give me something to make me want to surrender. Now you. Deal. Maybe we can work something out. How many charges do you have? You tell us. Do you know? Job to tell me. Sure, but I ain't looked at your paperwork. You I just know you're Ronnie. wanted. Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie Rivers, what am I looking at? Some okay. of your uh, deputies go check. We'll not do anything. We'll wait. We'll be idle. Al, uh, let me put it like this. What, what deal would be worth turning yourself in for? Depends what he's looking at, right? Yeah, I really don't know how much I'm looking at. I feel like it's a lot. Give me a minute. Sure thing. Do you know how many charges they're facing? They're all looking at like three to five hundred, give or take. And that's for today's oh, shit. All right, I'll give that. For today alone, y'all are looking at roughly three to five hundred days. How? That's what, what a deputy's telling me. I'm not. I haven't looked at it. Is that for lie. me or is that for all of us? Th that's that's everybody. Roughly that. So were you wanted before that, Mr. Rivers? Uh, I've only done stuff today, and I, I I don't I don't know how much you guys know about. Probably leave that there, sweetheart. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, for a peaceful surrender, name your price. About uh, three hundred days for everybody, Flutter Ronnie. I can't just give you three hundred days you flat. Go look. Go check your paperwork. Get your facts straight. I'll tell you what. I'll talk it over with my deputies. Good thing. And, uh, chance, yeah. It's not like we have any place to be. This bed in here is very comfortable. We can snuggle. Yeah, I see it. You, you, you don't have their paperwork on hand, right? No, I don't. If these dumbasses have less than 300 days, you know, you know what I'm saying? Them coming out peacefully for fucking three, for basically their normal sentence would be well worth rather than fighting and having a fucking bloodbath I, I here. Don't, I don't remember their exact times. I, I know, I know Ronnie for sure, I think has at least... 250, 300? I they, mean, they, just, got... they, just, they just racked up a shit ton more by holding me and Benny up. Okay. Frankly. So how, how much would that, that be? Woman there too. That's 140 months. And there's no paperwork on that? Days. Not yet, no. We just got held up. You guys rolled up. 
And, and they, uh, they didn't rob water. you. They uh, no, they just they didn't up. kidnap you. So it'd be pointed guns. Yeah. Also, prison have a beast also officer. Prison. We don't have that charge though. We do have it. Oh, do we now? Did they finally add it? I don't know if they added it, but it, yeah, I saw it. Uh, saw it today. Oh, I charged okay. Ronnie with it when he held me up earlier. Right, perfect. Uh. Okay. Uh, so we can't give them three three hundred. They, they're gonna have way more than that. Yeah, they're, they're they're gonna have more than three hundred, and they're I don't know what they had before. Three hundred plus whatever they had before. Okay. So you guys, uh, you guys also held up two deputies in town, yeah? Never happened. Never happened. Actually, that's bullshit. Never happened. I'm here. All right, Kennedy, Kennedy come on up. Am I gonna shoot you? You could have left. You and your people were holding guns at us. You piece of shit lied to me about Miss Abigail Jones, okay? That's not true. I did not. Yes, you did, you son of a bitch, okay? No, I didn't. Yes, First did. of all. Second of all, you all were pointing guns, or a handful of you were pointing guns. I was not guns. pointing a gun at all. I was having a conversation. Okay, maybe you were not, but four over. of your people were. I was. Kennedy. And the guy that hopped on the that back of my horse put a gun to the side of my head. Okay, is he here right now? That was me. See him. I have no idea, but you're getting that charge too because you were there. Oh, that's classic. No, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. You're all getting that charge. Fuck it, Kenny. You want to play like that? Fuck you. You're all getting that charge. Come inside. Come on. I want to see all the deputies. Son of a bitch. Run out the back. Is that a guard? I can't tell. That was a guard. Oh. Guards being inside. Okay. Oh my god, bro. That ammo shit fucked me over. Hard. You wanna say it again? You wanna push with the guns? I'm having some I'm having some strange issues with my gun. <laughs> where did where did winners go? Tango. Yep. Where did winners go? I don't know. Gotta get inside. Holy shit! This motherfucker just run in. Oh fuck me. Howdy. Okay. Man, you're the staircase right now. 
No, you're just a boy, so you wouldn't know what a man is. <laughs> I'll show you a man. Where you at? Come on. Where you at? Where you at? Up here. Sunshine. Yeah, where you at? Is that so? Right here. Just trying to keep moving. It's a guard. Don't care. I can't tell which is a, ta a tango and which is a fucking guard. Got one. Got one. All right, we, right need, here, we need to stick together. All right. Yeah. On me, okay? I don't know where the others are. On me. How'd your bullet feel? How'd your bullet feel? Yeah, same. How about uh? How about your wounded? How are they? Bro, this 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 gun shit is pissing me off. Let's come here. Yep. If you if you if you cover the uh. If you, if you cover the dome there, right? Let, mm -hmm. let me get some distance down by the trees and see if I can shoot them from uh, from down we, here. Up we top, got right? two on an angle back there already. Uh, we, me and you are the only two, I think. So we should probably try to so stay somewhat close, but moving. Okay, okay, okay. We could like basically circle them on the porch. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just want to uh, move around down here on the... Uh... Yeah, moving around, taking shots. Okay. okay. All right, let's do it. Where'd you, where'd you go? Charles, where you at? Yeah, but I not shooting her through the fucking wood. Fuck is she still up? I'm gonna go check. Please. Don't know who it is. It's me. It's me. Alright, you three here. How's Kennedy? We haven't seen him. Alright, you three okay? I'm gonna go back to Tango. Keep an lookout on the back. Okay. Nice try. We got three. We got three on the back. We got three of our own on the back. That means there's the two of us. We should be covering the front, but rotating constantly. Okay. All right. Take care of that before I get shot. Okay.
see him. Put music on. Okay. Howdy. What do you think they're at? they're at? I hear doors. Tango over here. That's another one down. You're going to take a shot at me, you best hit, CD. Thank God I got Tango with me up front. Tango knew what I was going for there. way fuck CD you got people hurt in there Charles can you hear me shut the fuck up Run you got people door. wounded <laughs> Charles I'm trying to help you you got folk wounded that you don't want them to bleed out you don't care Fair. If you surrender, we can get everybody medical attention. You hear me? Charles. Charles, how do you th what do you think about that? Where the fuck is he shooting from? Charles! Charles! Charles, like I said, if you surrender, 
At any point in time, if you want to surrender, your people will get medical. It's so hard to see in there. Let's see, we got one on the right. Almost. Closer. How many we got down? I don't, I don't, I we have Kennedy down, but I, I placed them safety. No, no, no. How many do we have down in there? Oh, two at least. You, you want me to grab him by the by the back door? The guy down there? Uh, maybe in a second. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? I fucking can! Can I help you? You got to speak louder than that. Reload fella. Fella, my gun's bugged. Okay, I can't keep track how much ammo I got. I wanted to fix it before this gunfight insinuating, but here we are. Hear me out. I got a double barrel. I got a double barrel on my horse. Get it. But I, I'd need all five deputies, and I'd have to run it by them to see what they want to do. It's a fucking okay. death trap. Put a breach in this place. Oh, it is. So I'll um I'll I'll, I'll uh, make some you, noise out here if you want to get yeah, it. Yeah. Can you uh, can you make some noise? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. You see the stone wall I've been sitting at? Make some yeah. noise around like uh, I don't know around that tree area again, and I'm gonna try to pop fire on them when they pu when they push out on the balcony. So, Josephine, what were you trying to say before your friends started trying to shoot me? Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. I shot you. I was the one who kicked this off. This is on me, right? Okay, and? So, if they agree at this point to go and see the police, maybe cut them a little leniency. I did push them in. If they surrender, I'll get you and your friend medical. That's not what I'm asking for. Well, that's what I'm telling you. You gonna come out? You gonna come out? Tango, they're pushing! Right side! They ran back up the stairs. Okay. All right, keep an eye on that front door, can you? Go yeah. back to the stone and call them out if they keep moving. I'm gonna grab my double barrel.
So CD, what was that attempt? Recovering injured, don't mind us. Covering injured, huh? Good to know. You know, if you if you cared about them, you just surrender. Let them get medical. Like clearly you don't care about them either. Well, I'm already offering to cease fire, you can surrender. I already offered Charles to surrender multiple times. That's bullshit. That's I already bullshit. said if you surrender, you, do you not listen or are you hard of fucking hearing, motherfucker? I said if you surrender, both shut up. I'm fucking talking, you dumb fuck. I said if you surrender, you surrender. I'm, I'm look, motherfucker. Rivers, I'll, I'll talk to you since you actually are willing to listen. Rivers, I already offered to Charles. If he surrenders, everybody can get medical. You hear me, Rivers? There's three up. Ruth, how about yourself? Okay. Pushing bullshit charges on people. Two of I'm not pushing bullshit charges. What charge have I pushed on you that's bullshit? I haven't even done a single piece of paperwork for you, motherfucker. All right. Is this what you guys want? Do you guys want to breach this? This is fucking hell to breach. The stairs, unless we have somebody having a clear shot constantly on the balcony watching those stairs, you have no shot getting up those without getting shot. That's killed. exactly how I feel. What do you guys want to do? I'll what support whatever deputies want. Yeah, so will I. But I don't know what's the best call here. I don't know what this is like. I think drawing this fight out as long as we can is the best call. You, having two over in that position over there, you guys rat, and then th mm -hmm. one with me and Tango. How about this? Winters, Winters, Brooks, go back to that position. I'm going to take Benny and, and Tango. We're going to be rotating around the house. Okay. Anybody that comes at that back door, you fucking light them up. Okay. Anytime okay. we see them on the balconies overlooking, we've been shooting. Absolutely. Back in. All right. Benny, Tango with me. So what's it going to be, CD? Charles, what charges are you exactly contesting? I don't know it. I wasn't there, motherfucker. How would I know it? I told you I didn't do it. O okay, and I've got a deputy telling me you did it, so... It's lying. It's bullshit. I could have easily gunned him down if I wanted to. Okay. I'm not going to get on the outside. Son of a bitch, this fucking... Ammo bug is pissing me off. So what's it gonna be? Well. Give me a good deal. We can have a ceasefire. Uh, your people don't in. die. You get time served, and we can chat over the charges. Oh, you. You the person that has to go up the staircase and try to gun me down. I'll take my odds on this one. I just want to say your friend downstairs here. You know he's been silent for a very long time now. That's because he's not downstairs anymore. Downstairs. He's not downstairs. We got him up here. He's laying in bed right now. Uh, Mr. Divine, what if I, your arch enemy villain? Who walked upstairs? Benny. Would you feel that confident? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Benny, you come out last, okay? Don't get involved with these shit. Not like the rest of them. However, I will not be defeated by the likes of Kennedy and Ruth. That won't happen. I will be the greatest outlaw. The boss he's ever seen. I'm gonna see if I can see any of them, okay? Well, well, I'm gonna be the greatest sheriff uh, the Crossland's ever seen. All right, that's why I need you for the, the last chapter in my book. You can't die. Yeah, yeah that's what upstairs. I thought. Dude, this uh, reload bug? Uh, I tried to keep him distracted for you, but uh, I couldn't hold his attention. Yeah. Hey, he's like a goldfish. <laughs> Fair enough. 
This reload bug is fucking annoying. Uh, so, Mr. Devon, what do we have to do to get you to come out? Peacefully? What? Uh, save the lives of the people that you have injured up there. Dude, this reload bug is so bad. Look, I, I know this is really poor timing. I don't know how to describe this, but my you guns have, have been so fucky peaceful. this you entire fight. People. Okay. They need medical I, I can't tell much ammo I got any of my weapons, okay? What is it? I don't know how to explain this to you. I'm just gonna go take well, a can I, can I take a nap? Can you guys stall about, enough for me to nap? Do, 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 do it right here, okay? All right. Don't worry, okay? Well, you're in a house. <laughs> Dude, this bug is so fucking painful. Please tell me this fixes this goddamn bug. Please. Please just fix this fucking bug. Oh my, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work, Tango. <laughs> well, shit. What didn't work? I'm having a hard time telling what kind of ammo I got in my gun. Well, it's handgun ammo, dummy. Okay, you dummy, that's not what I meant. Uh, I just, okay. All right, well, fuck it, I'll deal with it. So, so uh, no. there's one at the top of the stairs in the right room. That's where he's peeking out. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go in. Oh, uh, you're ready for me, huh? Come on. Uh, I'm always ready for you, Mr. Devine. Benny, don't push. Charles! Ruth? Is that you, Rivers? Yeah. Do you want to die in this building? I don't want you to bleed out. Or you're not one of the ones wounded. Who's all bled out? Uh, don't worry about that. I don't want to see anybody bleed out today. When I hear a click of a gun... Oh my god, Penny. God damn it. Not the brightest move, Penny. Son of a bitch. Want that. Penny's hurt. What the fuck? What the hell do I even put this that I feel like we really should not go? Uh, oh, cover me, cover me. Keep it together, you can't die here, okay? Destined to be great, unlike Ruth and Kennedy. That's not true! It is true. Keep eye- uh, Hey, Tango, Tango. Keep eyes on this front, by the go outside to the stone, keep eyes on the front, I'm taking them to the others. You're with me. Hang in there. <coughs> I got you. I'll be fine, Ruth. That's okay. I got you. <coughs> Go help them. Be all right. This is not where they... Uh, that's not glory, I promise you. This is not where they were. Where the hell did they go? <coughs> Ooh, 
Where the where are the other two deputies? Uh, the same place as before, I think. But they're not there. I just went over there. I think they might be on the bigger building. All right. Where used to at? Where used to at? Benny okay, got shot three. down. I took him over to that building. Okay. All right. I'm going back over. Charles. No, but you don't know how to do math, fella. Can you get the hell out of here? We're, we're not at even numbers. You don't know how to do math. Yes, I do, actually. Okay, then how many do we have? How many do you have? You have four. We have four. You have four. You have three. We have four. That's not true. That's absolutely true. Uh, You have three inside. One outside, though. And you have three. That's what I'm saying. Thank you for speaking. I count for ten people, so I got a lot. I'm an absolute fucking warrior. Oh, I don't think you count for 10 people. Why don't you come up here and try then, huh? Uh, if you're so confident, come down and try. That's oh, right, because you're not on, confident. Come on now, I was going to okay. say, don't test him with a good time. He, he has no confidence, and he knows he can't do anything other than stand up at the top of the stairs. I don't like the whole gray hair look, but... I mean, hey, at least I've come up the stairs and fired some shots at you. They're not horrible. Do you just want to keep racking up more char charges there, Charles? I don't. I try to negotiate with you. You like to step in and give me some bullshit charge. I'm not doing that shit. Okay, fair enough. I understand that you might be upset, but you gotta under understand me though, right? My deputy's telling me you did something, so I'm trying to listen to him and, you know, you get that, right? You do understand that, right? Yeah, but he's lying, and I don't appreciate liars. Okay, but if you would have peacefully turned yourself in, it would be easier to talk about those charges. You get what I'm saying? Okay, let's have a ceasefire then, okay? Give us a deal. I already told you the deal I can give you. All right, 300 days across the board, I'll take it. I, I can't do that. Okay, then. 500 days max. So, the issue is... For today alone, you were looking at 300 to 500 That's days. That's not possible. I didn't hold okay. for a moment. Uh, but he here's the thing, right? You're not going to shoot me right now? I'm not going to shoot you, yes, if you come in peacefully. <laughs> what was that? What's so damn funny? Did you just say you're not going to shoot me if I come in peacefully? Yeah, if you, of course. 
<laughs> that was the dumbest shit. All right, anyway. 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 Come on, Ruth. Here's the thing. I'm not familiar with you in the slightest, okay? And I'm not familiar with your charges, but I got deputies alone. I got deputies that know what your charges are. Tell me three to five hundred for today alone. Sorry, I got the hiccups. I just ate some food. Get the facts straight. I ain't getting the facts straight right now. Okay, so you surrender, then we'll get the facts said. straight, and we could cut a deal. Versus actually getting your arguments straight and going back to the sheriff's office and getting the actual time and fine. All right, so like I said, the deal I'll be willing to give you, if you peace. Of bullshit charges. When I got Kennedy saying you want to push charges like that for holding up a lawman, I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm just not All right, and I that. understand where you're coming from. I get that you might not agree with the charges, so this is what I'm willing to do with you. I know you don't want to believe this, but I am actually a man of my fucking word. I actually make deals with folk all the time. I don't want bloodshed to ensue on this day. I don't want to continue this fucking what? what what's the fucking point? You're going to shoot me and my fucking lawman? You're going to get shot? There's going to be lost life on both sides. It ain't worth it. None of this shit's worth it over what? 300, 400, 500 fucking days? All right, then give me a deal. I can't give you a goddamn deal with set numbers, but what I'm willing to do, hear me, stop interrupting me. Stop just fucking interrupting me and listen, for once. What I'm willing to do for a peaceful surrender at this point, I will ensure medical for your wounded. That goes without saying. Okay, you peacefully surrender, I'll review the charges, and I'll work with you on those charges best I can, with the folk present for those charges. You surrender at this point, I'll also give you some time off on top of reviewing the charges. How about you tell me what I'm looking at? And I'm not going to give you that. Okay, then we'll keep shooting then, Ruth. I don't want to keep shooting. I'm, I'm telling you, if you go back... But you see, what I, you see how far I'm willing to work with you? I can help you out with that, okay? Okay. Stay right here. Charles, do you see how far I'm willing to work with you after my negotiator got shot in the middle of negotiating with you? Well, to be fair, the person that shot him is laying down on the bed, so... We'll okay, but well, that's a part of your group. Right, so is Kennedy. He's part of your group as well. Absolutely. Right. I'm not taking a blanket charge for some bullshit I didn't do, okay? Uh, okay. So then bloodshed's gonna ensue? I mean, that's it's already been want. ensuing. Go back to the sheriff's office, get the time to find, we can talk about it, and I'll be willing to surrender. But the thing is, you're not going to be willing to surrender unless it's a, a fuck ton of time off, right? I mean, you said you're a great negotiator, right? So convince me. I've already said. I've already given the best I can give. You don't want it. Ruth, get the time of five as far as we're looking at. And I can promise you, there'll be less deputies dying. I have one. We got four, they've got three. Think about it. This push is fucking push up, this hit. push is Bang. fucking suicide. Yeah, you know what I think um, I think we just keep pushing them like this we've done, right? We gotta run out of bullets eventually. Yeah, but we might run out of bullets too. I got a crazy idea, Tango. Come here. If he actually is gonna stay to the ceasefire. If the three of you stay down here, I'll go back to the sheriff's station. I'll get a crate full of ammunition. I'll get a bunch of ammo on me. And then I'll grab their papers. In case he doesn't fucking surrender, I don't think he will, because I'm not giving him a deal generous enough to surrender. But we'll at least have a resupply. Got it. What do you think of that? That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, s Just keep, keep tight here, and then yeah. hold these stairs. All right, Charles. Charles. Can you hear me? We're here now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. I'm good to go. I'm good to keep... I'm, I'm... All right. I can, I can hear you. Pretty boy, I can hear you. Okay. So, we still in a ceasefire? Ceasefire for now, yes. All right. I want you to know something. You, you shooting that deputy makes me hesitant to go grab those papers. How do I know you're not going to just go out and shoot my fucking deputies if I go and grab the charges? Because if I wanted to shoot your deputy out there, I would have done it before, okay? 
I mean, you did shoot Ken. N nonetheless, what what are all the names that involved? I I don't that care. What are all the names involved, Charles? Uh, Josie, Charles, Rooney, and Dimitri. Ronnie, Ronnie Rivers. Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie, not Rooney, Ronnie. Also, Brick. Yeah, hey, we don't Bruce? know what happened to Brick, by the way. We don't, we don't really know what happened. To, I we, we don't know you, what happened here. Yeah, we don't claim him. We, we, we don't claim brought Brick. Brick up here. We, not <laughs> claim we Brick. just kind of got up to his feet and told him to stay in bed. He's kind of gone, and we don't He's know where he went. He's fidgety, uh, and that's okay. not us. Okay, we, we tried. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so I'm just letting you know. Like, we don't know where he went. There might be a, a, a wild Brick man running around outside. I'm just kidding. I'm letting you know also, that. He kind of he kind of left us up to dry. All right, so what, uh, okay. Are you single? Charles! Please, okay, please, okay? Charles! Yeah? I've already talked it over with one deputy, I'm gonna go talk it over with other deputies. And then I'll come over and confirm oh, if I'm gonna- deputy? Yeah, I am, but I like- well, Here's okay. the thing you should learn about leading. You have to listen to the folk around you, you gotta care about people <laughs> as well. I'm not a leader, I'm an attacker. Well, you're the one to handle negotiations, so it seems like you're leading. Think, it's okay, uh, I understand. Here is my friend, he's in equal. I thought I'd see it. Don't worry, we're all in agreement up here. Be back. We're in a ceasefire right now. I'd rather go back for supplies and you stay here to handle, make sure. Okay. Uh, how did you hear my plan from Tango? Tango, yeah. Okay. Are you all in agreement for that plan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Get my horse, I'll get Benny, get a crate of ammo. There's already one started right, there. Do we have Kennedy in town yet? No, Kennedy's over there still. Benny has two shots to the chest. Oh, who's more critical? Uh, Benny wasn't doing great. I don't know. All I right, take Benny, Benny. take Benny back to town. Take I'm going to send a tip to, to try to get medical. Get, get, a, get a lot of rifle rounds. Rifle? Okay. Yep. Um, right. get, get some spare handgun for me, too. Yep. And, and uh, some bandages. Bandages. All right. Um, okay. All right, Winters, uh, keep on this building. I'm going to go stall out time, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, Charles. Charles. Yeah. All right. This is... Uh... Uh, give me two seconds. Okay. How to find somebody. She just run off. God damn it. Oh, she didn't. He told you that you're grabbing charges too, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, do you have and all five of their names? Uh, what is it? Josie, Dimitri. Josie, Dimitri. CD, Josie, Ronnie. Dimitri, Ronnie, Brick, and Charles. So CD is Charles. All right. All right, CD. I got a deputy going to town for you. All right, okay, we can wait. All right. You know, you come down these stairs, you try to shoot me, you're never gonna get any negotiations or good faith from people. <sighs> Ruth, 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 Ruth. What am I supposed to do with you? What do you mean? I wanted to. I could have pushed right now, over an even. You got one left. You see, I'm willing to extend an olive branch and give you an act of good faith. Even after one of your own shot one of my deputies in negotiations. Okay. To be fair, that deputy should that never negotiate, okay? Okay, and whoever shot him should fucking use their head. And not open fire on a deputy in the middle oh, of negotiations. To be fair, he was like, yeah, they're all getting charged for that bullshit. Well, it, it, he said use two... Why are you supposed to de-escalate? Why are you trying to escalate? A absolutely, we're supposed to de-escalate. All right. O okay. And since we're you waiting, we got plenty of time. And you're a serious deputy. I'd like to make a complaint. You'd like to make a complaint. Who would you make like to make a complaint Thank against? For uh, escalating all the time. <laughs> all the time. Every Enemy single time I see him. Okay. All right. Yes. I hope this is taken seriously by the department. Okay. Do you have a specific person you would like to review this this complaint? Uh, Sheriff Cash, I like him a lot. I'll pass it forward to Sheriff Cash. Okay. Anything Sheriff else? This is desk, all right? Or else there'll be more lawmen that will die because of candy. 
Jesus Christ. All right. How long are you willing to wait? <laughs> I got all day. Perfect. Night That's time. what I like to hear. I'm a patient man as well. Good, good, good. I'm gonna, so, uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do a hard person? nap this time. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my first name's Jamie. Jamie Ruth. Okay. Do you have any hobbies? Uh, do I have any hobbies? Drinking. What is this? A fucking date? Drinking coffee and scotch. Oh, drinks coffee and liquor. Okay. What, what is wrong with you? What do you mean? You never had scotch in your coffee? It's good. No. Well, I, what what hobbies do I have? I mean, I like the river raft, I guess, very occasionally. Okay. Uh, you gonna be free next week? Uh, no, I'm not free next week. Why not? I, I, I've got to... Th there's so many people that want to spend time with me, it's overwhelming. He's sick that day. Mm. Well, you can free up your schedule for me unless you want bullet holes in your chest. Okay. Okay, so it's a date. I'll see I, you next week. I'm not going to go. You guys are going on a date? Uh, are you, are you trying to threaten me into a date? Yes, actually. Thank you for being a smart man. You're trying to threaten me into a date? It's not going to happen. Why not? I don't what date. This? I'm willing you don't to date? surrender. Nope. Why not? Why not? What's the point of dating? I'm willing to surrender can, right like, now if you're going to date with me right now. Be happy or something. There is no way you would surrender to go on a date. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Tommy. Charles, you're just going to kill me. Well, one of us will kill the other, okay? Only one of us will turn from that date. Is this a duel? Are you asking him to duel? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> All right. It could be a, a duel, duel date. Or it could be me smacking you with a fucking paddle instead of the canoe. What? I'm not gonna lie, that actually what? sounds kind of hot. Before I kiss you on the lips, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Jesus. mad. Oh, no, man. I'm half mad. Let it happen. Let it happen. Look, for the other two that is not Charles Divine, feel free to surrender so you don't have to listen to him no more. Oh no, this I, is I turning me on. What? Okay, this is worse. This is a, uh, I don't know the word, but I'm definitely not getting turned on by this. This is very strange, but I'm also Ugh. still not going to surrender. Okay, I'm gonna fair burn enough. My clothes after this. Okay, I for the like record, that's what I was trying to say. For the record, fair enough. I, well, for the record, whoever was asking why I don't date her marriage, okay, it ain't worth it. All right, it really ain't. What's the you fucking point? One, that's why, I think it's okay. worth it. Ruth. No, I think it, it, why, why, okay. One, okay, why be, why be attached to somebody like a, like a ball and chain when you could just have sex? Hey, that's what I'm saying. I like this one. See. Um, what? 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 Did you just say I'm there? You want to shoot it? Did you just say you want to shoot my dick off? Okay. No, I mean, I mean, this is the weirdest gunfight I've ever had. I no, 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 listen for just one second. Okay. Shooting somebody's right? dick off, that's one thing, but say you're going to shoot up his dick? <laughs> that's weird, man. Yeah, did you that's say you're going to shoot up my dick? The up or toward, depending on the height. What? <laughs> what? Well, I suppose it depends on how girthy you are as well. That is important. Okay. Please take over for two yeah, minutes while I try to fix yeah, this yeah, gun yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on, Ruth. You love hey, sex so everybody, value, everybody's okay. talking about escalating, right? Everybody's talking about escalating. Who escalated this? Who escalated that, right? Can we all just, you know, take a deep breath and just escalate it? Go. I'm on de escalate. Okay. I need to do this quickly. Hopefully, a full fucking hard nap. Hopefully that uh that fixes it entirely. I'm praying that this fixes it entirely. All right, loading back in.
Dude, if I had a wagon, I've always wanted to hop up on a wagon onto this building and see if it works. Oh my god. Please. But you, you said I did it, so you gotta, you gotta let me in here. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you guys. Oh! Yes! Well, I mean, if you don't want blanket charges, do you think it's fair to blanket charge me? Oh! What's your name, by the way? Uh, tango. Tango? Oh, Would you tango. like to tango with me? You want a tango? Hey, Tango. I'm sure you get that a lot. What? Are you single? Yes. Oh, very much so. for it. Trust me, okay? Spend oh, two days with this woman, and I want to jump off this goddamn fucking mansion. Man. You, know what what fuck? the, you know what this lady's nickname is? It's Tozy. Because she, likes to, it? suck she likes to suck toes. She likes to suck toes. You want her to suck your toes? Is that what no, I no, thank you. Actually, you telling me that she likes to suck toes is... Uh, I don't like her, to suck her, toes. Her nickname is Tozy. Because she loves to suck toes. It's true. Really? She's a serial toe fucker. Ugh. Hey, will you bring the law lady that you have standing at the tree at the back a cup of coffee? It's getting cold outside. I don't also, think she likes coffee. Also, whoever that is out there, commend her for her accuracy in shooting through this fucking window. Okay. Well, would you, would, would you like the... What would you like it to be called, Mr. Rivers? What would I like what to be called? The commendation. Um. Very good job shooting through that tiny window. You really fucking annoyed us. Signed, Ronnie Rivers. Is that Ronnie with an I or a Y? I, with an I. Make sure you put the, the side part. Would you also ask her if uh, my cat holding shot from this distance was any good? Thank you. What are you doing in that side room? Yeah, I saw you being sneaky sneak around in there. Sneaky sneak boy. Why are you sneaking, huh? Who's the sneaky sneaky? Who does snook into the room? I saw you. Why are you ignoring Char me? Is Charles room? being quiet? Uh, I'm back, I'm back. I just had a what dream about you. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Man, this, this shit gotta stop. This guy really's gotta stop. What? Okay, tell, talk to me. What's going on? Why? I fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not looking at come on the deputy ain't back yet Who did you send away? Bro was like two minutes away from here uh, Maybe <laughs> Maybe they did wrecked they their horse. Off? I don't know what to tell you. I Mean they could be back. I do you want me to go check? Don't I would like hope this that they came to you. I don't like this. I'll go check. Something smells fishy. I don't- I don't want you to say that after what you just said previously. Hey. How's it going in there? Uh, just making negotiations. Yeah, I just came up here to see if everyone was okay, but... If there's somebody watching from the hill, don't recognize him. How is Kennedy? How is Benny? Yeah, Who the- you there. don't recognize him? Mm-mm. -mm. Who the fuck so is they, uh, that? I got a rider having a drink to the to the northeast well, just but watching. <laughs> okay. I could go hey, check it out. Hey, who's that woman to the northeast? I got no clue. 
You want me to go see? She's waving at me. I don't know who the hell it is. I think it's just a, uh, I think it's just a random bystander. Well, you didn't give me a name. I don't know what her name is. No, I'm saying the, a name for the commendation. I told you, Ronnie Rivers. No. I mean, you gotta call it something, like the- the. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, Ruth, can one of you guys grab this body uh, and start case? The, the, the I'm not Ronnie grabbing that Rivers body. I will not shoot you. Sharpshooter I'll, I'll you that. award. The, what is it? The Ronnie Rivers Sharpshooter Award? Yeah. Ruth, come what up here, grab his body. I will not shoot you. I promise you that. I'm just gonna throw him down the stairs. Wait, uh, I'll just throw him down the staircase. Uh, wait, don't wait, shoot wait, one wait, of us. We're throwing his body down I'll the stairs, okay? I'm throwing this guy down the stairs. Okay. Do with him what you wish. Yeah, this guy uh, shot first. This is one of... Okay. It's a local guard. Yeah. Alright. Grab him. I'm, I'm not gonna grab him. Why are you so scared, okay? What, what's the point? Why? What's the point of me grabbing him? Because the man... Yeah. ...as a family. Okay. So does your two wounded up there. I used to have a family. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is she back yet? No. Fuck. You want me to run over and check on Kennedy? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. This fresh food that I have in this box is so delicious. Yum. What kind of fresh food do you have in that box that tastes delicious? Meat with oregano. Meat with oregano? Yeah. Wow. What kind of meat? Uh, venison. Yeah. Venison with oregano? Yep. Is there anything else? No. I got lazy while I was cooking it. Oh, okay. You like venison? Yeah, it's right. good. It's also very much in abundance in the crossing. There's a lot of deer everywhere. Yeah. It feels like they never go away. I like lamb a lot. <sighs> That's because you're a fucking sheep. That's why. O okay. You never oh. eat lamb. I'm a wolf. I'm actually. Okay, like wouldn't you eat lamb? lamb? <laughs> Bert, Wolfie, it's just... You're such an idiot. <laughs> I don't Did eat you just say that you don't eat lamb, but you're a wolf? Yes, lamb. that's what he said. <laughs> okay, I'm just not gonna comment on that. Wait, what is he saying? Right, but I'm a different kind of wolf. What do you mean you're a different kind of wolf? <laughs> well, who was then that that rode away? It was um, uh, Brooks. She uh, got uh, Kennedy out of here. Kramer's, Kramer's waiting uh, so he can help uh, Benny and him. And then she's coming back here. What, 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 what charges are they looking at? Uh, I, I don't know. Right. He just got there, took him and wrapped up. Hello? Howdy. Hello. Commendation sent. I'll go run it over. Thank you. I'm just gonna come down and fan the hammer. You're just gonna come down and fan the hammer, huh? You're gonna break your own word. What are you stalling for? Oh, they arrived. There was no crates, but I have a ton of stuff. What do you need? Uh, rifle ammo. What are their, what are their charges? They're getting impatient. Uh, look at... I... Just give me that, just that, just that. Just that, okay. just, I need, I can only carry three. Just three. Okay. Perfect. What are their charges? What are their times? Uh, here in the bushes. I grabbed the papers with me. Alright, we, she's got the papers. If you can sit tight up there. Hey, which one of you two were the sharpshooter on the tree? That the tree that was Benny. I, I don't think Zoe. the paperwork's done for the Kennedy situation. So, was it not the, was this what, what is the total um, time with the bank? 
in other I, situations. There was a couple of people behind that Probably would have been more. Uh, um, well, you're the one shooting through the window because you have uh, uncomfortably accurate with the 220? Oh, 220 right. total? Yeah. There's a robbery yeah, over right. 500, a participation in group I'm violence, participation in shootout, two. bank robbery, hostage taking. Did I hit somebody? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. Um, there is no... Ones, Are you fucking this kidding me? This situation is not included. Okay, and what about what about the false imprisonment of two deputies? That is not in here. Okay, so paperwork's not done. So those are two hundred each. What's your name? I think. Dimitri. Yo, Ruth, what do you got? Come on. Pass it along. That'll be a hundred and forty because it's seventy days each. Hundred and forty, plus this situation, plus two hundred and twenty. Be like 360 plus it'd probably be a, a little over 400. It's only 70 for false yeah. imprisonment of a piece. Trying to figure out an accurate charge, CD. Jesus Christ. Okay, all right. See, the, the, so here's the thing I don't want to give you an exact list of times when we're not factoring in this situation. You get what I'm saying? We'll factor in. Come on. That's what I'm guys. doing. So give it two minutes. Quit being impatient. Josie as well, so she can be a part of this discussion. <laughs> so what? Two, two, two false imprisonments. A shoot, uh, shooting while resisting. Oh, so the group violence shootout while resisting is 65 total. And There's another situation of just two, that. Yep, and then 140 plus fleeing and eluding. Well, they fled and eluded from us today too. Okay, it's not on the bank, so fleeing and looting should be added on the bank as well. We don't claim them. We don't claim bricks. So what, like roughly 400-ish, 500-ish? Yeah, yeah. Roughly. Yeah, what if we offered to take it to 399? He showed up, he jumped off a balcony, he got shot, and he ran. We want nothing out to do with that. If they surrender... Uh, that's keeping it under 400. Yeah. I think that's that's fair. There's multiple, so there's a thing, multiple people robbed full details to follow. Right now, they only have robbery over 500. So this could easily be a lot more. And then if we agree that it's under 400, we can make sure it stays that way. All right, let me see what he's willing to do. Okay, I gotta get off my horse. So, Charles, what was the time you were willing to surrender for? No, 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 tell me the time you now, okay? What are we looking at? You're looking <laughs> roughly, and keep in mind this is a rough estimate, I think it's a little over 500, roughly. For all of us? I, I, I'm giving you the broad. I, I don't know. It should be for everybody. Okay. The broad How or you just trying to sugarcoat it. I get 500 days. Just explain that part to me. Because I robbed a bank. Yep. And then I maybe held up one person being Miss Abigail James. And then you, you did a robbery. And then there's the false imprisonment situation. I did not what? brandish my weapon toward Kennedy and Benny at all. Okay, but that situation, the, the okay, and, and the, but you see where I'm coming from, right? I've got a deputy who was present. He's telling me it did happen. Brick did that. It wasn't me. I was there to talk to Kennedy. I had a brief conversation about Miss Abigail Jones, and I walked away. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey. I'm not talking to anybody but Charles. Charles is handling negotiations. I'm sick of you guys talking over each other. Say it again, Charles. Below 400 days, and you have yourself a deal. All right, let me talk it over my deputies. Deputies. Okay, uh, everybody good with that? He's looking yes. at over 500. I'm making sure everybody's good with it. So, how injured are the... Oh, it's Kennedy and... Benny's not Benny. looking good at all. Yeah, because if, if something goes wrong with him... If I he was really pale, had a lot of blood. Yeah. You know when I break that news to him, it ain't gonna be a surrender, right? I know. I know, but imagine if we tell them they come in for that, and then one of them gets The thing is... Yeah. There is one issue, Charles. One of the deputies that was shot isn't looking good. Boo-hoo, fella. Okay, well, if he dies, that's, that's a lot of time for you guys. Which one? So There's only two. I, once again, I said I'm speaking to Charles only. Well, so give us the the, the the 400 we agreed on, and then you, add, you can add more if he dies. Okay, but you do understand if he dies, it's going to be a lot more. 
That I'm, I'm aware of, okay? Okay, so you're telling me you're... Okay, let me talk for a second. You're telling me that if you surrender here today, under 400. However, if that deputy dies, you are going to take that charge fully. I will take that charge myself. It was me that fan the hammer on him, okay? I'll take you bet everybody myself. else is going to get accessory because they were present in the shootout. That's fine. Hey. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yep. Fair. 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 Dango. You agree with everything said so far? Yeah. All right. You got to sur you surrender, I'll keep it under 400. Unless he dies. All right. Sounds good. Let's go. Both of you go. Where's the other one that's injured up there? Oh, he ran away. He's the one ran. Ran. He's yeah, but but he got shot down. I know he got shot yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's what we're trying to That's what I'm trying to Okay, so all right, fair enough. All right, everybody down in the, down here with your hands up. So somebody I carry, carry Josie. Josie. I have no cuffs. I had to throw them away to bring more ammo. My right, hands up. Charles, hands up. Face away from me. Oh, I'm gonna let the uh, crack shot that is me. Uh, you me Damn, you cuffed me that fast? You goddamn right. Uh, oh, on Brooks' okay. horse. No, I don't like you that horse. I don't like you're you're not, not you, not you, not you, the wounded. I will you sp sure you spit, that, that, that whole deal goes. I like it tighter. You fucking spit, the entire deal's gone, yes, so please. choose wisely. Alright, somebody got cuffs for him? For Mr. Holy Rivers. How's that? Oh, yeah, that's, it. that's the spot. Thank you. You. Somebody have cuffs for Mr. Rivers that. once again. Oh, oh why yes. are you? Yep. Why, are you are you on cocaine yeah. there, sir? Okay. All right, let's go. This would be a good time to run away. Charles, you getting on this horse? Or is it too big for you? No, I don't like your horse. All right, hop on, yeah, Mr. Rivers. Give me your hand. You take my gun. Oh, he said take my gun, okay? Who is that woman that's watching us this whole time? I don't, kind of I don't know. I don't know. I want to know who she is. I tried to approach her once. Not did you? Did you know who she was? And she no. just came back. Yep. Yes, I appreciate you. Hey, ma'am. Next time there's a gunfight at Braithwaite Manor. Maybe fuck off. Don't watch it. Wait, we're not gonna find out who she is? Nope. Yeah. We're just gonna hit her with that one liner and leave? Yup. I don't give a shit who that is. They're a fucking dumbass. I'd like to reinforce the fact that I have never been caught without surrendering to law. Well, uh, it looks like we're making a habit out of it today. Silver. Silver? Oh, is that Luke? No, show off. What are you looking at? Do we have doctors in town? No, there's no doctors in duty. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have uh we're gonna have local doctor look at her then. Where's uh, where's Kramer? I don't want rifle ammo. Kramer, I want that shit. Yeah. And right. Kramer, I need help. Yeah. Help need? get these guys in cells. I'll tell you the deal I cut. How is okay. Benny looking? How how would come over here? How is Benny looking? Uh, Lucille's in there right now, st still trying to assess the damage. Last I checked. Okay. Kennedy's in there. You can go into right. the office the, and find the out. Deal, the deal I cut. Okay. Kennedy told me they're looking at 300 to 500 charges for today alone, easily. Uh, Probably every the, report I see is about them. Yeah, the the deal I cut was under 400 if they peacefully surrendered, but 
under the contingency, if uh, if any Dampities died that were shot, they take the full extent of those charges, and they all agreed. Okay. So, just making sure you agree with that. Well, look, I'm I'm not about to make you a oh lord, more bills. I'm not about to make you go back on your word. We can make that work. I, yeah, I, I, I figured. Look, it, it was pushing Braithway stairs with three of them up there. That and is there's a only four of us. Word. So, okay. Uh, plus, uh, one of the situations they're very much trying to contest, and it, it was—it's the one adding 200 days. So, here's a suggestion. Yeah. Um, next time that you're in a position where you have to make a numbers deal, mm -hmm. something that I found to be useful: percentages. Yeah, true. Uh, they, so, it was one of those things where we don't have the exact time. We have a rough estimate, so I didn't want to give a percentage. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, that, that's fair. But we calculated and it was roughly like, I think it was roughly 500 days. So between time served and giving days off for a peaceful surrender, you know what I mean? I think you made the right call. I I, I just don't want more deputies fucking dying, and they agreed that they'll take second degree and accessory to second degree. All for all the people that didn't shoot him, because I know exactly who shot Benny, if he dies. Okay. And he's looking decent. We got no updates. Uh, I I just haven't walked in in the last five minutes. When I was in there five minutes ago, Lucy was still trying to assess the damage. He was right. breathing, but raspy like. His pulse was weak. She was worried about how long he had been lying there. 255. Yeah, I mean, it looks like all of them will line up if Josie and the Ronnie Rivers. Oh, fuck. Ronnie had another charge. God damn it. 170. So, um, when you made that deal, the yeah. deal was for today's charges? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think Rivers will be more understanding. I think Rivers, out of all of them, will be understanding if he realizes okay. he had shit. Dimitri's barely got anything. Uh oh. Quickly. Oh fuck. What's happening? Kennedy. Get inside. All right. Uh, so I've got the bullets out. Um, but his breathing has stopped and his heart's also stopped. So I gotta try to get that started again, but I need I need help controlling this bleed. Okay. Okay, just tell me what to do. The the lung is draining on its own. I'm gonna check and see that it's drained and I wanna get that closed up. I'm gonna inject some adrenaline where you just hold pressure. Hold pressure where? On his chest. Okay. He's got two open wounds. And what do you want me to do? Um, will you look at the second wound and see if there's any arterial damage or muscle damage there? Is three, is three hands enough in here? I gotta go yes, update people. His, his fucking heart stopped. I did everything I could before I got people here. Fuck. Okay. Where where's their injured? Uh she's already in the cell. Okay. You said pretty much all of them were just facing today's charges. Uh, I don't know about Ronnie. I didn't even check his. God damn it. But there's a bunch. There nothing was written up from whatever happened earlier. Okay. Uh, Ronnie was him. shooting at Cameron's horse. Uh. Wouldn't you like? Pruitt would be uh would have a lot more information. Okay. Adding fleeing the looting to their banks. If you're talking about charges, you might want to uh, quiet it down. Alright, um... I'm gonna add... I'm gonna add... Okay. The rip, come here, because he's contesting something. Can you work on the paperwork for this shootout, though? Brooks? Yeah. Alright. Contesting one. He's contesting a false imprisonment. That all of them are. So one. Th so there, there was there. Were, basically, they apparently held up Kenny, Kennedy, and uh, Benny in town, 
That's what Kennedy told me. And they are dead set on they did not do it. Apparently, they're trying to say Brick, one of the people, held a gun, and nobody else wanted to hold them up at all. They're trying to contest those charges. Those are the biggest charges they're trying to contest, and they're the biggest, they're the biggest amount of time happening. I said I'd look it over and talk with them, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go with whatever Kennedy wants since he was fucking there. You know what I mean? But they, Kennedy's trying yeah. to hit him with two brand, uh, two fucking, uh, can't think. False imprisonments of a, uh, two false imprisonments of a deputy for that situation. Yeah, I mean... Kennedy also told me they were looking at, like, 300 to 500. I didn't want to take the fight pushing up the stairs with only fucking four deputies and three of them up top. So, they said they'll ac accept any charges if, if Benny if Benny or Kennedy don't pull through the, the full extent of those charges. Um, and I'm going to try to keep it under 400 for them, for a peaceful fucking surrender. Because it should be only a little over 400 to 500 for all their charges. Just from this active situation? Uh, from, from today in the past, yeah. Because I had Brooks go back to town while there was a ceasefire and check their charges, and she said they were looking at at full done paperwork around around like 220 days. And then we were thinking about the group violence and shootout while resisting would be like 60. And then the two the two false imprisonment, if they if they, they do that, it would be 140, so it would come to a roughly 400-ish days. I'm telling you now, 235 days for uh, CD just on the his bank. robbery last night, the bank. Yep. And a shootout that he had with law. Yep. So anything else in this active situation? And so he's going to have way more than 400 days. I don't think he will, actually. He's going to have... Uh, so he's going to have 220 from, from those days, and he's going to have... the group violence and resisting while shooting. And then he's going to have... Uh, and then he's going to have the two hostage taking... Not hostage taking. The two... Uh, the two... Um, false imprisonment. It'll be a little over 400, I think. Yeah. But for a peaceful surrender and time served, I, I'll come under 400, I think. I'm trying to get her to finish the paperwork so I can have it more in front of me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm gonna leave this up to you and Kennedy. Because, okay. uh, and I quote, uh, I don't want a deputy to be charging me because he may be spiteful and how dare I have consequences for my actions. Yeah, yeah. Look, at the end of the day... He came up to me in Rabbit in Strawberry asking to talk to my superior and the boatload of shit that was coming out of his mouth. Yeah. I, 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 I've said it to you. I said it to you with the thorn thing, or, uh, even last night. I was the only deputy on duty last night when I took a statement and put it in a report. Okay. I cut it straight down the middle, middle, and he was crying about having a assault on a witness. Okay. I, I mean, at the end of the day, there was no way we were gonna breach successfully without somebody else getting fucking hurt, and it was in a it was in fucking Braithwaite rip. So I'm gonna try to work with him best I can for the fucking surrender. As I said, I'll leave that to you and Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy's inside. Benny's uh, Benny's heart stopped, and that that's what I'm waiting to get a fucking update on. Because they said if anybody dies from that shootout, they'll take the full brunt of those charges. And I don't want more fucking loss of life. It's all reason I didn't want to fucking push. Well, that doesn't come onto your hands. That's uh, that falls on them. Yeah, I know. Let me go talk to Brooks. I'm gonna start sorting the paperwork and get an update. Someone, Kramer. How's Benny? He's he's all right. Okay. All right, he's breathing. His heart's God. beating. All right. Ken Kennedy gave him out the mouth. Everything's fine. Okay. All right. Did you finish the paperwork? I'm writing it up now. I don't know what happened with the Kennedy situation. What the shit? Kennedy? Oh, you just gave Benny mouth to mouth. Get in the corner. <laughs> I am not involved in Go. this! Over there, now! If you guys don't fucking stop... What, what the fuck are you two doing? I need a different people. cell. I cannot be in a cell with this woman to my left. How about... You get 
one corner and she is in the other. And we call it a day. I know, it's a good idea. Ah. I was He's in fine. my fucking corner. I was He's in my fine. corner. I know. I fell in his. She started it. I just was trying to finish it. That's all. Uh -huh. I have sorted it out. Did you finish it? Back to you if you, if you guys it? keep fucking fighting each other, fucking stop. Just shut the fuck up. Stop fucking arguing and stop fucking hitting each other. I already sorted it. Go back to your paperwork. Mm. Ruth, can we first Yeah, sorry for a second. If, uh... You seriously yeah. need if to we need to... Uh, yeah, why, why are you being a little if we need to break him up, yeah. Yeah. I can't come out the door. Sorry. If we need to break him up, we can start cuffing people to the bed. We could cuff people to this chair. We could quite literally, we can spread it, it them out. It seems like they fucking stomp, but worse comes to worse, just start fucking cuffing them in different places. Um, okay. I just threatened to tie him up and leave him there. It's exactly what we would do. Is that or cuff Rick him getting the shootout charged? And he just, I didn't fully hear that part when I came back. I, Rick, the one that fell down the stairs or something. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. He was okay. not there, so. So was... not charging him with the shootout. Josie, can I, can I, uh, I mean, he was involved, but he was not there when we went to collect him. Oh, okay. Kennedy. Yeah. How's it? Set us on. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. He's all right. He's, he's breathing. They got him all sutured up. Local nurses are gonna take care of him. Kennedy, was there something false imprisonment? Can you write up whatever that is? Yeah, I already mind. have it written up. I just didn't add charges. Okay. okay. Kennedy, Brooks, come over here. We're going to figure out the paperwork, and then we're going to finalize the times. All right. With the longer you got me here, the more angry I get. Okay. Okay. Uh, What, what exactly the... happened in that situation? The false imprisonment shit? Uh, they rode up on us. Adamant. Guns out. They are pointed adamant. guns at us. That, that it was not false imprisonment. Okay. That, so what would you call them point, sur surrounding us and pointing guns at us? Charles's claim is that he did not point a gun at you. Maybe he didn't, but there's at least three of them that were in his group, and he was doing the talking, so... Fair enough. He's going to collect that charge, too. Okay. And, did he, and he held up both of you? Yep. Okay. You want to hit, what, what, two false imprisonments? I want to give them everything I can. Fuck them. Okay. Well, they peacefully surrendered in the fucking end. All right. That's the charge, their biggest contest. Are you willing to come down from two false imprisonments to one? For the both of you? I'm okay. Right. I'm asking Kennedy, because at the end of the day, if you don't want to, I won't. But I'm asking you. I mean, I, I don't think this kid gets any... Especially with fucking shooting I'm, I mean, me down I'm, I'm talking. Fuck that, no. I, I'm, I, they fucking surrendered in the end. Yeah, after they, they shot only had 225 two fucking days. That that is what we were fighting Braithwaite for. 225 that, fucking days. That, that was before the charges, though, right? That that was so before the charges. charges would be sure, absolutely. But, but that shit was not worth it. And they peacefully surrendered. So I'm gonna try to work with them here. That shit was not worth it. But that we didn't push it there. They pulled the trigger. That, sure, they absolutely did. But I'm trying to figure out the brandishing charges so I can go trying to figure out the exact fucking times they're getting. What branching charges? Whatever it is, the fucking uh, false imprisonment. So, so they all held guns to you and Benny. Yeah, they they held guns on us. Okay. Do you and like I said, do you want to do two or do you want to do one? I want to do two. Okay. Hey, um, they all say you know the brick he left up there, right? But he, uh, he, he might still be down there at the manor somewhere. He, uh, I don't know uh, what happened with him. I'm going to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but he's, but he's heard. Uh, I was thinking about you know, just swinging by there, see if he's there, and if he's not right there. Right by just, Rip. Uh, just explain Rip the situation, and then maybe be you, Rip, and Kramer could go. Okay, okay. Rip, one of them, I think, fell asleep after getting shot over there, and they they were adamant he's not there anymore. And we, we checked. We didn't see him. Uh, he was on, down at the bottom of the fucking staircase. Yeah, they, they uh, Tango, took him up to one of the bedrooms. Tango wants to make sure that, that maybe he didn't wake back up or anything like that. Or if he's uh, incapacitated, let's... Rub, yeah, take, he is incapacitated. We, we ta I'll take up. Tango and we'll go check. All right. Valentine, do you want to go with them? Uh, where are they headed? Braithwaite. All right. Okay, uh, what's the name of the fifth one? I got Brick Bagwell. Is that the right Brick? Brick Bagwell? Uh, I think so. I, I think so, but I'm not sure. Okay. 
Uh, Ronnie Rivers, Josephine Adders, Charlie, uh, Charles Dewan. Dimitri, Dimitri, okay. Uh, I, I, I want to do halftime on the second brandish, uh, false imprisonment, though, if we're going to do two. Because at the end of the day, it's max charges. It's max time. And if they're getting hit with two of them for that situation, let's do half time on the second one. All right. So we'll do 70 days for the first one, 35 days for the second one. All right. That's in. Are they still mouthing off in there? Kramer's got it. All right. <sighs> the robberies, I guess they robbed a bunch of people, but there's nothing on the tip line that Rip told me to look at that's detailed enough to charge anybody. Um, so I'm just going to look at the reports that are already in it 35. and add the charges because I don't think they're added. What about the two, what was a stone, something stone that might have been robbed? Plus Lank, uh, Litchfield. And it says, maybe? but it doesn't even say who robbed them. And it says there was two groups robbing people that night. So there's no way we can say it was them. I should ask Ronnie. It sounds like Ronnie who did it. Well, all these reports are from, um, All right, give me a second. I'm doing math. I'm doing the math. Okay. Give me a second. Look, if, if we don't have the robbery, if there's no paperwork on the fucking robbery charges, then they can be wanted when they come out. Yeah, um, there's three re different witnesses that got robbed separately, so I'm just going to add it three times, that they robbery under 500 three times. Because they robbed them separately, but it was all in one report. Uh, did the person that did the paperwork leave it as one charge? I It was Rip, and I just asked him. Okay. And he said everything still needed to be gone through. It's a work in progress report. Take firearms, gunshots. Yeah, that's a robbery under, took a notebook. Honey Rivers. Honey Rivers. Forty two sixty five. Four sixty five. Alright, well, Ronnie Rivers is not getting under four hundred then. So I'm gonna go speak to them. Okay. We we brought them in what, twenty five minutes ago? Yep. Alright. Oh my bad. Yeah. Uh I'll go have a conversation. Can you figure out all the paperwork with her? Because she needs help uh, with other charges probably. I'm coming in to talk. Yeah. yeah. Ronnie never said that. Oh, there you are, pretty boy. Hello. He didn't say that. I was holding my breath. No, I didn't. What, did I, what did I say? Charles. You got a lot Miss... of freckles. Yeah. I did. Your name sounds like cow utter, so I don't what. Hello. My name sounds like what? Utter. Uh, butter. What, butter. Butter. We're figuring out all your all your charges. How do you? So, how do you so work what that are you contesting out? about the the false Im, the false imprisonment charges? You guys still keep it down. Voice down, please. Can you guys all please be quiet for the love of fucking god? Can we just We're speak with inside voices, moment. please? There's about five conversations going out. What, what, right what, now, are, you, what, what are you contesting okay. about the false imprisonments? Sure I didn't right? do shit. I had my gun out. Looking for Mr. Okay. Abigail Jones. I never aimed it. I never intended well, on And what you, about your other people, though? Could you like? That was Brick. Like, it was tongue. only Brick because I was... Absolutely. Okay, well, Ken, what Kennedy's saying is three of you pointed guns at him. I'm not taking that charge. You are taking that charge. I pulled out my gun. I Ruth, I'm not taking the charge. You, you are. I, I can bring Kennedy in, and you can bring discuss it with him. Bring him in. Okay. Because at this point, what? might as well just gun down lawman. You're looking at bullshit. Please, can somebody please tell me my charges? Kennedy. Kennedy, can you go explain to him why he's getting the false imprisonment charges? Yep. Hey, I'm trying to, and he won't have it. What's the total time? Still working on that because that's work in progress report. As I was saying to Kennedy, that I really don't want to be doing. I think, based on the witness testimonies that are in here, they robbed two different people separately. They were robbing one, they got distracted, went and robbed another. Okay, were both over 500 or were one under? Both of them were under. Okay, is that no why one, one has under. over 500? Or I... Was no. it combined into... No, neither of them have 
it's all under. It might okay. have been a se separate robbery that they got that. Okay. See, that alone is already 40. 170. 170. 305, 355. It's done as best I can based on what's there. 350, 555. The report's still a work in progress, but it is what it is. All right. What, so what are the total charges? And do we have all of them ID'd there, or is it only a few? It's just a CD and Josie and an unknown. Okay. Oh, I'm never giving a fucking surrender again. It's a bunch of principles. Explain to me the principles first. About getting it right or wrong, and he clearly getting What's me hit principle? with a blanket charge when I had nothing to do with it. Okay. So you actually, you know, there's supposed to be a criminal threat charge in there too. Good. Add it. I'm add it. Add more. The, the more he adds charges, the harder it's going to be. You do understand well, that, job right? To convince him, okay. Uh, no. It is, actually. We had a deal. It, so yes, we'll we, yes, we did have a deal. And I'm trying to figure right, out so all the station. fucking charges. All right. I'm still waiting. Yeah, yeah I know. What I know are you, you are. What are you looking at so far, then? Uh, you're looking at... I think one of you is looking at, like, 450. All right. I'm not thinking 450. It was it was 400. It's not remember? any of you. It's probably fucking me. Yeah, Nobody Rivers, told me anything yet. Rivers, you're looking at a little bit more than everybody else. Fuck me sideways. <laughs> yes, you are. You're looking at a little bit more. I think you're looking at the most time, Rivers. Fucking do it. How? Because he's hey. you, do, you do he's realize that you shit. people all live separate lives and do oh, separate I things, Josie? Yeah. I told you. He's been doing I shit all day long before he I met up with you all. Ruth, go back busy. in the deal with the consequences. Now, I'm trying best I can. If you want to make a threat at me one more time, I will literally oh, cut the deal in half and I will give you all full That's fucking time. We, we're changing the options that we okay. have. Okay. 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 So you make, make one more swinging? threat, Charles, and watch what happens. I'm not making a threat. No, don't, a please. By, by all, okay. Yeah. You want to do that? You want to do it again? I will go back on my fucking word. You want to do it again? Uh, is there any Hey, there will be blood on your hand, not mine. Charles, he's the one person in this room that's working I'm the, for this, you literally right now. the single person trying to get hey, this Ripley, deal. Would you be able to help out? Both? Yeah, I'd be very Test no me and watch it get pulled. None of these other deputies or anybody would like us to go forward with that deal. He's the only one. So just keep that in mind while you're mouthing off to him like this. I'm not mouthing off. You absolutely are. Like I said, CD, test me and every single person gets over 400 fucking days. Test me. Shoot at me. What was that? Every single one of us is That's what I fucking thought. No, it's probably just me. So the Please issue, the, the, here, okay? the issue is there were reports that were not finished. So I'm trying to figure out all the charges and I'm trying to recalculate them. Ah, Kennedy, okay. did you speak about the, the two false imprisonments? Yep. Oh, that is such bullshit, man. I should have just gunned you down. What the hell is the Wait. point? Wait, what was Wait, it? Two yeah, why counts? is it? Why is it two counts? But Benny and Kennedy. That's where we're yep. getting. That's where we're getting. Like, I, I suggest. Do we, do we I suggest. Yeah, no, I don't. Does, I suggested does, one. It does stack. It does stack. I, two of them. It does stack. Why are you? Wait, why are we? Why are we listening to Ronnie Rivers? I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not, not sure if it's. I, I'm not. I, I'm not listening uh, to him. I, I was just saying. I was suggesting one for both deputies since they held uh, him up and one. One was halved, so it's a total. I halved one, but my suggestion was one for all for both of them. That was he's my suggestion. worried about the principal. Let's just do that, right? It's gonna Why take do we care about? what he's worried about? No, this fucking guy is going it's around not... pointing yeah, guns at us in the middle of town. He's talking his trash in there, and it's having an effect on you because he's talking trash in his cell right now. No, it's not that I necessarily okay. care, but I'm thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow, too. All right, I'm pulling the deal from all of you because you won't fucking sit still, and you keep fucking fighting. Now, now you're not getting any fucking deal. Yeah, pull the deals. Okay, hey, that's fine. That's, fine. that's what you get. I already warned you all. Every single These one of you. People deserve no yeah, leniency right, pull, at all. All right. Well, I'm just playing right. devil's advocate. Right, that is did. up to y'all. Right. I'm willing to support whatever you guys want. I will make it my mission to make your life right. a little better. Can I? Hell. So the times they're looking at: Ronnie Rivers, right. 560; Josie, 610; CD, 440; Dimitri, 340. How's Josie That's looking at 610? She had a couple things. Also, Dimitri is wanted for questioning for a couple things. Oh. 
With what that, he we did make the deal that it was under 400. Based off, but we don't have fucking reports that are finished, so that kind of fucked us there. Yeah. And the, the fact that nobody one... is doing fucking paperwork. Ronnie, these lawmen... The only ones that it's gonna really be a big deal would be Josie and Ronnie are gonna get a lot off. How is Josie getting more? I'm looking at her charges right now. She's two, 205. Lawmen can't keep a deal. Are you looking at all of them with her, all of her open cases? Uh, yes, I'm looking at the jail admission form. Okay. 205. Oh, this is good. Don't worry, this is good. 305. 375. 375. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Zoe, 425. Next gun, you can play 495. Brooks, like were any of the charges you were... Yeah. Were any of the charges you were calculating... Yeah, she was like 560, I think. No, hers okay. wasn't. 50, Who's... 70, 65, opinion, 170, 105, 100. Who's looking at 610? That one? That, that might be Ronnie. I could have added wrong too, because everybody was. Look, I personally think the, the they will all shut the fuck up if we drop one count of false imprisonment and it's not worth the fucking headache. I I, I already warned them to, to cooperate in the fucking cells or I'm pulling the deal, so they didn't want to fucking do it. So what, um, what is this false imprisonment? I don't understand why so much animosity. It's not even that big of a charge. It, it really isn't. Thirty-five days they would take off. Wow, thirty-five days doesn't do shit yeah, for do any of them. You, you see, and that, that, that's my fucking... Josie's no, no, the 560. I'm just being sarcastic because it's annoying me. Yeah, Josie's the 560. CD is going to be under 400 in the total, right? is the what it is right now. Yep. And then what about... Um, what about... Ronnie's the 610, Sorry, I believe. Yeah, okay. And somebody needs to question Dimitri. Okay. Does somebody want to cuff... Can somebody cuff Dimitri and go question him regarding these things? Does anyone is have there, any knowledge is there, about yeah, this? Is there any, uh, yeah, any questions? I should probably not be the one questioning him. It sounds like you're okay. going back to prison. Shut is there up, even shut any up. questions? We'll walk back to I don't know if there's questions. It's a report. I did, just saw he's wanted for questioning. Let me take a look and see. Okay. I might have some knowledge. Exactly. That is the right Dimitri, right? That was the only Dimitri in this system uh, that I could find. I think so. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Someone want to ask his yeah. last name. Yeah, he said it already. Yeah, that was his full call. Okay. okay. All right. Hold Based on up. other reports of people he's been arrested with, it looks right. What reports should I look at? There's a Two, lot. Two, seven, six, nine. Thank you. Wait, that's the one he has other wanted for questionings for? That's the one from today. Is that from today? Okay. No, it's not. That's from the 22nd. Which is what, Stump? Which is... I yeah, see okay. Let's right. see. Okay, so Ronnie also has 560. Okay. okay, so Ronnie and Josie with 560, and then everybody else is like around 400 or less? Yeah. Okay, right, I'll go get this out of him. Is uh, there I, any I, other wanted for questioning charges? I, I, I don't That's think it. so, but I'm going to talk okay. to Ronnie and Josie separately from uh, the other two. It looks like better than you guys. Hey, Dimitri. Yes. Okay, uh, Josie and Ronnie, can I, can I, you guys both come over to the bar? Just have you come over here. Stumped, you, you got cuffs. Yeah, I have cuffs. Can you cuff the both of them that come over? I can only cuff one. Right. Valentine, do you have I, a... I have cuffs, All right, yeah. perfect. Can you both come over here and put your hands up? And... I'm going to cuff you. Mm. I want to have a word with the both of you. All right, put your hands up, uh, Ronnie. Oh, okay. All right, you come out. Where am I going? Am I coming out? Dimitri, yes. we're coming yes, over Ronnie, to this come out. He's locked me in. Okay, I'm gonna unlock you. Perfectly needs to not do that. I don't like your Alright, Josie and Ronnie, come over here. So, even, uh, if you guys can both sit tight. R Ronnie, can you just come over yeah. here and sit tight? I'm trying to. Okay. Without like so, being like oddly in your face. So so here here is the here's the issue here's the dilemma I'm facing. Uh, mm -hmm. There were reports on use two that weren't finished. The deputies did not finish. So you guys are looking at a little bit more than everybody else. Everybody else I can keep under four hundred. Okay, that's fine uh, with me. Can you tell me what my total is? Like your total, every... both your both both of your totals is five sixty, between time served. And uh, time served in the reduction for the peaceful surrender, I the best I could probably do is 450 for the both of you. Anything right, you have fine. on me right now, just mark it as... 
I don't know, solved. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll Okay, I'll eat it. I I my patience is extremely thin, and That's I'm the what only I'm, I'm Just... the only person here that is trying to fight to actually uphold the deal I made. But unfortunately, there was paperwork that wasn't finished. So you two are the only one that's going to be looking a little bit more than four hundred. And that's what I'm saying. Any paperwork you have pending, if you need to charge me, charge me. Okay, make it easy. Right. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. I'll, and I'll Brooks, it. that that time for CDs confirmed. What was it at? 440. All right. Both using the sales come on. I'm sure you don't want to go back into the box, do you? Charles, I want to have a word with you. Great. I'm really thirsty, no. by the way. I'll get you water. Don't come out. You come out. I, it, I'm literally trying to get you this fucking deal, and everybody else isn't, motherfucker. Can you try listening for once in your life? I'm not even out. You are I'm... so fucking dumb. You... We are shit. all out. inside. Come what here. Are you on about? Over here, Jesus Charles. Christ. Get those two out of cuffs. You, so I talked it over with them and they're uh, already okay with it. Bars, so I'm trying to talk to you about Away it. From the, the issue that happened, and I'm trying to explain it to you, is there are deputies you that didn't mom? finish the paperwork for the others two I mean, for previous want, charges from what I understand. Those two are looking at close to 600 days. Around, I've already turn given around. them the best offer I can make to them and they Take both them accepted. You will be under 400 days. Thank you. All right. So I'm trying to say, even after you guys weren't listening to my fucking warnings about n if you fuck around in here, I'm pulling the deal, you will still be under 400 days. I don't want bloodshed, and I intend on keeping the word, but the issue is other deputies, there was, there was charges that were pending yeah, for the other two. Yeah, because you got Kennedy thinking with his fucking heart and emotions, not his fucking brain, that's why. Oh, oh. geez, excuse me, you're gonna let Dimitri back yeah, in? Yeah, let him back in. Go ahead, Dimitri. Did you figure anything out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, Charles, you're going to be looking at under 400. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm upholding that deal. The other two already accepted the... They're going to get a little over 400 because of the extra charges. And they've already accepted it. Accepted, they're their own person. Okay, so I'm still upholding the deal. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? Thank you, I appreciate that. Just for the love of God, when I'm the only deputy here trying to fight for you, this fucking deal, um, do not sit there and I'll fucking like test me. Do you understand? You Where's the fun in that? that way you can well, the fun in that is over 500 work. days, so. Sure. Okay. But I'll, uh, I'll take those back. What did I say first? What, what, so what's the situation with Dimitri? Oh yeah, he did it, he was there. Oh God, so what's his total? That only brings to? him to 390. All right. Okay, good, okay. good, good. I told him, God. All right, I, I spoke to the other two, the, the, the two that were 560, they're okay with 450 for time. It's over 400. They're between time served and a peaceful okay. surrender. You get what I'm saying? I, I think that's fair enough to uphold my fucking deal. Yeah, whatever whatever you think. They're fine by me. I'm just, I like getting everybody's opinions. Well, right. If I make a deal, I'd like, yeah, I'd like to keep it. But as long yeah. as they're happy that that's part of the deal. That's what I talked to them about. I, I talked to them that there was pending charges that weren't complete. And when they got complete, they got close to 600 days. So the best I can do is 450. They agreed and they were very receptive and understood very much. The only and one that, that is, that yeah, the only one that is even slightly being combative Charles. is Charles. And I talked to him separately from the other two and explained that he'll still slightly. have under 400. He'll still have under 400 because I think he's only coming to 440 and that Dimitri, unless, and we like we already said, will have under 400. So he was completely content with that. Okay, I'm going to go get the wagon. Okay. Sounds like we're ready to move. All right, yeah. perfect. I'm gonna sit on the back to finish the report all right although with them yelling i'm sure it'll you're be not adding like 10 more charges on them Kenneth, no right? i'm making a joke mm, if, if i if, I could if think they threaten if no. they threaten you by all means i want you to warn them that if they threaten you on that fucking ride it could fuck up the 400 thing yeah, so I said that. Oh, you let them, them know that. And, and I warn them now. Yep. I warn really, them now. I, so if they do that, I'm going to hit them with it. Yeah, I said to them that the deal ended when they came in. If they want to do things in the cell wall afterwards, and they get a And, that, and that's the other thing I told them, Zoe, because I, like to, I don't like to go back on my word. But I told them in those cells, if they keep fucking fighting, I'm pulling a deal. And that's what I was going to pull the deal over because they would not stop fighting each other. I told them to knock it off. All right, go get a wagon ready. Uh, who wants to come to Siska? He, Kramer Kramer's already get one. All right. Who's all coming to Siska? I'll come to write paperwork. All right, me, Brooks, Kramer, Kennedy, you're coming? Sure. Just All make right. sure you warn them. Tango and Zoe, you want to be the other two, or do you used to, any of you two want to stay here? Yeah, I'll come along. Tango. Yeah, honestly, I was uh, I was uh, looking to go to sleep very soon. All right, that's okay, fine. I'm just going to go warn them. About yep, go ahead. Being idiots Valentine or Stump, one of you two want to come, or do you want to stay here? 
Uh, I'll go with you, sir. All right, perfect. Yes, Gather around, because I just got some things for Who's this? We go. Sure, sure. I love you, right. too. Ronnie. Okay, we're ready to move. Yep, Ronnie. she's sure, giving sure. them a final so warning, and then we can recuff everything. all of them, okay. and then we can I'm get nothing. them loaded up. I we will update that paperwork more so later. Yep. Just change the title from Unknown Man uh, to Dimitri. I have such a fucking headache from this whole clusterfuck. I don't blame you. He's in the back hey, corner. He didn't even confess. All I did was ask right him there. why he did it. What? All right, guys, they're coming me. out. If you want right, to get them All right, can we get them loaded up? If you spit on them, that's gonna fuck your Thank time. You You've already been warned. I can't spit on the floor. Yeah, I already know what you're trying. Don't fucking play coy. Can I spit on the floor, okay? No. On the ground. Why not? Kramer. Just get on the fucking wagon. Stop being difficult. I like the freckles. Get on the damn wagon. <laughs> this motherfucker. All right, who's I'm taking the rain? Kramer, you want to take right rings? Yeah, I don't mind. All right, I'll go up sh up top with you. Brooks will be in the back. Uh, Valentine, Kennedy, and like Winters uh, follow on horseback. You uh, you want to take the cadet with you? Because he's irritating me. It's uneven. Say that again. No. Uh, you want to take the cadet with Somebody you? I told you. Hold on, hold on. Don't move. Don't move. I'm just gonna move past. The I think. Uh, yeah, I think. If you I don't, don't take the cadet with you, she's okay, gonna be like left her. here alone. Yeah, let the, the cadet like can come. I don't like you. Glad to hear it. My lord. Did you want me to still come, sir? Yes. Follow on horseback. Right. Scooch over, because I still want to stare into his soul. Oh damn it. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Are you just, fucking uh, kidding me? And, uh, Thank jump you. In on the way from there. Can you just? All right, down? no more musical like chairs, please. George. Can I get a new seat? CD. Wait, who's this? Oh, who's this? Damn it. Be nice. Who are you? Okay. Who is she? What's your name? Ori. Ori? Ori? It looks like it's starting. Wait, what do you mean one day? Uh, 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 Hey, listen, listen, Glad I It's so not good. get caught so by Kennedy weird. when it comes Cadets. to anything in Mall World, okay? Trust me on this, all right? That guy Are with the blue shirt back there with the black horse, stay away from him. <laughs> CD, nobody likes your opinion. Oh! <laughs> I mean, she, she's really Rider. not wrong, to be fair. Yeah, well, nobody likes you guys, okay? But I don't say out loud. <laughs> well, you just oh, did. <laughs> They brought me lighters all the time, actually. Also, you literally claimed you had a wet dream about me in that shootout. I I oh, don't know what that the was fuck. A joke. <laughs> that was I was actually, trying to lighten the mood. No, he's not real. You also <laughs> you also about that. you also threatened not to shoot off my dick, to shoot up my dick. Oh. Oh my god. I was aiming for the tip. <laughs> it's just an intense shootout, but oh. I did. This is it. In which I believe Dimitri commented that that made him um, hot and bothered. I was half missed. You... I am feeling hot right now. So, uh, is it too late down? To call my Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mr. Tango offered an orgy with us, so why is nobody holding him accountable? <laughs> it's pretty unprofessional, if you ask me. I, d I don't think he did. I would I, like to file I heard a it. sexual harassment against Mr. Tango. Uh, Ruth, sir, should I write that down? If you should, absolutely. Yeah, talk to the sheriff, talk to the sheriff. Also, uh, Ruth, don't forget about my complaint. Kennedy, yeah, okay. Yes, I will make sure Cash sure gets your sheriff. complaint. Yeah, Kennedy, they, uh, Charles Devine has lodged a complaint against you. I let him know. Right. Let him know. Good deal. Sometimes bullets are not enough. Words are. That is so deep and very. Uh, I'm gonna think about that one. Thank you. And sticks and stones will break my bones. Shut up. But words will never hurt me. Man, it's a damn true, shame Kennedy? your last name is Divine. Holy shit. Why do you say that? You? Well, because you're the furthest thing from divinity. You know, with being a god and all. The shit and you say is fucking man? insane. It's the opinion of God, and I can agree with it. You're just a man like me. Not from the same cloth. Okay. okay. So, who are you telling me who's old and who's not? Wait, now I'm confused. 
Yeah, what's wrong with having wet dreams? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? Why uh, do you tell how did we go about? from God to wet dreams? I don't know. Dreams. I don't know. I don't know. Are you shaming people? Okay, That's hold on. Wait, what are we talking about? It's 1901. Why are we shaming people oh, about wet dreams? I mean, weren't you the one that was like, aren't you the one that fucks toes? Yes, she's fucking toes. Don't fuck toes. She is. She fucks toes. It's no, true. That it's is true. Rumors. You, literally oh, everybody no. on your it's side said so. Fuck toes. She's been asking if everybody's single. Is that why? Is she like they sizing up their feet? Toes. No. Yes. She has no. a serious face. Oh, I, I think they said fuck. sucks toes. No, 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 no. no. One oh. of them said fuck. Dimitri. Dimitri just said both. You were on the wrong side, my friend. You were on the wrong fucking side. What? In future what? reports, make sure you write What was that, Charles? <laughs> what did he just say? What, what did he say? Kennedy, can you please repeat what he said? Uh, no, I said I hope he's said. stuck in a hole, asshole. <laughs> I very much heard suck my suck hole. My hole. <laughs> okay, Valentine, send a tip. Hey, nobody ever clarified what an orgy was during that fight. Shut up. What the well, hell did I miss? When a few ladies and a few men no. like each other very much, I'm mean, not telling him. No, Is that what you guys stop. were doing in first place? I need some water, by the way. Let him figure it out on his own. We'll, 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 we'll get you like fed and, and water and, and Sizuka. Uh, I want water now. I'm very no cold. Alright, I want peace and quiet, okay. but here we I'm are. Okay, okay fine. Look. Charles? Turn around and go. With I'm thirsty. I'm gonna pass out. I'm giving the new lady practice. Okay, yeah, I'll put, follow me. There's a woman with the glasses. Where did she come from? She's a, a deputy that's not a deputy. I, I've been I was talking the whole time. You didn't hear me? No, who the She's fuck the one, are you? The one who was king shaming us. I'm gonna be honest. Are you I, king shaming? I don't even think I no. heard you. Well, I where mean, did she come so from? Go that's go what I'm saying. Where? Is. I was there right. in Rhodes. Here, Devon. Yeah, the no, I would never. Oh. Uh, we doing two boats. I, really like I, think uh, okay. I would think it would be better. Also, yeah. you look good in red, sir. Thank you. We need to suck up to the boss. You're trying to get promotion or something? Alright, no, uh, just my friend. Alright, use, use that boat, go. We'll take another boat. Okay. It's probably just easier. You. Valentine, you ever yeah. you ever steer a boat? Yes, sir. All right, well, you're getting practice. All right, go out there, Valentine. Uh, you, you barely got me, to be honest with you. I had a well. channel move the entire fucking family. Be careful oh, when they give you your badge I'm not because they're very sexy. I'm not going to give you the charge that you deserve. Badges. They don't even you ask got. if you're f no, no. Yes, sexy. All right, you, everybody, you load up. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, am I coming mid or stay? Yep. Yeah. yeah who are you? Get in here. Okay. Hey, don't Why is it? If you asked, ask, I would tell you, but I'm feeling just harassed. Really right, well, right. Ma'am, what's your no, name? No, you're not. I'm uh, yeah, Ori. I'm feeling very harassed. Oh, I, I, say that again. Ori. Ori. Okay. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna remember. I, I'm that. senior deputy. That's okay. Ruth. Hello. Hello. Who? I'm Senior Deputy Ruth. This is Deputy Valentine oh, steering the boat. I will definitely remember you. Okay. Uh, that's Deputy Kennedy with the arms crossed. That's Deputy Winters, and then we've got uh, Dimitri. Dimitri. He is not a senior deputy. deputy Dimitri. Mm -hmm. He is not a He's senior not deputy exactly. either. I am the boss. This is just all a test to see how my team are doing, and if they know how to do their jobs, uh, they will get good bonus this year for Christmas. Just and go then, straight to Siska there. And then that's Josephine. Tozy. Her name's Tozy. Oh, Josephine. Great shot. Okay, great shot. Sir. Tozy, Josie. Okay, I get that. Yeah, Josephine. I, 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 Josephine. Are you the one who likes to either suck or fuck toes? I'm not really sure which one. It, so. I, I think she said toads, ma'am. No, 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 toes. no. She said toes. Oh. Well, no. Well, she, okay. She hasn't been saying toes. It's the other people that have been saying toes. Okay. She Can you clarify? She actively likes then. to fuck and clear. suck toes. Do you hear this? It's the brushes. That's the only one who's been saying shit. No, no, they I all were in the myself. in the shootout. They all were in the shootout. To be fair, exactly. Where's the to second boat? Oh, uh, there uh, there's Ruth, one right in front sir? of us. Please do not crash. I do not want to drown. 
Is East this what it's like to be a, a no, but I'm they're, they're not like that in the tank cuffs? Are no. Adjusting. There you go then. All right, Miss Adders. Thank you. I'll take that one too. Miss Tozy Adders. <sighs> Seriously, shut the fuck up. We get is it, it, it your Is one. it is it is, is yeah, there trouble in paradise here? You're the fucking funny one. You're kind of funny. You used too. to used to have been like screaming at each other since the original shootout. Oh no, that was a. Uh, Weren't was... you the two fighting in the cell too? <laughs> no, no, that you, was you, uh, I, There's some sort of trouble in paradise going on here. We're in the crossing. What is paradise about this place? I'm secretly in love with you. Oh, uh, <laughs> who? speaking of toes, who? Mr. Uh, boss man here in his red coat. Another person that's one. fucking in love with me or wants to date me? No, thank oh, you. Oh, another one. Yes. Really? Like you have so many. Yes, I Listen, actually do. Line, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, the, you were the first? you were the fourth suspect in the last no. 48 hours that are interested in having a date with me. I I don't have interest. I never said anything about a date. Uh, whatever, same shit. It being she in love implies dating. Who's driving boat? Why are you going I the wrong feel way? Like you would look a lot better with beard. Uh, this is my first time driving the boat, sir. You're going the wrong way. It's very long. He can go this way, though. He can go no, any way he wants. He's going right okay. here. But this is longer. Hey, uh, Winters. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Before. Sucking these nuts. Shut the fuck up. <gasps> oh my god. Zoe. I didn't suck any nuts, I promise. <laughs> Why did you, just, why did you dog throw dog a promise on there, winners? I am not convinced. I don't know. I just I, I am felt not convinced. like I have to defend myself. I do okay, feel like they would have believed you. I would have believed you without the promise. Even the promise did not sound uh, trustworthy. It was the promise. Seriously, are you saying? <laughs> Who? You. What? Actually, no, I like plaid here. Hi, plaid. Oh, there you go. Thank oh, God. Hi. Howdy! Hello there, Deputy. It's it's uh, Senior Deputy Ruth. How you doing, Big L, sir? Hi, Great there, Deputy. Laurie. It's good to see you. Hey, we we got a we got a divine coming in. I think he might have already been brought in, and we got some other uh, some other people he was with. Yep, I saw that idiot pass by below me. All right, we're all coming in now. Hi, Lori. See you soon. Shut up, inmate. <laughs> What's your name? Is Lori. Lawrence. Lawrence. All right, he's getting four fifty. Uh, how much time served are we given? Um, How long do we end them in our custody? Probably about an hour. Yeah, almost an hour at this point. Right, he'll put you in the hot box or something. That's fine. It's winter. It's not the problem. It's the hot box becoming a winter. It's the ice box. The, the okay, ice box. Like box. All right, uh, Dimitri, come over here. Yes. Dimitri, over this way. Can you, can you take these off? I need a drink. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, he's not come close. Hey. 185, 185, Welcome close. 290, 390. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm, you're probably gonna be processed last, okay? I'm gonna have my cadet process, or well, not my cadet, my new de newer deputy process. Oh, process not, here, okay? not the lady with the glasses who doesn't know she's no, doing not, No, Please, not, not, do no, 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 not her. You're not listening. The, who? I, I misspoke, the new What's deputy. The time served? Zoe? Yeah, about 60 days. 60. Alright, what, what's... You mean Zoe? I'm, I'm 60, no! 60. I'll be with you in a second, Dimitri. What, what's his time? What's his total, Kramer? 535. His total's 535. She told me it was like... Are you sure? That's not what Brooks said. I don't know. I just, uh... I'm looking at the jail admission form. Okay, let me talk to Brooks. Okay. But um, I thought you. I thought what was what was CD's time? So what am I looking at? His time was around 4:40. Uh, oh, they're saying it's 5:35. What's your name? If somebody changed it after I looked. 
<laughs> How you doing there? Uh, well, and I can check again. Right. Um, so you're gonna be released on the 27th. Oh, of he had a government issued weapon. Twenty so seventh. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. So well, now that's not polite at all. All right, and it's a $1,415 fine. Well, I was never going to be seeing the light of day. I must ask you to refuse your intentions and go ahead and tell me. So, the false imprisonment, both of those are still on there. Isn't that going to be one? Okay. Can I have $11 so I can get a coat? So I'm, I'm trying to... I, I think I don't know who the it fuck somebody fire, edited huh? the charges. Did he have a <laughs> did he have a government weapon on him? Thank you. Like all the <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. All right. I don't it understand who's editing file. the charges okay. after what, we've what, already what, come. What was <laughs> not there? I'm gonna waive the possession of government property. Fuck that shit. I'm yep. gonna waive one of the false imprisonments, the more hefty one. Yep. That brings him down to four sixteen, and then, and then I'll fine. give him we'll sixty give, days we'll time served. Yeah. Keep keep the keep keep the keep the hefty fucking false imprisonment and just give him 399 days it was okay. bandages was the yeah, okay fuck that said. fuck that okay so he's getting like he's getting a government charge for for bandages two yeah, bandages that's, that's stupid that's mm -hmm. fucking that's, dumb wait wave that charge and then yep. it, after the 60 days that'll come down to like 4 410 so bring him down to like 399 yeah if i wave one of the false imprisonment of a peace officer he's down to 390 with the 60 days time sir all right that's just do that then yeah just okay. do that Okay. Valentine, are you processing her? Looking at my charges. Uh, I'm nice. trying to <laughs> sell Valentine, go I over don't to Dimitri, right and it. Brooks will walk you through his charges, okay? Okay. Brooks, can you teach Valentine how to process somebody <laughs> with Dimitri? Dimitri will be All right. So, your current charges. So, I had to figure out something with Charles because. Somebody added an extra charge of like 50 days for <laughs> after we got here for bandages, so I had to go wave that. Um, Wait, I'm sorry. What was that charge? Uh, because he had government, he had a, he had bandages that were government property, technically. Oh, okay, okay, tracking. Go on. I'm um, seeing what your total time's coming to you. Yeah, you come to you come to five hundred days, so okay. uh, you come to five hundred days. But like I said, I I could uh, I'll tell you what. How about this? You've been here for an hour, so I'll give you the sixty days off. It'll come down to five hundred, and I'll I can take an extra twenty five days off. Does that work? Or do yeah. you want to see it come down all the way to four fifty? <laughs> Whatever you feel is necessary. We'll leave it there. How about that? Okay. Uh, well. Say that again. Yeah, yeah. Do we stack group violence now with shootout? I, I know we, we had stopped it. Okay, so we had That's stopped. That's a little fucked. Yeah, we had stopped charging. Oh, Jesus. I did not really. But I can't see real well. Josie, can um, can I talk to Ruth for a sec? I, I mean, I it's, was... it's, a, it's a charge of 15 days. Somebody else put it on there. It's a charge of Is 15 it, days. On, I, I mean, for what I understood, we were doing it for a little bit, but... I'm just more wondering for future. I know it's not a big deal. Uh, I, I don't know. I thought you got group violence with participation in shootout. You did. You used to. And then I know we had stopped doing it. Okay, that's news reason. to me then, but I didn't even do the paperwork. I just assumed they would be together, to be fair. All right, screw it. It's only 15 days. He's going to get it now, and then... Yep. Whatever. Right. He's not arguing. Okay, perfect. Yeah, thanks. All right, Besides you're good. you missing your potato quota. Was it? Mm. Uh... Josie, I'm doing your charges. Thank okay. you. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, it'll come down to like 450 days, okay? All right. That means your release date will be... Give me a second. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, so the, you'll, you've been here for about 60, 70 days already, and then I'm going to take like an extra 30 to 40 off for the peaceful surrender. So it'll Thank come down you. to 450 days. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, 450 days and uh, 1690 fine. Your release date is November 28th at 325 a.m. Sorry. Come again. I Actually, what the fuck? Wait. Why is it saying that? What the fuck did you just do? 
<laughs> what did you do? What do you mean? I'm, what did I'm, I no, do? I'm looking at you. Me? Yeah. You licked the goddamn ass off your shoulder. <laughs> I don't know. This is just the first thing that came to mind. Anyways, what day? What are you, a gonna... fucking goat? What? What? Why does it? Goats will eat anything. That was the joke. Anyway. That is a bold statement. All right, there. I'm taking it down to take it down to 450 yeah. days. Your release date is November 28th. Okay, 3:26 a.m. Fantastic, thank you. All right, love you. I wear a purple shirt normally. It's the first thing I had. So what happened to that brick fella? Yeah. He ran. He literally just okay. Read. But but we okay. shot him down. No, no, okay. No, no, no. You did, and that yes. is kind of the awkward part of the I conversation, I Fred. Yeah. I, I see. Okay. Yeah, you, what right. the fuck is okay. your okay. name? I'm Ronnie. Ronnie Rivers. Yeah. He's he, claiming that he didn't rob people with Josie yesterday. If he wants to contest the charges, he can get the full time. Is it the ones it, it, that he was... It was It was literally the ones today, Clearly I'm identified sure. in the telegram. Yes. Yes. Then fuck him. I, I'm just yeah, I don't know I anything know. about it. I wasn't sure I, if those were well, that's well, uh, that's all corroborated. Telegrams and it was a work in progress report. I'm pretty sure it's it's it's, it's okay. It's technically from yesterday, but it's from earlier today because he hasn't correct. So yes, I, does correct. he realize that? I I don't know. That's a good question. What's my ammo zip? Giving you the proper charges. What what? It's can you can you hours back ago. away? Can you? Zip, if you want to have a conversation with him, go somewhere else while I've handled the charges. Nah, there ain't nothing to talk about. Who? With Kennedy? No, he's just telling you to fuck off kindly. Yes, yeah, just fuck off kindly. Big Ale told me to sit at the wall. Okay, well, I'm telling you to fuck off. And if Big Ale asks why, you tell him that I need Zip, to fuck off for the, two minutes. I wouldn't take that if I was you. Uh, yeah, no. I'm more afraid of Big Ale than I am of any lawman on the All outside. Alright, I'm, I'm going to go have him put you in the icebox then. Somehow, um, it was kind of fascinating. I turned around. I was... Hey, Big L. Big L. Yeah. Uh, Zip's being difficult. Can you put him in the ice box, please? May I request that? He's being <laughs> extremely difficult. The little Zip and piss the pants. Start a ruckus again. <laughs> yeah, I asked him to leave. He said he's more afraid of you than me. I told him he can go in the ice box then. If uh, Big L's okay with it. Oh look, he fucked off after uh, after I went and grabbed you. So he wasted your time. Uh, well, I mean, there's always noted. Oh, no, Saffron, I was like, oh, there's Saffron. I'm gonna go after her, right? So that's why I, I was busy dealing with that while they're doing their own thing. I'm not sure if they robbed somebody or not, but I don't claim it. Okay. You do realize how much of a fucking break you're getting? He uh, he but, is, but he's also giving me um, something that adds up according to what the report. Right. Okay. If I rob somebody, I'll take that charge all day, every day. I'm not going to shy away from it. Okay, so, Kramer, do you feel comfortable waiving them? I feel comfortable waiving those two charges. Okay. It's, it's only the robbery under 500 charges in Blackwater. Oh, the other ones are all good to go. What, do you want me to answer? what are you going to do when you get out? What am I gonna do when Plus, I get now out? we can charge Aurora with him. I'm not getting for a long You're welcome. Time. All right. Thank you. Bit. Yep. Fine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're not getting out okay. for a good long while. Don't be goddamn sure if, uh, well, maybe you stay forever. <laughs> All right, did uh, Dimitri get processed ball, fully? Which most yep. do. Yeah, okay. Everybody's all set, but CD. Yeah, just give me a second. Working on that right now. If you Thanks, need me to do Cameron. anything, let this me know. A bit too nope. All good. I think you go to Boxford. Hear that, Brooks? All good. Why are you singling out Brooks? Because she gives me attitude. No. Okay, you give everybody attitude, so it's I don't. Not I don't true. You it's absolutely not true. do. It's not true. You do realize I was the one person fighting for you and your deal, and you gave me attitude the entire time. Because I don't change for nobody. Okay. Well, you're being <laughs> charged. You're getting 390 days, and your total fine is going to be 1,275. So it's under 400, like we agreed. All right, yes. All right, I'll take it. Perfect. Hey, Ruth, thank you. Who figured out the unknown yeah. in that last one? 
I'm pretty huh? sure. Uh, what wait, me? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, just, we just, just wondering. I was looking at it and it was unknown. Oh, yeah. What are you wondering about? Get away from Trying to write it up. Makes sense. Go get yeah, your well, you know, I'm just on. a fucking great detective over here, so. Hmm. Don't worry about that one. Okay. Oh. I think I shaved my head. Do you want to come with? Once again, uh, I apologize for the paperwork issue. Appreciate you being understanding about the extra 50 days. What's that? I said, once again, I apologize about the paperwork issues. There, it was clerical issues that prevented you being under 400, but um, thank you for understanding. I'm really not that worried about it. I yeah, but when I have Charles it. having an absolute hissy fit in front of me, I, I've got Everyone, to... Everyone so, was kind of having a little hissy fit, truth be told, yep. so I do appreciate both of you. R Ronnie, before you... What's he going? Oh, exactly what's he going oh. to the ice box for? <laughs> oh, how do you already get himself in the ice box? Well, he finds it enjoyable that well, uh, Chester murdered one of the law officers. Says I it's a righteous it's killing. Horrible. Says he thinks that it was God's plan. Why wow. the hands on the you head? Really See me let that one go. Words out of that one. Okay. Uh, um, Ronnie, no, I mean, what happened was, before you get I taken to the answer? Ronnie, I don't questions. really care to be honest, but. Uh, that being I said, care. before before uh, before he takes you away, thank you for being understanding about the uh, the deal being a little over four hundred for you. Yeah, I mean, it was a this, I guess this is what I get for being cooperative. A clerical big, big... error. I feel like that is kind of the the go to for you. Isn't uh, it? Did, am I done talking to you? I am. No, okay. I don't Perfect. feel like you are because R I'm talking Ronnie, to you right now. I'll tell yeah. you what. Big L, is there any way I can convince you not to take him to the icebox for now? I kind of signed this warrant off this and, time, I'll be honest. And if he uh, if he fucks up one more time, take him to the icebox. Well, I guess if he makes a full uh, pleading apology in front of the, uh, the law officers that are here today, uh, we could maybe do that. Uh, you have to give him a little dance with that apology, though. Yeah, that sure, that seems fair, doesn't it, Mr. Rivers? All right. I suppose I but I will apologize. warn you, son. If you so a step out of line... Those gaps yeah. in your teeth will get way wider. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, you were going to send me to the box anyway for just being me, so... Okay. Just being you. <laughs> yeah. I just mean, being if I recall you. correctly, you said I, I'm a little too chipper for you, so I'm going to go you to the box. You are right. too chipper. And you're also a piece of shit jackass moron. All right. Okay. You got that apology in the dance. <laughs> how'd, that go? how'd that go for you, huh? Yeah, yeah, I agreed to this, yeah. All right, well, okay, all the let's here. set this up then. Enjoy your show. Hey, uh, everybody, uh, Mr. Rivers has something for us. Oh, Lord. He got dance or something? Yes, he actually is. What are the chances he gets up and punches Big L? <laughs> then he's I'm getting extra 40. time. <laughs> I'm saying 40, 60. Yeah, uh, you know, thirty-seven. What kind of dance do you want? Do you want Any surprise us? Okay. Um. I like people that are flexible. I am sorry for saying that. I understand why okay. Chester murdered well, right. Sissica Guard. Oh, and this motherfucker! I will not say that again. That was part of the deal. Okay, so you're 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 wholeheartedly apologizing for what you said. Yes, I am. You should make him say it repeat over and over. Repeat over again. what I just said. I am wholeheartedly apologizing for what I said. Okay. Can you keep doing it while you're dancing? I, I am. Dude, how many times? No, no, do you like keep apologizing while dancing. I am literally on my knees. Apologize. Kramer, are you satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. I, I think it's pretty good, sir. All right. All right. It seems like uh, Kennedy, Brooks. Winner, I he's reset. One, one more. One more apology yep. for wholeheartedly saying what I said. Yes. Yeah, sincere. As sincere. I, as sincere I, as possible. I'm sincerely apologizing for saying what I said. Mm, all right. All right. Can I stop dancing now. Brooks, winners used to. Uh, used to yeah. satisfy. Oh, you are proof. Yeah. Yep. Deputy Ruth. That is. All right. Well, you're you're good to stop <laughs> dancing if Big L's okay with it. Sir, uh, why is he wearing pink? Yeah, yes, Charles. Um, um I chose Kennedy made some snide remarks toward my direction that I deem very unprofessional. Okay, what did he say? Stained, uh, Called me a piece of shit. The blood of my no, it's 
The blood, you're a fucking moron. Shut the hell up. Okay. I believe that's gonna make me very upset. Come on, it's just gonna do something stupid. Or something I regret. Just gonna let you know, that's all. It's too late for this fucking shit. Uh, aren't, okay. So are you making another complaint? Yes, another complaint. Another complaint. Another complaint. Okay. Are you making another complaint? He's making I hope I see the paperwork of the complaints, okay? Just one day. Hold on, let's say, are you making complaints yeah, in Char my penitentiary? Charles Devine is making complaints. He's he's uh, He made a complaint against Kennedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, um... Boy, here's my complaint, that you're the reason the gene pool needs a lifeguard. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus that, Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> God, I don't think there's anything uh, you could do that could even get your. Doesn't mean that. Just let that one slide. This, is, this place ain't wow. that bad. I mean... Wow, that was. Wow. Well, I, I, I mean, Booker was the funny one. Uh, yeah, and if, I don't. <laughs> Jesus, either. if we if we could charge on this island, it. I'd I'd be charging Big L with attempted murder after that fucking comment. Holy shit. Good one. That's what I say you can charge him with attempted murder. I said lunge toward Kennedy and try to kill him. Okay, and then you'll be over 400 days, so... It's worth it, CD. It's it's worth it. Can I file a complaint against Big L? <laughs> the fuck you just say? <laughs> I'd like to firmly file okay, a complaint against, we're against Big L. <laughs> what did you just say? What? Uh, never mind, sir. Never mind. Nothing. I do apologize. Right. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're all right. good to go. Lovely. Okay. You don't remember what I said, okay? Who are you again? Did you hit your head? I'm not RPing seeing that. Title. Mace, remember what I said, okay? Do not listen to Kennedy. Bye, you didn't actually tell me anything. Because Kennedy's an asshole. Don't prove it. I can't Bradley, lollipop. Ruth, she was trying to get me to lollipop, sir, but I turned her down. Good job. Proud of you. What was that, sir? What part? I just heard screaming. I didn't hear screaming. The only screaming is my inside after having to deal with Charles <laughs> Divine for three hours. You didn't hear that? It no. happened again. There's no way that they did anything to Big L. They will be fucked if they tried. All right, let's go on the boat with uh, with Kennedy. Damn it. All right, well, fuck it. Uh, we're taking we're one boat, I guess. Okay, I guess we're taking two boats now. Yeah, we're taking two boats. Oh, are you trying to beach this? I was going to. Oh, are you on? Yeah, we're, we're on. Okay. For the record. <laughs> yeah. I never called him anything. Really? Yeah, he pulled that shit out of his ass. Alright, well, uh, I'm still gonna write something up, not for that part, yeah. but he, he, he wants to make a complaint directly to Cash, so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna give my opinion. And, and Absolutely then, do it. I, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, no, that's... I'm good at that. Alright. Uh... I mean, honestly, apparently, Kramer's looking over some of the charges. Some of the charges were not correct. For, for like some of the robbery shit so Kramer waived a couple charges and I mean it came he came under pretty close to under 400 anyway with time served that's her I, I, I really like I know you guys if you made a deal you made a deal yep I just want to push the charges for, for my situation I mean if he's gonna fuck with yeah me, it's one of those things though for me where uh, the way I look at it is if they're contesting it hard and claiming that 
I mean, I get where you're coming from, but it's also one of those things where if this person's gonna non-stop bitch and there's a deal made, dropping one of the, the hostage-taking situ- you know what I mean? Dropping he one- He two. He was pissed off that there was one, so I don't think it would've changed a lot. Originally, he was pissed off with two for me. Oh, he, well, when I went in there and talked to him, he didn't even know there was two. Yeah, well, when at, at, when I started talking to him at, at the Braithwaite Manor, he was very pissed about two. Okay. So, I think he just forgot and just assumed. I mean, if he's gonna, the, the thing is, like, I, I, if you look, I gave uh, Ron the same charge when he held me up. Right? Yeah, you you I did, but you. On that. He was, he wasn't, didn't give me a hard time. He wasn't mouthing off. He didn't take anything, so I just gave him the, 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 the false imprisonment. Yep, but and you, the, it was 40 days, pointing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start pointing guns and shit at people and holding them, restricting them from moving, and then telling them what, what you want to do. What, whether you're whether you're, you're monologuing, whether you're you're demanding something. Fair whatever, enough. Whatever I, and from what I understood, because I had to negotiate mid-shootout, was Josie and Brick held the guns at you guys because they thought they were going to hold you up, and Charles and Ronnie didn't want to hold you up. And I think that's why Charles was contesting it. He just wanted to fucking move past you guys. If I'm trying I mean, to understand it correctly. From his side, because it's very convoluted to try to get his side of it. But from what I understood, he didn't want to be charged for what people with him did. So I was going to say, well, boo-hoo, fella, you're getting one count. Because he should be at least... It's not like we have an accessory, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, well, we do blanket it, but... Well, not for the, you know, the false imprisonment. We don't, we don't blanket false imprisonment? I mean, well, yeah, we do, but my point is, I, I also could be very understanding of the situation being just one blanket for both of you. So you get what I'm saying? It's not like they held you up and then moved over to Benny, like, down the street. You get what I'm saying? One for the entire situation, I think, is a very fair, happy medium. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be really stern with him. Fair enough, but there's others there that, that I was more inclined to work with. You get what I'm saying? Because... Ronnie and because Ronnie and uh, Ronnie and Josephine Adders both were very understanding that they were going to get over 400 even though I agreed under 400 because of paperwork issues because people didn't fi finalize reports until after we had them you get what I'm saying yeah because sure sooner rather than later like five six extra charges you like got added. Okay, that that's that's a little ridiculous. That five six guy added. That, you see what I'm saying? Like, so I'm having to deal with all the paperwork, all the new charges getting added, and dealing with trying to figure out why he's bitching about the charge you're giving him, <laughs> mixed with trying to, you know, you get what I'm saying? It was a very headache-inducing situation. I know. That's, so. I mean, when it when it comes to him, though, I'm, I'm uh, at least if I'm arresting, he's getting Fair everything enough. I could possibly put on him. Well, Kramer tr finalized his charges in the end, so. That's fine. Uh, Bolton <laughs> got robbed and she's pursuing a suspect alone in St. Denis somewhere a couple of minutes ago, probably. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, not more yeah. than like a couple of minutes. They're literally right Ooh. around here somewhere. On foot Brooke, or on horseback? Yeah, on horse, on horse, on horse. We it's okay. all I, the stables. I, I Black, horse. stables. Black horse. How many do we have? We have like six here though, don't we? Yeah, it's fine as long as we're in the city. It's, yeah, fair enough, actually. I feel like they're gonna go out of the city though. Probably, when that happens, we'll... We break off. We can we can uh we can figure that out before while we're right here. Uh, me and Valentine will break off to Saint Denis. Then. I I don't mind sitting back. All right. But it's just one person. This one person's gonna face the wrath of the <laughs> entire department. <laughs> oh, it's mainly to make sure Bolton's safe. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, and that. Uh, we're getting our horses. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I know what this woman looks like. I briefly looked at the report. Her name is Scarlet Winters. Rides a black horse. She's wearing Scarlet. pretty much all black. She yes. I saw, I saw that too. I know who. I know what Scarlet Winters looks. Like. It looks like Moxie with a. Wearing all. Yeah, she has a hat similar to Allison's. She looks like Moxie. Sort of. Where's Kennedy? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I've. Uh, I know this is a bad time, but I really got to take a piss. But I'm gonna have to hold it in. All right, let's find Bolton if she's alone in the city. Okay, yeah, let's just start. Chasing this woman. 
You already went by the station, Brooks? No, I just ran to my horse. All right. I'm gonna quickly run in. Okay. She was giving me so much sass. She was a hostage in the bank Oh, really. she was the one saying you're not smart and stuff. Yeah, I was there. Uh, you know, I just realized 10 minutes before the bank robbery, uh, she was ho holding someone up inside the bank. She was uh, a black poncho and like a black yeah, vest, black right? corset. Okay, so the robbery apparently happened in Rhodes. Do you think she would have yeah, fled towards Rhodes? Just, Maybe. No, she just saw her. The robbery happened before when we were processing. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, I, I know. That's what I'm saying. saw her. her yes, yes. I know, but I'm saying, do you think she would flee back to Rhodes? Possibly. I don't think she's going to stay in the city. I don't think she will either. Uh -oh. Where's Kennedy? Uh, no idea. I don't know. Now here he is. Oh. Station. Oh. Hi. Oh, you got Hello, her. Hello, darlings. Oh. How we Perfect. doing? Yeah. Yeah. Is that Scarlet nice again? It is, it is. Bank Robin hostage yeah. from earlier? Bank Same. Robin And then she, apparently she held someone up in the, the bank earlier and then was the hostage right. in the bank. Yeah. What was that? That's her. Yeah. All right. You want to go grab Kennedy? Yeah. All right. All right. I'll stay here and help her with this. Yep. I'll, I'll probably come in, come in in a minute. Valentine. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go for a walk. All right. Let me hitch my horse up. Yep. Hey, winners. Look at here for a second. Uh, I just wanted to clarify. I, uh, like I said, I, I understand wanting to uphold that deal, but just in case you had any, uh, you know, any concerns or anything like that, I just... When people are adding charges after, you know what I mean? Because all of them are looking at like around 400 at Braithwaite, but then like five, like a, a bunch more charges got added to those people. You just see what I'm saying? And it was, uh, it was specifically Josie and Rivers that ended up going over that much. And uh, I know I already explained this, but they they agreed to the 450 days. But yeah, I, as long I, as yeah, I don't care as long as they agree. I think that's fair. Yeah. I, uh, I get where you're coming from, but I was just trying to explain the situation that because of people adding all the charges and all the paperwork after the fact, it ended up kind of fucking that deal a bit. So, I was just trying to explain it. I appreciate the explanation, but I think that worked out quite well. I ended up, I, I think for what the headache was, I think it ended up working quite well. It prevented bloodshed in that fucking manner. I'm always willing to surrender and work with people, but... It's a bit difficult when I, I have to go. Because <laughs> I almost, honestly, I almost pulled the deal on all of them just because of how much they weren't listening to me. So. And I gave them very many warnings. But I wanted to pull you aside and talk to you about it. And uh, if you had any comments, questions, or concerns about that, feel free. I'm always here. You know, that's fair. I always get scared making deals with people when you're not in the office because you just don't know what's going to come up. Yeah, fair enough. I, I think the issue is we had reports from like way earlier in the day that nobody ch put any charges on like from way earlier in the day that they should have been filled out already to be honest like brooks had to do somebody's paperwork in the office to try to sort some of them <laughs> some so, of them were from yesterday too and some of them oh, were from God. fucking yesterday so i was just trying to give you the full explanation of why they got 450 and they did agree to it in the end but why i ended up having to almost pull that Understood. That mixed with the fact that I told them they keep doing shit in the cells, I'm pulling a deal, and then they did it again. So, both of those kind of combined made me almost pull it. But I just wanted to explain it to you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And like I said, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything, just feel free to grab me. Yep, I can tell. Alright, perfect. Uh, Sorry, Mike. I'm gonna go walk with Valentine for like three minutes, Kennedy, right. and then okay, I'll yeah. be back. Perfect. Yep. How, uh, how's your first day been? Uh, it's been very hectic. Uh, as soon as I uh, woke up after I took my nap, uh, 20 minutes passed and I was a part of a bank job. <laughs> With the Bell Gang? Uh, no, I think it was uh, CD, actually. Oh, actually, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was the first person you processed, yeah? Yep, that's right. Do you got any questions about that paperwork? I think a lot of it's pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, I think it's, you know, I studied law back where I'm from, and... Yeah, the... you turn left here through the gate. Okay. My pa used to show me how his paperwork was, and it was a lot more difficult than how it is y out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You see, our old paperwork, back when I was, uh, a, a big, uh, my first couple weeks of being a deputy, my first month or so, a lot more difficult than what it is now. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think I got it down. All right, perfect. You know, I've, oh. uh, I, after moving to St. Denis, this is, uh, I've been... I have like a little barrel here that I keep stuff in. Oh, I see. I got these a very long time ago and I have had, I've been wondering what I wanted to do with them. And then, you, you know, you being Valentine and all and you getting deputized, I wanted to give them to you as a uh, congratulations for getting deputy. And you, uh, you know, been doing good work. You did great with the shooting training. You've been doing good work. You're great to be around, and I'm proud of how far you've come, okay? Thank you, sir. It means a lot, and uh, I hope you and I could do uh, patrols together soon. Yeah, perfect. I'd love to have you. I uh, I walked uh, Tony Salerno down to his manor, and he was really upset with me after I questioned him today. Have, have you been... Uh... Staying out here mostly in Saint Denis. Yeah, I have been. I I come out when the when the crossing's on fire. But if it's cool, calm, and collect, then I walk about these streets, just gathering it's... information. The deputy marshal uh, sent me. Well, Marshal Taylor sent me a telegram. Asked where I want to be stationed. I said in Lemoyne or West Elizabeth. So we'll see. Hopefully, I'm out here. Yeah, I'd like to have you out here. I like to. I want to have a, a very big presence out here. Uh, a lot of people. We've we've got the ring, which is interesting, and I want people working. And then we've got uh, well, we got the Dicenzos, which uh, they demand respect, even with uh, even with law, and uh, but yet they constantly disrespect law. So I like I said, I want to walk them down to the fucking station and cuffs so when we are confident in the charges we're pressing. All right, I'll keep that in mind, sir. Yep, treat them like everybody else. I really do want to be like you when I grow up. That makes me happy. Sleep well. Thank you. I was just saying to you, Kennedy, might go to Valentine because Cleo's there by herself, I think. Okay, uh, you want to take somebody with you? Yeah, ideally. Uh, Kennedy, are you going that way? What Kennedy's you doing? staying in. Uh, probably will be in a bit. Uh, okay. I'll go with you. All right, you got Valentine's okay. going to Valentine with you. <laughs> Works perfectly. <laughs> How apt. Okay. All right, the two of you stay safe. Yes, sir. All right. Check in when we get that. Yeah, check in. Uh, and thank you, sir. Yep, no problem. Bye, everyone. I gotta work. Hey, Sam, thank Bye. you for the raid. Yeah, I haven't talked to my chat in like three hours because I've been. You okay? Yeah. Roll up your sleeve. What? You got you got blood dripping. I think I ripped my stitches from earlier. All right, we'll roll up your sleeve. Take a look at it. <laughs> oh, it's off. Bro. Dude, Saab, what kept happening? Bro, people kept... Kept adding charges to old situations. Okay. Do we have doctors? No. No, there never is. Not. Okay. Uh, Kennedy, can you walk her down to 
the fucking doctor's office. I'm gonna finish the report first. You no. You're the report's not. gonna be there. The report will be there. Take it We're going first. to the doctor's office. Think of it like this, okay? You hurt your arm and worsen it, then you, maybe you'll never be able to do paperwork again. So let's just get you down to the medical. Holding paperwork over my head. Yes, I am. <laughs> you think you think I don't know you, Brooks? You just take her on horseback, would you, Kenley? Yeah. All right. Dude, I've had to take a piss for so long. Alright. <laughs> like, 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 also... No, we'll, we'll be alright. Alright. Sounds good. I have patience for people who want to work with me, but this person's giving me nothing, so. Yeah, you should have heard him during the hostage negotiations. I'm, I'm very curious now. My god, it was. That deputy out there is stupid. They're just asking stupid questions. What an <laughs> idiot. Doesn't like. I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm the one supposed to be on your team. <laughs> I want you to come out of here not shot. <laughs> Jesus. Can I talk to you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as far as uh, as far as all of that, I am gonna have to make a. <laughs> he want <laughs> he wants a complaint against Kennedy, not for what happened at Sisica, but for but for being so adamant about those false imprisonment charges, and he got open fire on during negotiations because of it. Fuck that. That that is the complaint he wants to make. Uh, he wants Cash to look into it. I don't mind telling Cash it because I'm going to tell Cash that the, the guy shot a lawman during negotiations because of false imprisonment charges. And uh, he's trying to claim that he escalated the situation. It's funny that he wants Cash to look. You know, Cash is going to be a little biased. You know, Cash also got shot when, during negotiations by the same person that shot <laughs> Kennedy. Did, really? Yeah, but Josephine, yeah, Weller was very... <laughs> <laughs> Well, funnily enough, I I figured uh, I figure I don't mind verbally telling Cash about it. I don't think it needs to be a fucking report. Uh, uh, I agree. Um, that being said, uh, thank you for processing Charles and helping out there. Uh, so many people not doing paperwork kind of fucked that whole situation. But, yep, uh, it happens all the time, especially yeah. with those people that do shit and don't get caught, and then people forget about the paperwork, and then yep. it's a month later, and that paperwork's still not filled out. And... Yep. But, uh, I mean, I think it worked out in the end. The two people that were over uh, over the, the amount of time anyway, uh, you know, th those people were very receptive to getting over 400 days. So mm -hmm. it worked out. You know, one thing way. I will say about all of the old crap and if it's going to take a while, yeah. don't ever feel bad about not charging for something. Yeah, it's not there. I, I, it's not sufficient I, evidence. But, but the cares? thing is, when... When when some of it's from earlier today, and I've got like I know Rip was very adamant about making sure those charges. You know what I mean? Like making sure all the charges yeah. were there. So, or at least that's I, I th maybe I, I could be just misremembering because honestly, Benny almost dying kind of threw me for a loop there too. But uh, either way, I, I still I, I I think in the end the false imprisonment shit though that was not worth the fight that it was. No. It, there's, it's always something with it. You know, Kettleman's the same way. It's always a fight about something so minuscule and small that it's not going to change fucking anything. And, and that's why, I, like, I understand him wanting to do two false imprisonments because there's two deputies, but honestly, I, because of the headache, I would have just done one and said, I'm working with you, you're getting one instead of two for everybody across the board. That's what I would have done from the get-go, to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, basically, the, the shootout started with negotiations, and it... I said you guys are all looking at 300 to 500 days. Uh, his original thing was 300 for all of us, and we'll come in. I said, I can't do that. I can't give you an exact time. And then uh, he said, how is it 300 to 500? And I had Kennedy explain the situation because he was present. Kennedy went up there, and he basically was out in the open, and he was like, well, you held me and Benny up today, so that's going to be two charges of false, uh, false imprisonment. And he's like, bullshit, I didn't do that. You're just throwing charges at me. And Kennedy was like, well, you fucking did. You're getting these two charges. And then he got shot. So <laughs> it, it was not it was not worth that f Jeez. the fucking fight at Braithwaite, to be honest. But, I mean, it worked out in the end. Y'all did good. Yeah. I have had three fights at Braithwaite, and they have all ended 
but two times I've had to make the call to us have to step back. It, it's a, I've I've had it's two rough. fights at Braithwaite, and we successfully sieged it once, and I did not want deputies to die in that fucking push. So that's why I was. You have to hold to the staircase. Yep. The staircase is all that matters in that. Well, also the balcony because yep. there's four doors and they could run uh, in from, honestly, you from either side. Weller and I had Weller. I I you Weller had a strategy last one, and then I I used a version of that strategy. It's actually pretty decent. The keep moving around the the perimeter. I I move around the perimeter. I had I had three Charged people it. posted up watching the balcony on the back while me and Tango moved around the perimeter. That's basically that. That's that's it. That's yep. Basically his plan. Yep. It's pretty. It's pretty much. We did a version of that the one day and successfully sieged it. But either way, uh, you know, I, I 100% am never giving anybody a set time, and that old paperwork shit kind of fucked me over, but at the end of the day, it work, worked out in the end, so don't necessarily matter. I think you made the right call. Okay. Well, I, I just want to make sure, because... If, uh, if Benny had sat there any longer... It's good y'all got him back. Y yeah, I... I'm going to be honest, that Charles fucker is a piece of shit. I said that he has people bleeding out upstairs that he should consider a surrender when we just had Kennedy down. And his his response was, I don't care. <laughs> I, I've really? never had somebody say that. Still, Is he not? Are those his friends? I don't know. <laughs> I would think so. I know at least Josie is. Yeah, I, I, other... mean, I would think so. Ronnie used to run with Alley Chase. I see. Yeah. All right. But you think I made the right call in the end? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Because uh, with all that chaos over the last three and a half hours, I just wanted somebody's opinion on it. Because uh, I have a fucking headache. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure. Yeah, I think you absolutely made the right call. I don't. I mean, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I don't... Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, I'm trying to review this and see if there's something I would have done I, differently. I think the only thing I would have done differently is just not giving a firm time because of the old paperwork, just giving them a percentage. That's such a... I, I wouldn't even call that a mistake, you know? You made a judgment call, and I trust your judgment. Yeah. I mean, basically, the judge... From what I understand, I was talking to Brooks about it, but because some of those paperwork... The paperwork had literally no charges... When she went and reviewed it and gave me the times, they were looking at a little bit over 400 days, factoring in this situation. You know what I mean? So I was yeah. like, yeah, surrender, I can get you less than 400. Believe me, there's uh, there's cases where you'll have to go in there and then add the charges for incidents that you weren't even a part of. Yeah, and, oh. so I, I just wanted to talk to somebody about it and just make sure uh, I'd made the right call and asked for improvement on anything. No, you did, and I'm very glad to have you in, as a part of the seniors. We need it. <laughs> All right, you uh, you staying up for a little bit because I wouldn't mind going yes. over the dossiers. Yes, I am. All right, uh, perfect. Uh, apologies, interrupting. Does no, anybody okay. want to join us on the Cisco transport? Uh, if if you need someone, or will, I don't. But I would I don't. like to I... work on the dossiers. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And I just... yeah, Kennedy might be willing to have take uh, either Kennedy or a cadet or something. Yeah, I'm taking a cadet. I just right. wasn't sure if anybody else wanted to go. 455 days for one gun. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> You're oh my lord. Yeah, well, but, fuck them if they ain't willing to work oh, wait a minute. with them. Wait, why 455? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, Yo, Sil, it's of them. Sil, like, I'm praying Ronnie's running with Charles and I get out. I'll um, finally have a crim with the, you. Automated, you know, 400, if that mm. was the only charge, but it's not now. So now it's going to be 255? Yeah, Sil, it, it, it was so frustrating. Um, let me actually see the exact wording of this, because I'm curious. You round it up if the total charges for that incident are not 400. Otherwise, it's a 200-day charge. So I just need to make sure that entire incident report is 400 days, to my knowledge. Is that all what right. they're saying? Because is this for all the charges or just one incident? Because that and also that's, that is max time. Yeah, I understand. Um, she's just hold on. Where the heck is it? Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna round it up. She didn't want to go for the 200 days. Is she, right. Nope. I literally, I, she just doesn't care. She said she took the gun because it was pretty and then. How are you looking? Fine. 
Did the local doctor stitch you up? Yeah. 100%? Yep. You sure I don't have to roll up your sleeve and make sure you're telling me the truth? I promise. All right. All right. Ori, it was very chaotic, but I am Senior Deputy Ruth. I, uh, <laughs> I'm i the Senior Deputy of St. Denis. Of course. So nice, nice to, meet, to meet you in a calming scenario, you know. Yes. Dealing with Charles Divine is... Uh, how do I say this? I think, honestly, it's, it's, it's getting to a point where I'd rather be staring down the barrel of, like, a, a Kettleman gang member pointing a gun at me than having to deal with talking to Charles Divine. But he seems pretty infatuated with you. <laughs> they, I, a lot of people are. I've got two, <laughs> I've got two DiCenzos interested in dating me. I've got possibly a third. I've got Josephine Adders wanting to be in love with me but not date me, alluding to sex. I've got... She said the same thing to me. I've got Charles Devine wanting to surrender to have a date with me and wants to shoot up my dick. Uh, no. no. So. Do you have water? I can have a couple sips of. I gave my canteen to Tony Salerno and I've been dying of thirst since. Yeah, I, 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 uh, fuck. I, do. <laughs> I, 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 I have an do. empty canteen. Here, I, you can. I think I just need a sip. It's really hard to look at paperwork. All right. I've been holding in a piss for the last three hours. I'm going to go take a piss. Thank you for sharing. No problem. <laughs> All right, Jan, I'll be right back. Be right back. I don't think that was. It looked like Sloan, but I couldn't tell. I don't necessarily care, but I'm pretty sure it was Sloan. Also, this outfit is so good. Okay, I can't get over this outfit. It's such a weird barrage of colors. That's right. what you get sent. Thank you. Yeah. The deal was going to be to not get that rounded up. To just have the charge as if it was, you know, you already had four, so it would have been 200 days. Or even less because they would have been time served involved. Okay. She didn't want to go for that. Apparently, Bolton also made it very aware. Correct. Just for the gun. If she didn't want to go for it, then fuck her. That, exactly. I think that's what's happening. It still hurts yeah. my heart, though. She didn't. Oh. It's all a game to her. 
I'm, I'm, my, my heart's cold now. I, <laughs> I, just, I don't give a fuck. Also, you do the crime I, you do on the time. I, this is by, by, by Kennedy. Do not take this as me insulting you or holding anything against you. Never negotiate with Charles Divine again. No, oh, I know. It's, it's right. not good. No, like, it's I mean, good. if you're leading a situation, appoint somebody else to negotiate. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is the relationship there it, that it's bad? that bad well he he's he's just a fucking he he he's a shit i frankly. was able to give i was able to work with him and he doesn't like me but he fucking hates kennedy with a passion all right it's because the first time we arrested him he kept uh, acting like a fucking child and i had a rope we, we both roped him and, and shit yeah and then it's just gone and it's it's grown since then you were the one though that was like, you know, I'm. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this. I said, "Fuck it." I just yeah. grabbed his ass, threw him on the floor. Yeah, but he, he wanted to go after both of us for that shit. I'm pretty sure. He's. He, yeah. I found out, Kennedy, that he apparently was asking about me at a situation I wasn't at. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, he was he was telling he was taunting Brooks, saying, "Where's Ruth? That I'm looking for him." So he very much, very clearly hates me for that shit too. But yeah, the fan club. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, obviously, there's a situation where there's like it, where you you feel like it's best you negotiate, and by all means. But I think uh, most situations, nine out of ten, it'd probably be better if somebody else handles it. Moving forward, yeah. I also need to speak to you about a situation. Which one, Frank Gilbani? Have you read that report? Yeah, I did. I already put my response on it. Okay, I haven't read that. So do you want to just talk? To, I was going to talk to you in person about it. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> the only thing I think about, I think I was with you actually, and somebody else when we rode back, you know, by the uh, by the campfire. Or maybe that was Mia, Mia and, and one or two other deputies. We're we're oh, you were with Brooks. We were looking around the city for somebody. I don't remember. Well, we Frank Gilbani is something. extremely reckless anyway. With uh, me and Stone came to the conclusion that he's extremely reckless anyway. With how he he was telling Stone information just at a telegram station. So, oh. he's extremely reckless I, anyway, but I just wanted to hear what happened. No, I, I mean, I, I, I sat there when I got on duty today and, and read that, and, and I was thinking, the only time I've ever out loud spoke of him was within the last, like, three weeks was while we were riding around looking for somebody, and I was talking, I said, this is, sometimes we'll see Ashley Sky and Frank Albani right here. We've seen him here before. That's it. And that was over at the uh, the camp over by the campfire. You know, on yeah, the yeah. Uh, I mean, like, you, you know how far, you know how folk are. They get an idea in their head and they just look for anything to fucking justify it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but I wanted to hear from you because the way that it sounded in the initial report was you were overheard talking about him being an informant in a law station, and I was confused. Is he an informant? I. He gave me information. He ain't an informant, but he did give me info. How? What? I literally have have said his name once, and that was when I said it. I had no, had nothing to do with information, nothing. Well, like and I said, people will okay. use anything to justify their theories. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, I mean, Gilbani is just reckless. I'm probably gonna have a chat with him anyway. Uh, and just say, uh, Kramer, do you agree with that? Just let him know people are trying to say he's an informant. I mean, I I don't think there's a crime in. You know, letting a man know for his own sake. He's not an informant, after all. Right? Yeah, 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 after all, he really ain't an informant, but I just want to let him know that people are trying to say that shit. Yeah, so, I, wait, who who came up? Some guy from a bar again? From Valentine Bar? I, Julius Bradshaw? Julius, okay, so Julius is... Wait, 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 what? House. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's the Jay wait. King. Yeah, t t time out, time out. So I talked to Mia earlier, and we thought we were talking about it, too, because she brought it up to me. Uh, they might be fishing for information. They might be trying to throw something out there and seeing if we bite back or if something mm, changes. Or that's something that's actually very that's very true. It's quite literally that's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I I don't know if we should tell him because what if he treats people differently? What if exactly. he treats them differently and goes to them and starts saying shit like that because then they know we're All talking right, to it. him? I uh, I I'll, I'll be honest. Fuck it. Then I won't bring anything up with him. Just let the, it unfold. See what happens. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. The guy literally read off a telegram he was sending to Virgil Fox about how he's never going to speak to him again, to me at a telegram station. Then also to Stone separately from that at a telegram station. And when he pulled me aside and asked to talk with me, 
He claimed it was to vent, and he pulled me across from the telegram station and chatted with me there. I don't even think it was really informing to him. I think he was just trying to fucking vent. But, you know, I I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the guy is a very, very interesting fella. I get along with him, though, to be fair. So they claim they overheard me talking. <sighs> I think I've ever had that guy's name in my mouth. I think the last time I talked to him about him in a sheriff's office was when he was wanted for bank robbery with Ashley Sky in Rhodes from like four or five weeks ago. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have been. And there. then he was trying to turn himself in or something. It should have been got... in the last seventy-two hours. Oh no! Wait, I so. I, I've been, I've been, I've been sleeping for a while. I too. know you have. So... <laughs> it, it, the only day, the day in question, I think, would be the day we did the Dicenzo interrogations. It would have been that day. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, his name was never even in my mouth that day. I don't believe. Okay. It's got to be fishing. It's got to be. I think it is, yeah. Especially if you never... Wait! They're in conflict, too. Who? The bathhouse people in uh, Sky's group. Are they? Yeah, that's, hey, that's, that's what happened to Sky's throat. Was yeah. One of the bathhouse people. Yes. And clawed her throat and face. Who is it? In the Grand Corrigan group, right? Mm. Or is that the saloon? No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the saloon. I'm sorry. Who's that? Valent who's who's Valentine dealing with Saloon Graham? and Ashley Sky, right? I think. Or is that whatever it is? It's Ashley Sky and the Grand Corrigan. So Mr. Black is involved in that, and he's with the Valentine Saloon. That's what I was thinking of. I know there's the, the Corgan Saloon or Corgan and wait, Corgan people I mean, are I mean. with Sky, and then they're after Bathhouse. I think that's what it is. And Bathhouse is the one who did that to her face and her throat. The Corgan people are with Sky now. Not with them, but they're because they were cahoots. fighting the Ring and the Corgan group. Time to there was like okay. they were on the brink of a war. Last I heard, but I haven't really dealt with Sky or any of them for quite some time now. Do any of you update your wannons to arrest after yes. you arrest? Uh, I I've, been trying, I've been trying to I get better it about it and adding arrest details. I'm going through and adding arrest details right now. Uh... I don't want to be a hypocrite because I tell other people to do it, and like I, I'm so bad at it. I'll change mine to ARS. The report in, from Blackwater. There we go. Thank you for finishing that Blackwater report, Kramer. Yeah, no worries. En route, Sisica. Holding the one cadet. Okay. All right, I think I finished the shootout report. Yeah, I'm, I'm tidying it up right now. Yeah. I'm going to... The whole negotiation part when I was gone, I didn't really know what was said there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to work on it. Who, um, who, what, when, where? I'm trying to think events in my head right now before the manor. So we went to the manor. They weren't there. We went back to Rhodes and that's when Benny heard some horses and we went and checked the hill that's and somehow right. ran into them. But they're coming up from there. Right. And they had a hostage. They who did. They they had so, from what I was to told, she was waiting in the house for them. She had said she was there meeting them about a business deal. And she was in the house and then took them. 
she, she was taken as a hostage. Oh, wait, I missed that part in the whole report. Um, uh, she was I'll, taken I'll... as a hostage because it was opportunity. Because she was there already, and we showed up. They just took that opportunity to take her as a Brick, hostage. Brick shouldn't get a hostage taken because he wasn't present for that. She was released for him to come in safely. Did you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Did right. you read about what happened to Brick? Uh, yes. I'm going to take hostage shaking off Brick. What? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just. I said, how like thinking out in my head. I don't know. You think? I really am, really. What? I've been told multiple times I'm sassy today. You, yes. You called yourself sassy. I called her sassy like eight times uh -oh. today. But she is. I'm seeing it. Is she? I think I'm always that way to you, Kennedy. Sassy? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's I, because I, you're secretly calling for his it. approval because you still secretly think he hates you. Just like <laughs> from your secret times as a cadet, right? That's deep. <laughs> it, it is. I'm clawing there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now the sassiness is coming out. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go buy a canteen. Uh, what was the hostage's name? It was um. It was Alessandra. Alessandra. Yeah, it was Leo's girlfriend. I'm going to buy a canteen and fill it. I got a telegram. I'll be back. Go out there. I have telegrams. I don't get telegrams very often. Uh, probably. Do Kennedy
Uh, Brick Bagwell, I think it's going to be decently wanted. Yeah, it's certainly shaping up to look that way. <laughs> that fella's getting it the worst. <laughs> Man, All Brick right. Bagwell is getting it the absolute worst. Why? He's got a lot of charges. Uh, you change an arrest, uh, wanted to an arrest, Kennedy, that had Brick still wanted, so I fix that. He, oh, he right. still hadn't been charged for the um, false oh, imprisonment that's right. situation. I keep thinking we got them all. No, he fell asleep during it all. Yeah. 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 And we'll get him, sure enough. Yeah. He doesn't have that much time. Did, uh, did, Charles, uh, did Charles shoot? Saffron or hitter? Anybody know? Say that again. So, what is the saffron charge she's looking at? That he was looking at. While Charles Divine, Josie, and and one other identified as a, possibly identified as Aurora, robbing a man at Blackwater Stables. Saffron was remaining pa riding past on the main road heading towards McFarland to do a milk delivery. As she passed, one man noticed one man with a hands up and another individual with her, their hands around his neck. She then overheard CD begin to shout towards her, drawing his weapon. As she would ride past the telegram station, fumbling her saddlebags for her rifle, Charles would continue, stop or I'll shoot you. Saffron fired a warning shot whilst fleeing, to which then he began to opening fire. Charles had managed to hit her whilst doing so. He and he got assault of a witness for that. I don't know anything unless it's involving something he should have already been arrested for because um, Weller shot down a whole bunch of people right in the telegram office. Now this is CD. Oh. Uh, okay. th that what I just read out is what got him assault of a witness. I'm, su I'm surprised I saw with the other witnesses what we went for there. Either way, it's done now. That is an interesting choice. I, I uh, Yeah. I mean, I guess may maybe there was leniency there because Saffron fired a warning shot. Maybe that's why there was a little bit of leniency on that charge. She she was going to report it, is what she was doing, right? So she was riding past. She witnessed somebody yeah, getting held up. Yeah, but he shot up. her in the fucking. He shot her. I I wouldn't say that's assault of a witness. Saffron had fired a warning shot while fleeing, to which he then began opening fire. Yeah, it, she shot. She shot up in the. I guess she yeah. shot a warning shot and then got shot. What she get charged for? Nothing. Is that legal? <laughs> I mean was this he must have been advancing on her so she fired a warning shot as to fend him away right do we allow people to I, I, fire I wouldn't shots? allow that but I, I, that, that's why I'm asking that's, I mean I don't know I actually I, don't know well okay I don't so know so from I... the way I see it I would describe it as self defense I mean, the way I see it, I mean, she, she didn't shoot tried at to him, not right? shoot at him first. I mean, she, yeah, but the easiest option would be just not to shoot. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I get where she's coming from with the warning shot, but... I, I'm just saying, it, that guy bitches so much, he could definitely try to articulate in a way where she shot, so he shot her down. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, she's a, she's a civilian. You know what I mean? She probably shouldn't be firing a warning shot. Sorry, a shiny object caught my attention. 
<laughs> Nothing. Are you but, a squirrel? I mean, I, I don't think I don't think Saffron will be charged for that, but I'm just I guess I'm with Kennedy on this one. I, mean, I was more or less asking for information. Yeah, like, I, I mean, do we do we allow that if people start shooting warning shots up in the air every time they get threatened? Are we? I mean, I literally charged Blue Coat today for that vigilantism shift because somebody held a gun to him, then he shot them. If CD held a gun to her, then she shot him. She, in my opinion, that would not be self defense. Yeah, that's not the way self-defense works. Yeah. Look, I'll be honest with you. The way it's worded, I am tending to side with you. But I bet you there's more to this story. Yeah, this there's probably a lot more to this story because it was also a work <clears throat> in progress. Yeah. All right there, Bolton. I have a lot of patience for a lot of things and a lot of bullshit. <laughs> Tonight, I have a have lot any. of patience for a lot of things. And her motive for taking my weapon, despite me warning her about potentially 40 days in Siska, made uh, all that patience go away. <laughs> she, well, look, I, I had to deal I, with Charles <laughs> Divine for four hours, okay? So I, I don't would have rather any deal patience. with him. I would rather deal really? with him. Really? Yeah, I'm not even. I, I I'm doubt not that even, Bolton, I'm, I'm not, be honest. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not <sighs> I don't, angry. No. Here's the thing is, I'm not even angry about my gun never being returned to me. I'm more angry about her motive for stealing my weapon and going to Cisco for a year is, oh, it was pretty, and then she claims she sold it. Well, we could, we could trade. I'm okay with I doing will, a trade. I you can... can have Charles <laughs> Divine. I'll I will take, take him care because of everything. Me, me dealing with him pisses him off, and that's why I enjoy it. <laughs> okay. He hates that's me. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it out loud, because then people are going to think about <laughs> I've just, I've never dealt with someone who had so little care for their life. Screaming it across the office. <laughs> hey. I'm stone. How are you, Stone? Good lord, this this is how I know I've been up for too long. It, it, look, Stone's <laughs> awake. Stone's awake somewhat early. Okay. I was gonna um, say he that. Is a little for you. Stone. Kennedy, it's a little early for Stone. I'm, I'm so glad you came up to me when you did, because I I was she was literally going. To I got Salerno saying, today, by the way. Hey, let's go on a little ride oh, in circles job. around me and with a gun in hand. I, I imagine he was a grumpy little shit. Oh yeah, he was, I walked him back to his manor afterwards, and he was uttering shit under his breath all the way. Ruth and I have ran Stone like every day. You know, question. Uh, do you know any other members yeah, of the Dicenzos with gray hair with no I, I saw scars you guys on their face? Like, no, come to me. We were looking was, at you. Hang on. Where yeah, you let's move the other one. side. It was, uh, my horse was, uh, not bugging. Do you know any members of the Dicenzos with gray hair besides Tony Salerno? Uh, I mean, hair's hair. It's not exactly a reliable indicator. Yeah. Can't, I can't think of anybody offhand. So, the, so... They they very much specif specified the witness very much specified that he that the person with gray hair that was there didn't have scars on their face but Tony Salerno very much has a visible scar on his face now obviously before you get assaulted by a hammer that's an easy mistake to make you might not recognize that scar so I was trying to think if maybe there's another gray haired Dicenzo possibly I mean I'll give it some thought I mean I'll struggle and so fucking money in them yeah. Uh, also got confirmation from Amadeo Moretti. He fell for my note. He telegrammed me saying he does, in <laughs> fact, use that house. What a little twat. Yep. So, got confirmation of that. I'm going to add it to their dossier. I was having a thing about the dossier, and I was wondering whether we need to separate them by families. Hmm. Or organizations. Do we know? I mean, we can, we can link them under an... Kind of an umbrella file for the the larger snake, so to speak. But yeah. perhaps we need individuals. That uh, Kramer and I were actually about to sit down and work on the gang dossier files for a good high thirty to an hour. You want to help us with it? We could maybe knock uh, out a Dicenzo one. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I need to check them on Telegram. Yeah, I need to do some do stuff too. A couple too. of quick things. So works for me. Hopefully, some uh, victims and witnesses have come back to me today. They haven't gone in to see somebody in the department. All right. I uh, after everything is uh, said and done, the only I had like a I had an idea. The witness uh, that was robbed by them. I was thinking about seeing if I could convince him to make an outfit with some sort of mask, completely head to toe, 
different outfit, fur, a bunch of fur. Be hard to tell his his size and his his, his stature. Maybe seeing if he can identify a couple of them that we bring in. Yeah, it's a good one, Because I don't know how else we're going to get these charges to stick. I very much believe a, a, a lot of them, the ones that we question to be the people that were involved. I mean, you could perhaps have this, this individual banged up in one of the cells and bring the uh, suspects in for a, a very brief chat. Yeah, very, actually, very that's brief. a really good idea. Maybe convince him to wear a wig and a beard. A fake beard. Uh, yeah. Put him in one of the darkest cells there. He, he should still be able to get good enough for you. Yeah, actually, a really good idea. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna run it by Malone. Because uh, I wanted to All run right. that idea by him anyway. Perfect. Alright. I'm, uh, I'm heading to Blackwater. Gonna lay my head down. Alright. I'll right. take it easy, alright? Alright, you, you have a good night. You're on. Yeah, Sleep easy. well. Good seeing you soon again. Always. Hey, where where's Brooks going? Uh, send a telegram. All right, perfect. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm glad you did that. I I know. I I warned her though. This is what happened, and it could have been worse. And if you know, hopefully she'll turn her life around. If she does it again, I that's I'm done. Again, I have a lot of patience. But that that was just ridiculous. She... <laughs> oh God. All right, I think I okay. updated all of Ronnie Rivers' reports that can be switched to arrest. Beautiful. I've been just going through and doing as much as I can. And then in a day or two, I will go and archive those. Or any of us Perfect. can. Okay. Honestly, though, if they if they all have process charges, just archive them. Yeah. I don't need. As long as they don't have any uh, guns or anything. All right, I am off to sleep. You all have a good night. Have a good night. Nice, sit, nice you seeing you both well. again. Good good nice Always good to see you, Bolton. See you, Bolton. Uh, after you finish all that paperwork up, I am down to start working on the dossiers. I think Stone has an idea for the Dicenzo one I want to run by you. Uh, yeah, I, let's, do, let's do it right now. All right. I think Stone needs a couple minutes. Oh, but okay. his idea was taking the Dicenzo's one and, and basically having like two to three like under it, like making a Dicenzo dossier and having like a sub dossier, I guess, for possibly the heads of the, the different families. Let's do it. Um, that That's something we can absolutely do. It's really easy to integrate to. So yeah. what we can do is we can have a, the one arching dossier will be a case link. Yep. And then we'll and have the three exactly. in there. Yep. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if, what we're going to settle on two to three because it sounds like two to three would be good for for their different or little organizations. It doesn't, doesn't really matter is, since we're going to start it with the case link, right? You can keep adding to it. So we'll just make sure that we have the case link be the first one you go into, right? Yep. Then we'll have one be the dossier that's the current dossier where you'll still go in there and link cases and whatnot and have all that information. But we, yep. you want to have a separate one where it's like the heads and yeah, all perfect. that. Yeah, perfect. I wanted your idea on that. I think it's a good idea, though, uh, for for easily tracking different members of the Dicenzos, too, rather than having, like, one Dicenzo dossier with, like, 30 people. <laughs> It is broken up into twat. two right now because they have split. What was that? A divine twat. Yeah, we he, got him today. Yep. He ran off a fucking cliff. 
Yes, he did. I, and that, I, one of our deputies went after him. Yeah. He's fucking deluded. Yeah, they got into a shootout at Braithwaite Manor as well. It was a, a whole thing we just got back from dealing with them. All right. Well, as usual, it seems you've had a busy night. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, let me look at the uh, gang dossiers. They should all be archived. Yeah, you have to look in the yep. directory. And I'm going to go make sure that they are because I was unarchiving a few, but... You really should never need to do that. I've noticed it's, I, it is better to keep them archived. Yeah, I unarchived the clown one when we were trying to find them quickly and trying to pull up their stuff just because it was easier for me to go back and forth. That's a good reason to do it. But then I archived it when we were done. Uh, I believe Harry Dobbing is a member of the Boon Boys. I'm going to ask yes. him. Yep. Um, there's names that Rabbit had earlier. There was like Poncho and she had full descriptions of them. In the report from when she was kidnapped, it's there. If somebody wants to put those into the dossier. I read too many reports. Wait, what needs to be put into what dossier? So where um, Rabbit was kidnapped, if you look at the bottom in the additional notes, there is... I don't have it in front of me. They have full descriptions of four different Boons boys. Uh, North... Yona, Red Mask, and Poncho. Okay. And what they were wearing, very, all their horses, like a very, very detailed description. All right. Yeah, let's, can you help me with that? Because it's going to be a pain in the ass to go back and forth. So can you pull up that additional notes section? Yeah, I have. I have, uh, I have Boone's Boys pulled up right now. Yeah, I have Boone's Boys pulled up as well. All right, so read off the first description to us. So North. All right. Is he already in there? I, I have the file checked down. Do you want me to? I can do it. North is. Oh. Oh, yeah. If you have it checked out. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, North oh. ain't in here, right? His name Correct. is Anders Bjornsson. Okay. Let me add one for him He's as well. He's not in there? Oh. Nope. This one is very out of date. I, I, may, I think I made this one ages ago on the old files. Yeah. I tried. I forgot. North. I should have added. North. I even looked for Mama's boys. His he's Anders Bjornsson. His North. alias is North. Correct. Yep. Yep. All right. He's um, also friends. Go with ahead him. with the description. Um, black and white rac raccoon skin hat. One with fuzzy tail. It's like six lines per description. Okay. Oh, good lord! Continue. Uh, blonde, bushy beard. Okay. Tan pants, brown boots. Okay. Green undershirt. Okay. Waist length, light brown overcoat with brown fur trim and leather gloves. All right. And then blonde bushy beard. Anybody have a... He's the one with the long ponytail, right? I've, I've dealt with him before, but I'm not positive. I've, no, I've only heard of him. I've never seen him. Um, I also have a description of his horse. Okay, what's the horse description? Tan horse with white spots, dappled coat, black mane and tail. I'm going to check on Telegram, so I'll pop back in a bit. All right, perfect. Yona. Who the fuck is Yona? I don't know. All right, we've got and Anders in here now. So we've got... this. Is, I'll go through the full list of ones we've got. We've got Montgomery Flynn, uh, Maverick Stone, Emmett Edwards, uh, Blackburn, Winsmore, Harry Dobbing, and Anders Bjornsson. Okay. Now there's Yona. Oh, no clue. Um, Read me the description of the person. Long black hair, darker complexion. When asked if he was a tribekin, responded... Of a sort. Okay, he on. was one of the ones when we brought him Maverick Stone last time he was there. Read the description of his person one more time. Long black hair, darker complexion. When asked if he was a tribekin, he responded, of a sort. He had a bow on his shoulders. You said we or, brought him in before? I We were going to. We only Rip made a deal to only bring in Maverick and not bring in this one. Okay. Did he um 
shoulder length, dark brown hair. Mustache, dark brown. Long black hair. Long black hair. So it could be long. So dark the thing brown. is, don't these descriptions also need to go into their citizen registries too? <sighs> That's where I always get caught up. I put it in one or the other and forget both. I don't put descriptions in citizen files. I put them primarily in gang dossiers. Yeah. I, I'll put, you know, hair color, whatever it asks for, very briefly. But if you want a good description, it's going to be in the dossier. I don't, I, I think, okay. Uh, It'd gonna, be a good place to put him, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put a new member for, 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 for Yona. Is that, yeah. spell it? Is there a citizen file for a Yona? No, there isn't. No. Okay, so hold these off on that for a second, though. These three have citizen files. These three are you are sure? I'm trying to match them with members Yona, that we already... Yona, Red Mask, and Poncho. Correct. That sounds like names that stood out, unless but that is names Yona, that are given. That, that description of Yona don't match anybody else. That's what no. I'm saying. No. It briefly reminds me of either... I, I think Winsmore is L Luca, right? That's L Luca Winsmore? Yes. Lucas? Lucas Winsmore. And Blackburn, I can't remember his other name. Uh, he's never given it. He's always been Blackburn, to me at least. <laughs> yeah, that might be the case. I can't remember. That might be why. All right. Well, if you think we need to make... Now we can do it whenever we catch him. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, what are the descriptions way. of the other two besides Yona? Uh, Red Mask and Poncho. Yeah, what are their descriptions? Um... Red mask. I didn't even finish Yona's though. Oh, I, oh, okay. Right. I made a I made a citizen file for Yona. Uh, wearing a small gray knit cap beanie. Dark vest with white shirt and tie, sleeves rolled up. Wearing light brown chaps with tan padding. And have a horse description as well. Yona, red mask, and what? Poncho. I think Poncho. those are like the nicknames she might have called okay. to like separate them. Okay. Well, there's citizen files for each one of them. What's what's red mask? Uh, short brown hair. Faded blue jean pants. Black gun belt with small gold buckle. Double buttoned black leather closed coat. Faded red bandana pulled up to his nose. Dark brown, medium brimmed leather hat. What well, can you uh, can you look at Winsmore's profile, Kramer? What what kind of hair color does he have? Uh, give me a second. Oh, he's bald. Okay. What? He's really? bald, never mind. According to the dossier, yeah. What's it say on his profile? Maybe it says something different. How do I spell Winsmore? Uh, W-I-N-D-S-M-O-R-E. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. I'm just, I have to reach it through the dossier. Wow, that was so much more difficult to find than it needed to be. <laughs> That's, yeah, some of them are, which is why sometimes having the dossier is handy is helpful. Is he a short brown? Hair? Oh my god. Okay, that's why. Is his, yeah. is it Winsmore? Or, because his, his surname is spelled W I N S M O R E. Are we sure okay. it's Wind? Okay, well, that's the thing. In this dossier, in the dossier, it has him as a citizen profile named Windsmore with no right, first okay. name. That's it. That's his name. Lucas Winsmore. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of just Winsmore from this game dossier. Yeah, I uh, yeah. If you tag him in it now, it should be Lucas Winsmore. All right. Yep. Perfect. And what does it say his hair color is on that? It does not say. All right, so he's probably bald. Okay, so he don't match that. What no. was what, was there any bald people? No. Was there any with shoulder length brown hair? There's long, yeah. Black long hair. black hair. And that was Yona? Yeah. No facial hair, though? Nope. 
Okay. And what about what about what about Poncho? What was his description? Poncho is brown and tan poncho, short and black beard. It doesn't say anything about hair. That could be uh that could be Winsmore. Black faded plants, brown sh brown shoes. Wow, I'm slurring. I think that all of these people are people that are already in that dossier. The Yona's the only one I th I think might not be. Yeah, I don't think Yona. Yeah, may maybe one of them, but I think, I think the, the others rest are, are in here. Yeah. I absolutely. think one of them is most likely. No, it's Sto Stone's in prison, right? Maverick Stone. No, he's out. No, he's out. Okay, so I think, I think one of them one, is Maverick I think Stone. Shows Maverick Stone. Yep. I Rabbit think the other know. one is Blackburn. Rabbit would know Maverick. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's if a good point. I think either okay, I think either Maverick or Winsmore is Poncho. I'm trying to figure out who the fuck Red Mask is. Well, is Red Mask the one that the, was staying Long quiet in the corner? Yeah. Uh -oh. Wait, what? No, what? <laughs> Short brown hair. Is Red Short Mask. brown hair. Uh, and maybe Blackburn if he got a haircut. He maybe. had a buckskin colored horse, with white face and black feet and legs. I guess we can theorize on this all day. We're still going to add them in as new gang members, and we'll work on it. Okay, you want me to add all three of them in as new members? Sadly. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay. All right, give me a second. I didn't realize that. Let me make three real quick. You can put in there, um, I suspect Possibly this person to be yeah. who, yeah. But right. I think just uh, in case. Give me Yona's description. Yona? You already have Yona. I, 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 no, I, I did not do theirs because you get what I'm saying. Just Mm -hmm. Just put it in there. I'll uh, I'll put them in there. I'll... Long black hair, darker complexion. I can add the beef to them if you just put them in. Okay. When I look up Yona, his, the name isn't showing up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it does that. That's frustrating. It's yeah. just showing up as a as a blank. Oh the, oh yeah, yes yes because mm -hmm. I put them in as alias names. Oh, I did okay. not give right. them. I see I see okay. okay. Fair enough. I didn't give them a first or last name. All is only alias. For the shootout at the Bell Gang, do I have to... Everything's already in there. Do I have to write a statement of what happened from my point of view? If you were reading that report for the first time, would you be able to know what happened? Yeah. Then I don't see a reason. Okay, good. Alright, uh, Yona... I don't think Sand even knows he shot me. Back to weapons that need to go in different places. Right, what's Poncho's description again? Short brown hair? Yes. So the only one that could possibly be Maverick Stone if he is there is the bald one. But yes. you're right, Rabbit would probably be able to pick Stone out because I, even I think, if yeah. Stone was wearing a mask, you would be able to see his and in the dark skin. Something somewhere said that it was like one of them that she knew, which she named, and new recruits. Interesting. All right. All right. I added both of them. Uh, I don't. I I added all three of them to this. Um, I don't know who Red Mask might be. Honestly, he's the only one I can't really think. I think Yona's a new person. Okay. I think Red Mask I can't ID as one of these people based off his description. Yeah, so four members of Boone's Boys took it. I think it was one of the tips. Somewhere I'd read that it was like newer members. So one of the things about some of these people too is Charlie Nelson and Ryder Whitmore have been occasionally riding with them robbing. At some point they may join up. The, None yeah, of those... Do we have them confirmed as members? No, not confirmed as members. But They've definitely been arrested with them robbing. Though. Yeah. Okay. I'll add associates <clears> to them then. Okay. Um, give me a second. All right. Um, oh fuck me! What? I'm looking at an old report. Guess who worked with a uh, Stone, North, and Ryder? Who? Ryder Whitlock could possibly be one of those. Yeah, Ryder Whitlock most likely. All right. Wears no, brown with large brim hat. Looks like yep, fat Jack Ryder Kettleman. Bald, yep. bald mustache, white shirt, suspenders. All right. Known association. I'm gonna associate name. Uh, what's his name? It's uh, Ryder Whitlock. He's one of the doctor kidnap torturers. So what if he's one of the, I, I don't, Does that description meet any of those unknowns? No. None of them. I, that was the first thing I checked. It's not Ryder. Uh, 
right. So okay. description, Fat Jack Kettleman, is that good enough to put in this <laughs> dossier? I feel like that ex literally explains volumes of what Ryder Whitlock looks like, but... Yeah. What do you I think? think? I think that's fine. All right, I put literally put Fat Jack Kettleman as his description. So he rides a buckskin Mustang. There's dark clothes, wide brim hat. Um, Kramer, do you think that a known associates go under deceased members or above deceased members? I was thinking under deceased, just because gang members all present, then known associates under that, then locations. Correct. All right. Keep it all. Uh sectioned off yep all right perfect i'm gonna put kettleman gang as known association above the the known people that are been associating with them um all right and who was the other one Ryder, and what's the other guy's name charlie nelson all right what the fuck does this guy look like short blonde hair scar under his left eye let me know i have a, I have a big description for him i hate him scar under left eye short blonde hair Yep, voice is high pitched, sounds like wallaby without an accent. American wallaby? Yeah, you hear it, and as soon as you do, you know that it's him. Usually Continue. carries around a jaw harp. Gotcha. It'd be like You want me to put jaw harp under description? Yes, it's it's a big thing with him. It's a big thing. I would love to hear an Australian so alone. It. Um he sometimes goes by Bobby Brown. Lately, he's been wearing a bucket over his head because I recognize him too easily. They also may be the men of the road, which is a new dossier that Cash created. Cash is FAO'd on that too. Yeah, I did that. Because so the only person he really has is unknown short blonde hair anarchist, which I believe is going to be Charlie Nelson. Because he wrote some note about in Saint Denis about how he doesn't agree with society and its constructs and this whole oh fuck gibberish. Okay. We should so put I Charlie Nelson that's in there. Who she's talk he's talking about. I did it in additional notes. I want to make sure it's the right group that he's thinking of. All right, Charlie and Ryder as as associates. Do you guys? Okay, I right now all I have for Yona is dark complexion, long black hair for a description. Uh, I don't know if we got a horse description on Yona. Yeah, there was. Okay. Hey. Can you please just read about the descriptions of Yona, Red Mask, and Poncho for me? I will write them all yes. down now, and then we should be done with Boone's voice. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yona. Yep. Uh, riding a white horse with black Dalmatian spots, black mane and tail. All right. Uh, he carries a bow. I'm going to put that under clothing. He has a small gray knit cap or beanie. Dark vest with a white shirt and tie. Sleeves rolled up. Light brown chaps. So, uh, go back. White shirt. Okay. Sleeves rolled up. Gray vest. Yep. Is that what you said? Dark vest. Dark vest. Anything else? Uh, light brown chaps with tan padding. All right, uh, red mask. Short brown hair. Faded blue jean pants. Black gun belt with small gold buckle. Because you'd obviously notice the buckle. Black gun belt. Yep. Double buttoned black leather closed coat. Okay, hold up. Okay. Faded red bandana over his face, up to his nose. All right, anything else? Dark brown medium brimmed leather hat. Uh, horse. Short, black-maned, buckskin-colored horse. White face, black legs and feet. One more time. Short, black mane, buckskin. Colored horse. 
Short black With mane, buckskin color horse. Continue. Yep. White face, black Fucking legs, and feet. Cold. And then black what? Legs and feet. All right. And a poncho? Brown and tan poncho. Short and black beard. Say the beard. What color beard? Black. Short black beard or just black beard? Just says short and black beard. All right, short black beard. Black faded pants. Brown shoes. Okay. Faded red worn vest. Okay. Light brown shirt. Leather gloves. Okay. Deep uh, red cowboy, cowhide cowboy hat with a tan band. One more time. Deep red cowhide cowboy hat with a tan band. Okay. All right. Uh, horse description? It is... One second. Disposition is like a voice, right? Yeah. Okay. Like an attitude. He had a black slash dark red Breton slash large mountain horse. Uh, oh, Alright, say that one more time. Breton. Breton or large mountain horse. It was either black or dark red. Alright. That everything? Yep. Alright. Perfect. So you said at Braithwaite the hostage was used to get allow Brick back in? Yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain this. They wanted Brick to be allowed back into the house because he got lost, and then they gave up the hostage anyway without him coming okay. in. And then Brick ran in the middle of the gunfight and got shot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I think that's Boon Boy's done. Uh, do we? Who do we suspect Red Mask to be? Do we have any suspicion sus suspects there? For the I don't think so. Here? I and don't then know. Poncho, Maverick, or Winsmore, right? Uh, I doubt Maverick. The more I think about it, uh, I think Winsmore, honestly. Yeah. I'm gonna put suspected to be Winsmore. See, but now you see how much of a pain in the ass this is going to be, right? Oh, if I want to go right. through and uh, link all the cases. Yeah. Are you going to go back and do it? Hell yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, Weller and I are going to sit down. We're going to take probably two days. We're going to go through day by day and start linking files to each of their uh, dossiers. Hey, at least I know for the hard crew it will be super easy because I have them all linked in index. Red Stag will be fairly easy. I, I would like Beautiful. to help you and Weller with that. That way all that work ain't on you still. Well, yeah, I don't mind helping. I appreciate that. Yes. It uh, it does make it easy. We just sit in one place. And yeah, exactly. Bang we can do out. that one. Yeah, exactly. Should be easy to do. All right. Uh, I think... I, I don't know anything about Sam's group, so I'm not going to help with that. Heartland's mob, ragtags. Does anybody know about the ragtags? Aren't the ragtags yeah, gone, the chase gang? Yes, it's Ellie Chase. They're they're now the... Could you actually update that name yep. for me? It's now the chase gang. And Alvin is with Dead End Kids. <laughs> what? Yeah, I saw them. There was a shootout and he was there with them. Chase that gang? Does, that doesn't mean he's you want me to put. Them, you I've seen to, him with them multiple times. I'm going to put Chase gang... I'm going to put formerly known as Rag Jigs. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Um, so we've got Ivy, Chester, Ronnie, Rick, Silas, Alvin, Toby. As a deceased, I, is Allie Chase not a deceased member of this? She is deceased. Allie is deceased. Allie is that not up? I put that in there yesterday. Uh, yeah, it ain't in here. Toby Malager is in here as a deceased okay. member, though. I'll, I'll Allie should quick. also be at the bottom, deceased. It, 
I can't. I couldn't think of a better way to do. I really, honestly, honest to God, I just wanted to outright take them out. Do you Are think you... that's good? Just putting I deceased next to their everything... name and at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was gonna say so. I'd keep them in, especially with the ongoing stuff going on with them. It's good to know a history. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Allison Chase Pardon? deceased. I don't know any clothing description or special features to her though. Don't. It doesn't matter. Yep. She's right. dead. Uh, cause that's part of the reason Evangeline Thorne's doing what she's doing. It's cause that's I... fair. Okay, you make a good point. All that's right. the whole point of the dossiers, anyway. All right, that one done. Uh, I don't know anything about them. Does anybody know anything about them? The ragtags? Yeah, I know about yeah. Chester and Alvin. That's it. Yeah, I I know a little bit. That was the last one I was working on last night. So you want to go through? It must... You want me to go through it again or no? I'll, don't worry about that one. All right. Um, uh, sorry, and I'm not talking much to you guys, Chad. I'm trying to get this all done. Um. Okay. The firm. Do we? Anybody here know about the firm? I don't know anything about. Yeah, that. not a damn thing. Stone. Do you look. know anything about the firm? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've come across them. They disappeared for some time, but I feel like a few of them have been popping up back in the city. Charlie Chancer is one of them. He's with fucking LJ's group, too. They sort of came and went in a flash. Charlie Chancer's with the firm, but he was with LJ's group last time we tried to arrest him. Yeah, just like Alvin, right? Mm. Yeah, these people kind of get around, huh? Alright, so the firm, George... Uh, wears a suit, pale skin, and has a handlebar mustache. Does that sound accurate, uh, Stone? I mean, that sounds like it could fit any one of them, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Do you remember anything about George, I suppose, that stands out? No, George doesn't ring a bell for me. Reggie Richardson. Known alias of Reggie. Reg or Reggie? I feel like he was, uh, the boss man. Okay. A uh, blue pinstripe coat, you. black flat cap, glasses, southern English accent, known to be violent. Presumed leader of the firm. Mm, about right, I guess. Uh, Ronnie Herbert, known alias of Ron, black handlebar, mustache, southern English accent, former member of the cut, known to be violent. Mm, yeah, yeah, I know, Ronald, that sounds about right. A any other descriptions? I seen the violence. Personally, he's always been real polite with me. Okay. Uh, Peter Mac... Because I'm London, too. <laughs> yeah. Peter MacRaddy. You ever met him? Mm. No alias of name. Yeah, we got nothing on him in the dossier, oh. so no description, no nothing. Can't say I can help with him. Okay. Finn? Do you know Finn? Know the name. I Finn like Blonde Hair. Yeah, Finn Blonde Hair, Southern English accent. Uh, Charlie. Hey, uh, Brooks, you said you mentioned him? Yeah. Do you know any alias or description? Anything he looks like? Uh, he's ginger, talks kind of shy. That's about oh, it. yeah, Charlie. The thing about Change the reports is you have to unarchive all the ones you want. What's uh, ginger hair color? Anything else? That's what 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 length? Ah, uh, shoulder length. Yes, Brooks. That's why uh, it is the more the merrier to help with this, because you can have someone on each duty, right? You have someone unarchiving reports while someone else is preparing them and then someone else is adding them to the index did they hey, just, I, did they just work at the bastille or didn't they have another saloon i heard they used to be in valentine i thought that they had a, a valentine yeah. saloon as well they moved over from valentine oh i see so they abandoned the old one i got you yeah, at, yeah. after this let's work on the decenza one yes yep all right well that what that's pretty much done i updated it slightly with his description there ain't really much else to do because uh, the decenza one is already broken up into two because they split, right? You got the Dicenzos, and then you got the other, the Fantoni. Do we have that? Yeah. Should be. Because the Fantonis are still in the original Dicenzos. Oh, okay. Maybe we didn't. Hey, uh, Stone, you want to come a little closer for this one? Either that or we can move over there. It doesn't matter. 
We, or or we could come closer to you if you want to sit. It's all right. I'll all join right. the gang. All right. Um. So what are we thinking about doing as far as uh, the Chenzos? Uh, how do you want to split it? So we'd have the Chenzos with Cesare and Sonny, obviously, as one leader. Uh, what do you guys want? Yeah. Who else would it be? I think this is where it, it gets tricky. But I feel like we need to do it. Okay. I would have said the uh, the brothers, the Scarpetti brothers. Now they uh, do they do they have something else going on, Scarpettis? Well, I mean they're all going to have their own respective business, but I imagine that they uh, primarily work out of the uh, the manor on Flavian Street. Okay. Just around the corner. That's the one Moretti confirmed for me? No, no, that's the mayor's old place up on Million Avenue. Yeah, uh, okay. And so... Sorry, I'm trying to understand. My, my, I'm, I have... I'm trying to understand. So, Scarpati would be at the the old mayor's house or the one that's... The, the actual manor? The actual manor. Okay, and then... Uh, I'm, I imagine he's, he's tight with the brothers. Okay. I see. Okay, so separating it almost by... Um, People like Moretti that's confirmed at the old mayor's house, and then separating it by people that are confirmed at the other manor. Is that how you want to so, do it? So, yeah, I, I, I imagine, and it, it's a fucking can of worms. I imagine organizationally it's been fucking hard for them. So they probably separated somewhat over recent months. I'm sure they still report into the two brothers, Cesare and Sonny. But they're probably running a lot more independently. And Moretti taking over the mayor's old place is probably confirmation of that. The other family that uh, stand out, probably the Fantonis. I imagine they might have pushed out on their own a little bit more. That's what I heard as well. So, are we thinking about breaking this up, basically, with Moretti and some people that frequent Moretti being in one case fight, one gang dossier, with the old mayor's house as their known location? The brothers? Yeah, I, with... I think we should have a DiCenzo dossier. And we should link that to uh, individual dossiers for... Okay. Separate family business units. Yes, that, that's what some things we're discussing. Will pertain to the the wider family, but some things are going to pertain to individuals. So I think we're going to end up with how many? Probably four, at least, maybe five. Okay. Well, we decide to call them all. Fuck knows. To be honest, we could probably wind them up with that. <laughs> Yeah, we probably good. All right. Well, uh, you boys are going to have more fun with that. They practically cross the road when they see me now. <laughs> they did leave the Bastille pretty quick. <sighs> yeah, we, we literally cleared them out of the fucking Bastille. All right. Kramer, how, uh, do you want to you wanna get this kind of started, I guess? Yeah, I'm additions? currently doing that right now. So I right agree. now I'm currently making a dossier that is a case link dossier. It's called the Dicenza Family. In the summary right now I am writing, it's a base for all the Chenzo Moretti Fantoni dossiers as a commonplace. And then in here, there's going to be three other dossiers. That'll be what the Dicenzos, the Moretti, and the Fantonis. And then we from can there, call this if we want to different. add more as well, we can always just add more as well. Correct. Exactly. You can, you can call this something different and not get it confused with the other Dicenzos. One, because there is going to be a, a Dicenzo dossier. We, we could call it... Oh, fuck. I think calling the the wider one the Dicenzo's dossier, and then maybe having the you know Cesare and Sonny's own little family section, maybe being the brothers or something like that. I don't fucking know. That's not a bad idea. I like that. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I mean that was my first thought. My second thought was just uh, send an email here, and then uh, each of the individual family names or the heads of them. I think I uh, yeah. I I think I think either one works. 
I don't imagine any of us will get confused if they see yeah, either of those yeah, options. I don't, I don't think anybody will get confused by that. Can't decide whether I like popping me head in the office this early or, uh, I'm gonna start giving you boys a wide berth and, and, ladies. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take like two minutes while, while you're getting all the, the groundwork set up for that, Kramer. I'm just gonna take two minutes to grab a drink. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, Chan, I'm not really talking to Chan much. I feel a bit guilty, so I'm gonna host somebody. That way I can just go grab something to drink and nibble on some snacks. Uh, Cheaper's live, yeah. Chat. Feel free to join the Discord if you haven't. Uh, plus, I'm fucking exhausted, man. I'm beat. So join the Discord if you haven't. Uh, feel free to follow if you haven't as well. Um, We're gonna go send Cheever some love. I'll probably be on her stream till I log. Um... Go send her some love. It was fun today. Uh, it was a fun shootout at Braithwaite. <sighs> I'm glad Kramer's backing me up on my call on Ruth. Uh, honestly, I... Uh, it, it, it God, thank God I ended up working on the end with the fucking times. We almost got fucked hard there. But either way. Um, it was a uh, It was a fun fucking day. It was a good day. It was a very fun role play. It was a very chilled day until the end. And then it felt like chaos. So, go send Cheever love. I love you guys. We'll be live tomorrow um, with more Ruth. Have a good night.